Welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. We're back. We're streaming on a Friday, which I'm hoping moving forward will be kind of a regular thing for us. Of course, shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for the music we're listening to here. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Check it out. And last time we finished the campaign, The Frozen Horror, it took us about a year. Now we're moving forward. We're going to be doing two different campaigns. The first one will be Mage of the Mirror and followed closely by Rise of the Dread Moon. In fact, we're planning tomorrow, Saturday, our regular time at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until 10, we'll actually be starting Rise of the Dread Moon, so we'll have two campaigns going on at the same time. Now, you may have questions about how that's going to work as far as, like, people participating in both. I'm thinking that there's going to be two different groups of heroes. And uh, I'll kind of work out the rest of the details later, but that's the basic idea of it. So we have one hero with us already, I see. Uh, looks like our old friend Glasgow Gargoyle. It's like uh, he's with us, but he's muted at the moment. Hopefully he'll be back in a second here. So my impression is that Mage of the Mirror is going to be similar in length to Frozen Horror. It's not quite as overwhelmingly difficult, but it is very difficult. And I know that I've given advice to many people saying, well, the way you ought to do well, the way you ought to play these is, unless you want to just punish yourself with the original challenge of the original 1992 version, you should probably just remove one-third to one-half of the monsters from all the quests as Zargon. Maybe even some of the traps, too. And the solo quests, I'm thinking you can play those with more than one hero. It's fine. Or maybe an animal, animal companion. Uh, and then it'll be a lot more fun. And there's other tips, too. For example, if you're going to play as the elf in a solo format, I at least make sure that you've got some healing. Because without that, you're really going to be in trouble. Uh, now, some of the suggestions that Avalon Hill put forth in their update, in their remake version, are good. But I don't think they quite go far enough in making it like a fun type of quest comparable to the game system, Keller's Keep Return of the Witch Lord. But we'll see if I'm wrong because I've never actually played beyond the second quest with these. And I've tried all kinds of different solutions to make them more fun. So we're going to try some of those tonight, and I'm actually going to be using some of the original uh, draft notes as inspiration for some of those adjustments. So Catherine L. Connors is credited as the original author of Mage of the Mirror back from 1992. She wrote the quest book and a lot of the storyline. Um, and of course, she's working with other people at Milton Bradley Hasbro at the time. So just like with Stephen Baker and HeroQuest, it's not like one person does everything. But just as we can say, you know, Tess uh, did most of Rise of the Dread Moon, even though Doug Hopkins wrote the, um, you know, the rules for like the, the new mechanics. Um, you can say Catherine Connors uh, did a lot of really the, the heart and soul of the Elf Quest Pack. So for good or for ill, uh, it's got her stamp on it, and we'll try to honor that, but at the same time do our own thing, because that's what Hero Quest is all about, making your own adventure, your own sandbox, your own fun. Just about ready to get started. It's okay if we just have one hero, but at the same time, we can accommodate more heroes if other people want to join us. Go to Hero Quest Fans Discord. You can see the, uh, the address there on the screen. I'll just go ahead and copy and paste it for anybody who wants it there. In the Twitch chat, we're live on Twitch, not live on YouTube, and feel free to join us. Now, as we play this, if you're watching us live on Twitch, the way this works, look over in the chat screen, and where it says send a message right below that, you'll see a treasure icon, kind of an orange and purple kind of icon. If you click there, you can see viewer rewards. And so the gold coins that you get, the channel points that build up over time, which you get more of them if you follow us on Twitch. We appreciate that. If you subscribe, you get a multiplier. But anyway, you should be able to just get them just from Larking. And you can use those gold coins to buy stuff for the heroes or buy stuff for Zargon. So you can make the quest easier or harder depending on how you're feeling that day. <laughs> so I really like the interactivity and I really appreciate what people do. And we try our best to accommodate it. So if somebody throws in something really crazy, it might take us a little bit to kind of figure out how to do it. but. It's, we've had a lot of fun with it in the past. And I have had it added some new options. So now you are able to pay a specific gold amount to get a specific type of monster or a specific type of potion. Now, that may change over time, but for now, uh, we've added 
you can buy a couple of monsters and one type of potion. Glasgow Gargoyle, welcome. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, did you go by another name, or is this the name you've been using? No, I've just been using this name since I joined the community, the channel. Nice. Well, I, I'm I'm pleased to have you here. So, do you think you'll be able to join us on uh, regular Fridays, or is this just kind of a surprise? Yeah, I mean, I hope, I hope so. I hope so. Um, I mean, what do I need? I mean, do I need like dice, paper, all this? Oh, do I need a do I need a board in front of me, or do I just go oh. by the screen? No, no, you could just go by what we see on the screen. Now, I think when we very, at the very, very beginning, we imagine everybody would have their own board, kind of like people who play chess remotely. But I found most people don't need that. I've had people run tabletop simulator in the background. All you need is pencil and paper. To keep track of your stuff. I'll remind you if you forget, and sometimes I make mistakes too. The, for the dice, actually, you're going to want to go to the Discord and MentorBot is what we use. So Ribby, one of our members, created that and you can actually type it right in the chat and it appears on screen. Ah, right, okay. So I wonder if I can maybe do a wee experiment of this just now. Sure, sure, absolutely. So, okay, let's see. I'll give you some examples. So roll 2d6. Oh, that's in the Twitch chat. I put it in the wrong place. Here we go. Yeah, if you if you click the little uh, chat box inside Discord, you can see what I'm typing there. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yes, gotcha. There, and then if you want okay, to roll so... combat, it's HQ roll, and then you put the number and then the color. So it could be like two white, three black, four green, one blue, six purple, two orange, and yellow. Let's see if that works. Oh, can't roll more than fifteen. Okay, well, right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not familiar with the different colors of dice. I'm. I'm old school. I have the the, the basic uh, yeah. white dice. Oh yeah, it's fine. Well, I've made some changes to the game, but I'm still trying to keep sort of the spirit of classic Hero Quest, so it shouldn't be too unfamiliar. The way I use the color dice, okay, so that's... is it's like if you have a stronger attack, like from magic or. Oh yeah, like, so a, a wee bit like a wee bit like Parker D and D game with the different colored combat dice. Possibly, I'm not as familiar with D and D, but could be. So like black dice are more yeah, likely to get cool. a skull, so it's like proficiency with with a weapon. Okay, so I, so oh, I see, I see. Okay, so um, so can you give me one more reminder about how I just roll, say, three normal white dice? So I put X glam. Exclam HQ. Yep. R O L L space and then the number. You don't even have to type white unless you're doing like a mixture of colors. Oh, sorry. My auto, my auto, um, my auto, auto spell. That is amazing. I love it's, it. Harold. Did something stupid. Three heralds were just. I don't even know anyone called Harold. I don't even know anyone called Harold. I don't know why my autocorrect would do that. <laughs> hey. You you gotta have a sense of humor when you're playing with. I'm not that. I'm not. I'm not that old. <clears throat> okay, throw three. Let's do this. Ah, there you go. Yay! Okay, that's a pretty good roll as well. Okay, that's a good omen. Ah, yes, it begins. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I like I like that. I've killed the goblin. Yep. Yeah, some some fights were happening off screen, and already you're uh, you're. Uh... <laughs> getting out ahead yeah there's there's, there's there's goblin soup on the floor yep had to fight your way here it's a tough it's a tough kingdom that you're in yeah absolutely all right well if you're ready <clears throat> if you're ready so do you have a piece of paper okay so i've got yep yeah, old school pencil paper nice i probably should get a fresh character sheet out here do you mind that uh, you, you're, you're going to be starting with some? Can I have like, can I have like two minutes, oh, yeah. just to get organized here? Sure, sure. No worries. I'm usually running late with these sort of things anyway, but I figure people are just going to come when they come, and 
will kind of fit them in. All right, we're starting August 25th, 2023. Mage of the Mirror. Right, thanks for your patience. Oh, yes. Well, they say a wizard is never late, uh, nor is he early. <laughs> I'm not sure if that right, applies precisely. to evil, evil wizards, too. Yeah, probably more so. Yep. Okay, so we are look. Are we looking at the kind of? Oh no, I don't. Oh, you've got like the pub. You've got the, you've got the tile from the mythic tier there. Yes. On your board. So this is this is a new a new start to Mage in the Mirror. Oh yes. Have you uh, have you ever played it before? Yes. Okay, so I've never actually played Mage in the Mirror. I mean, my my experience uh, of Hero Quest uh, since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I've I've now, I've now turned forty. So um, I played Hero Quest as a kid um, in the in the early nineties. Uh, with my friends, and uh, and I've also played it more recent years, the old game and the new version. But uh, me and the the folks I play with, and I've always been I've always been the dungeon master, so this is a brand new experience. Me being their character, um, so but I've always played the 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 I've always played the the, the more car strokes are gone, and um, I've never ever actually played uh, mage. Uh, Mage of Mage in the Mirror. I have played Frozen Horror, but only using the only using the the app, and uh, I found it really difficult. Like really difficult. Oh yeah, it's it's a killer quest. If you've seen any of our videos, you've seen just how ridiculous it can get, and I tried my best to. I, my my philosophy of Zargoning, if you will, is to add to what is there rather than take things away. But probably yep. you would be better off taking things away if you just wanted to play it casually with a group of friends who is not absolutely hardcore wanting to experience what it was like <laughs> with these packs back in the day. Yep. So yep. Are, are you ac you're actually from Scotland? Or is that... Yes, I, I am. I'm from Scotland. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm in Central Glasgow right now, actually. Excellent. Um, and uh, so, um, yeah, Friday Friday nights are are are, are pro hopefully going to be quite good. Uh, much better than the. I mean, on the Saturday nights, you'll know that I sometimes kind of watch some of the streams on Saturdays. But after after about an hour, I'm usually conked out. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really want to connect more with some of our uh, European fans like yourself, just because, <laughs> I mean, that's where HeroQuest started, right? And there's this whole untapped Absolutely. world that a lot of us, like, when I was growing up, I didn't know Morcar. I I never heard of any of this stuff until maybe, like, the 2000s. Places like, um, yeah. you know, Egan's Inn and then Yield Inn. And it was like, oh, there's all, this whole world of HeroQuest mm -hmm. I didn't know about. So I suppose yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, I, I was yeah, I, yeah. I was I was amazed when I saw that one night. Um, was it twenty twenty? Was a uh, one night? I just happened to notice that uh, they were they were they were crowdfunding the the new Hero Quest, and I thought I've just got to get that and get back into this. Yeah. Um, and sure enough, um, I did. Yeah, I mean, when I was when I was a kid, we I, I did I did get I get I did get against the Ogre Horde. We we got that. I saw it randomly, you know, back in those back in those days, you know, you just had to happen to notice things in the shop. Yep. You know, you didn't. It wasn't like you, you know, you you know, there was no internet, so like you you happen you see things. So I I I was I was lucky enough to see against the ogre horde, and then lucky enough that my my mom and dad bought it for me. Uh, but wizards wizards of Warcar, for example, um, I only discovered that. About a decade later, I was in some sort of like, um, mm -hmm. you know, one of these kind of hobby shops, and I know I saw it. And I thought, oh, Hero Quest, I remember that. And what's that? I've not seen that before. And it was Wizards of, uh, it was Wizards of Morkar, mm -hmm. and I got it just because of uh, pure nostalgia. So yeah, that this is it. So so I've got those, and I only found out about the Elf Quest and the Barbarian Quest again years later, when I started kind of looking up again and and saw what they had, uh, what you guys had in the states. 
Yeah, I think uh, both sides of the pond, as you were, were jealous of each other. Like, hey, you guys got stuff that we didn't get. <laughs> and and yeah. now it's going to yeah. come in full circle. Well, so yeah. I was thinking, oh, man, you guys got our quest packs that are kind of broken. <laughs> I mean, there's still it's still a sandbox <laughs> that you can develop into your own. But uh -huh. I, I, I'm really uh -huh. curious to hear your opinion. What did you, before we get started on the game here, what did you think of... Uh, against the Ogre Horde, like at the time, like did you play it, and maybe what are your thoughts on yes. when it comes back? Yeah, yeah. Me, me, and my friends played played through against the Ogre Horde, and it worked. It worked quite well. It wasn't it wasn't easy, but it wasn't too difficult either. It, it was good. It was good fun. And um, I, I was even at the time though, I was not a fan. Even as a kid, I wasn't a fan of the variable body points, and I know that's a controversial mm -hmm. uh, stance, but. I, I I wasn't a fan of that. I liked uh, I I like the kind of clarity of you know the ogre warrior should be X body points. The ogre chieftain should be X plus one body points uh, or whatever. Um, but we, we we played the game as it was, and it was it was it was good and it worked well. I seem to remember though I I, I won as as Zargon as Morka. Uh, I I did win that campaign. Um, but we played through it and they got to near the end, and I, I seem to remember that much. Um, but it was really good fun, and then I, 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 we were quite accustomed to making up our own quests as well, and you know, and and playing our own stuff too, using the miniatures from all of the expansions. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, quite late against the ogre horde. I don't know what what anyone else's opinion. Yourself, what do you think of it? Well, I have played I think four quests because there were seven of them I played like four of them in but I never played it according to the original rules I played it according to Phoenix's modifications on yield in which were I guess from the early 2000s or late 90s something somewhere around there so he was converting it to the North American rules and in some ways it was like absurdly hard in other ways it was kind of weird and you kind of had to figure it out but <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably not the original experience. And of course, we don't really know. I mean, uh, Avalon Hill's been very coy about the re-release, but its they've been dropping hints everywhere that it's coming out. And then we had that leak from the game stores basically saying 2024 is when we're going to see it. But my Yeah, I saw that. I saw, I, saw you, I saw you. Yeah, they're going to be adding quests, I think, is it's going to be probably 10 quests. And they'll probably add extras. Yeah, I think, I think others. that's... Yeah, I think that's a good thing. I mean, it would be nice for it to be quite have parity of esteem with the other, the other expansions. Um, I, I like that. Um, of course, uh, back in the day, you know, all of the all of the monsters that we played with had one body point, and it was a whole new world to me when I discovered that you guys had <laughs> had uh, monsters with uh, with more body points. Um, so um, I suppose that made against the ogre horde a bit easier because against the ogre horde may have been the first time, except for kind of named named enemy characters, where we had kind of regular opponents who had more than one body point. Yeah, and and at first I I when I was introduced to that fact that difference I thought gee you know European players you know it's a bunch of softies you only get one. But then I was, but then I, over time, I realized actually, no, 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 there's a lot more differences than that. Like we get the death saves. You guys didn't do that. Your hero died. He's out, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. Whereas, whereas like, mm -hmm. oh, he died, but he had a potion in his hand and he's, he, he comes back, <laughs> you know? And so we had all these last minute saves. So I guess it kind of balances uh -huh. itself out. And I, yeah, I, we I had some other, I mean, there's the, the there's a few a few other subtle differences which I I mean it's like there's lots of different things and I I sometimes I like the American rules better sometimes I like the the UK rules better I do like uh, I I liked at the time when we when we first played the original base game here and we didn't even call it the base game it was just called Hero Quest mm -hmm. and um, I liked things like Fire of Wrath although it was a weaker spell than Ball of Flame in the in the sense that it's less dangerous. Um, however, it was it, he had the ability to cast it on a monster anywhere on the board, uh, and it, so it, so it yeah. was one of, it was one of those few spells where line of sight didn't apply. And I thought I quite liked that because it meant that it wasn't it wasn't necessarily weaker than Ball of Flame. It was just um, different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So for that's that's one small example of one of the differences, and I like that. I like I, I like that. Um, I, I I think that in a in a 
in an element and a group of elemental spells that this it shouldn't be clear that one spell is great is better than another i think they should all be different enough that it's that that's unclear nice well and i'm, I'm thinking too uh, since you're playing as a hero now um you're probably going to see all kinds of differences in the way i play as zargon versus how you played as morkar <laughs> so i hope uh mm -hmm. you don't uh well, it's like, I guess, I mean, you, I want you to be challenged by my evil, but at the same time, you might be like, why did he do that? Well, uh -huh, maybe we, should, sure. maybe we yep. should go over just some basics uh, as far as, like, okay. how I do things, so it's not too shocking. I was thinking, like, um, well, let me just ask you this first, just, again, because I'm so fascinated by your unique experience. What did you think about the change with the remake version to like the North American rules. Did you, were, do you not like that? Were you appreciative of it or? No, I, 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 I think, uh, I, I was in, I was in favor of that actually. Um, I think as I've, uh, as I've matured, I mean, over the, over the years I did play other games. I mean, you know, we played space crusade, we played battle masters, yes. um, later on kind, kind of somewhere in between maybe when I was in my, Maybe when I was in my early to mid twenties, me and some friends played uh, one of the kind of D and D, the kind of D and D light. The the part that a company called Parker brought out a a D and D game, which was kind of I guess it was meant to introduce people to D and D, mm -hmm. and so it was ve it was very reminiscent of Hero Quest, but it did have more complicated rules, and there was a lot more stats and body points, and well, they called them hit points, I think, and. Um, I liked that, and so when, when the new game came around, I was definitely in favour of adopting more of the kind of American approach, uh, because I think it's it, I like I like more more combat, more challenge. So I, I, I guess as I've matured, I've come round to that. But of course, I didn't know about it as a kid anyway, so it didn't matter. Yeah, well, and I I haven't played uh, Dragon Strike or the D and D adventure board game or any of those. I, I do own Space Crusade now. Uh, which I was motivated to buy because of people like Always Bored, Never Boring. It just looked amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'd always kind of like, probably in the 2000s, I'd seen like the flyers. I was like, gee, this is something I'll never own because I'm sure this is so rare. And it was. But uh -huh. I just, if you're looking for games, uh, it's probably easier for you guys because you're actually there. But Board Game Geek, a lot of European gamers there selling their stuff. And if they know you're a fan, it's like it's going to go to a good home. It's not just going to get flipped on eBay. Like they'll sell it to you for a decent price. Like even with the absurd shipping overseas. And I was just, yeah. I was really amazed the experience I had. I got Battle Masters. Um, I probably couldn't hope to get Advanced Hero Quest, but I know that, like, I'm starting to get farther and farther removed from like the nostalgia of it, because <laughs> that is a big draw for mm -hmm. me. So, but anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's great. Yeah, the, the nostalgia. The Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the nostalgia is very, is very powerful. And um, speaking of Space Crusade, um, I remember I remember getting um, Space Crusade one year, then maybe like a year or a year or so after that, getting the Dreadnought expansion, oh. and it was such good fun. It was brilliant. It was fantastic. Uh, oh. Really, really great game. And do you know what another good game is, which that 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 kind of springboarded me onto this other game, which I don't know if you've played before, Space Hulk. You know, I got to play it at Gen Con. That was the first time. Right. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I mean, I played Space Hulk as a as a as a kid um, because we we had a we had a, we had a games workshop here in here in Glasgow, and uh, so Hero Quest got so many kids into Games Workshop um, when I was growing up, and so you know it was just like I, I remember the first time i mean i wasn't really allowed downtown when i was a kid because it's like the big bad city but sure. when i was sufficiently old me and my friends came into town and went to games workshop and it was like this whole new world was opened up um i couldn't believe what i was seeing it's like this is amazing this place is amazing and um we started getting all sorts of games like space hulk and blood bowl and advanced hero quest and all that jazz and um, Space Hulk really appeals to me as, a, as a, I play chess as well. So I think Space Hulk's kind of like Space Crusade for chess players. It's like a really precise game and uh, very technical. Yeah. Well, and to be fair, the, the version I played at Gen Con was kind of a, a remix version. So they were actually using like large action figures, like 12 inch action figures uh, as the characters. And they had this mm -hmm. very large maze they created. And instead of controlling a squad, you were controlling an individual. 
soldier, so it's like, I realize it's not identical to the original game. Space Hulk is one of those games where, like, when I had the choice between buying Space Crusade or Space Hulk, it was like, well, Space Crusade has more figures, it looks like it has more variety, even though I knew Space Hulk's reputation was much more, like, much bigger fan base, much more, I don't know, storied history, and definitely inspired a lot of people. I don't know, I... Yes. It, 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 it looked more like Hero Quest to me, so it's kind of like, well, this will be the safer choice. <laughs> but I realized, uh-huh. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, de- de- definitely, for, definitely. Yeah, out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, for sure, for sure. I mean, Space Crusade was definitely the kind of, uh, you know, the, the, fu- the future version Hero Quest. Um, but I think I think Space Hulk is was a little bit more for kind of my the, the the mature player, and also Space Hulk is more frightening too. You know, it's a bit more aliens than uh, Space Crusade is. Oh, yeah. But um, they're both great. They're both great fun in their own way. Yeah, funny capering Gretchens and uh, goofy uh, orc pirates, <laughs> as opposed to yeah, just like slathering monsters. You know, clawing their way through. Yes, them. I mean do it, do it. I mean do it. Yeah, those monsters in Space Hulk, they are they are deadly. You know, they yeah. you know, you don't want them near you. You know? Yeah, the Gene Steelers. Well, and uh, I guess that which later became the Tyranids. I don't know all the history of it. I've just skimmed old books, like old Warhammer books. I don't know all the details, but I know that it, the computer version they were called Soul Suckers and they looked more like the Xenomorphs from the Alien movies. <laughs> so, I know that there's some ah, right. variation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just remember the the whole. The, it was it was very very reminiscent of aliens. It was really yeah. it was really scary. Yeah, Gene Steelers. Gene Steelers. I know. I never ever played Advanced Space Crusade, but I did see Advanced Space Crusade, and it was very different looking. And I didn't yeah. I didn't get Advanced Space Crusade as a kid. Yeah, it, it yeah. Looked, they, that had tyrant, tyrants. Yeah. It looked more and more like Games Workshop was just like, oh, this is working well. Let's just keep shoveling out even more games, and each one we're just going to throw some more miniatures in there to get people interested and. Maybe the cardboard and the game mm-hmm. around it doesn't matter as much, but yeah, I guess getting back to an earlier point, it is interesting to hear that uh, against the Ogre Horde was received well. I mean, do you think that's representative? Do you feel like a lot of European players liked that expansion, or do you think it was maybe kind of mixed, well, mixed reviews? I mean, I, I think I think so. I mean, I, I do suspect that lots of Hero Quest players around my age at the time didn't even know about against the ogre horde because it kind of just you know it was just as i say it was kind of just by chance that i found it um so i think a lot of people and i remember some friends going oh what's this what you got a new you've got a new hero quest what's this uh so it was like uh, I, I was i was mr popular for, for a couple of weeks um but um but yeah i think a lot of people missed out on it and certainly wizards of morkar even more so um, but but yeah, I mean, I, I, rem- I remember you know uh, everyone being very positive about it. These these big hulking brutes, the ogres. Yeah, I think it was very uh, very well received by those who who had the fortune to find it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I I'm thinking probably Avalon Hill's best bet, and they may already be doing this, is to talk to you guys because we in North America didn't know much about it, uh, or maybe we, oh, it's only got seven quests. It, this looks stupid. You know, I don't like this. Um, but yeah, just getting your guys' perspective and seeing like the house rules that you guys came up with and the new adventures you guys came up with for those expansions. And so they can honor that, but then also introduce it to people who never saw it before, like in a really authentic, yes. but also kind of updated way. So it kind of feels like it fits with everything else. Yeah. Yes, definitely. They'll want they'll want to do that, but I really hope it all comes to pass. I, I like the idea of them sprinkling in the old expansions with the new the new stuff, like um, Rise of the Dread Moon, which I love. I think it looks brilliant. I haven't played any of it yet, but I think it looks brilliant. We'll be starting it tomorrow, and I know it doesn't work for you. But yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll certainly try and watch some of that tomorrow. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. Well, um, and I know that since we've kind of spent our time kind of getting to know each other, um, maybe we can... I don't know, how much time do you have to play today? I want to be honoring of that time. Well, okay, so o- o- over over here just now, it is uh, 20 to 9. It's, uh, it's 8.40. Um, okay. 
yeah, so like I've got I've got maybe like four hours or so. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, uh, I was going to say we can go later if if we're having a good time and we want to keep going. Um, I blocked out at least two hours. Okay, so got, I want to acknowledge some people in the chat. Yep. So we've been talking with Glasgow Gargoyle. I see Jacers here. Uh, wanted to recruit some monsters for us. Um, this is a solo quest, but at the same time, I've said it before, I'm totally okay with new more heroes joining. I mean, in fact, that's probably a good thing because it is a very difficult quest. So PM, PMG is back. Uh, welcome from France, he says. Hello from France. Uh, you like... JQ, give a try to Demio. I'm not quite sure what that's referring to. Maybe somebody knows Demio. Uh, Kaza Orcos 89 says hi from Germany. Oh, cool. So we're getting all the European players tonight. This is awesome. Oh, MetaQuest PC game. Okay. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of digital games out there. I'm so I'm really nostalgic about certain things and I'm really in depth about them, but then other things like, yeah, I haven't seen. So I, you guys always have things to teach me. <laughs> well, so if you want to play as a hero, I would say go ahead and jump into discord with us. I've linked it in the chat. Um, you only need pencil and paper. And then we've been showing that uh, Ribby's mentor bot allows us to roll dice virtually. So we are going to be playing Mage of the Mirror here, and we have, so far, uh, I see Papa Bear, and I see Count Cogbox. Welcome, gentlemen. Hey. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Slash evening. All right. Well, I think we've got a party of heroes, if you guys want. So, uh, Glasgow Gargoyle, you were here first. I'm going to give you the first pick. Uh, do you want to play as the elf, or do you have a preference? I, I, I honestly don't have a preference, maybe, maybe a other people. Who's the, who's the Who's the Who's the Jacer just uh, gave us the John Cena. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Can you repeat, please? So I don't have a preference, so maybe some other players might want to choose first. Oh, okay. Uh, does anybody want to, I mean... Like I said, the sky's the limit. What a guy, what a guy. <laughs> so I've, we, I gotta play the wizard if he's available. And we're moving into... This. Okay, so the wizard. So who is that that uh, spoke up just then? Cogpox. Cog Count Cogpox. Which the subtitles have a really hard time with your name. But that's okay, they have a problem with Jacer's name too. Count Cogpox. <laughs> okay, so we'll be starting some new character sheets here. So Count Cogpox will be the wizard, also known as the alchemist. All right. So I'll give you your stats while everybody else is thinking about what heroes they want. So you will have, and you're inheriting equipment from the previous adventure. Which I think is only fair. You guys earned it. So you have the Alchemist Staff. Which of course is a diagonal attack. And two black dice. I have most of it still written down here if you want me to okay. confirm it with your... I know it's well, quite a bit of... I'll run, I'll run through it real quick. A Sling, so for ranged one. Uh, for defense, you've got the Alchemist Cloak artifact, which is one green die. You've got Bracers, so your total should be four for defense. You have four body points, six mind points. You also have a regular staff, I see. Yeah, that I'm not equipped. That was a piece of loot I got. I was probably going to convert that with the uh, one of them cards, the Alchemy. Yeah. Okay. So you are a champion. Four body points. Six mind points. Oh, I'm hearing my own voice echoing there. I see. Yeah, that I'm not equipped. That was a piece of loot I got. I was probably going to convert that with the. Uh, Somebody want to mute their mic? <laughs> yeah. Or they're listening uh, to the Twitch Twitch stream. Uh, maybe mute the Twitch stream. We were just talking Discord. 
Um, okay. So as far as your gold, you have 1,225 gold. You have a toolkit. Glasgow, I hope you don't mind. This is going to take just a minute here. Uh, okay. Explain. Two potions of wizardry. Three potions of magical aptitude. Uh, one magic. Do you have a wheelbarrow to carry all this stuff? <laughs> Yes, he does. It's quite a quite a sheet. Yeah, I had two magic resists down here, but I can, I think we did use one. Now yeah. that I'm remembering. Yeah, Oswald the Overladen carries your gear for you. Uh, let's see, uh, potion of magic resistance for damage, Wolfsbane potion, uh, three potions of alchemy, which Glasgow you may recognize. That's the one that. Uh, can turn a piece of useless equipment into some gold for you. Oh yes, you do have another potion of magic resistance that is for all spell effects. A healing plus. But one was for damage and one was for all spells, you're saying? Yes. Okay. Okay, a potion of healing plus four, potion of strength. Two I have potions. two written down for that. Do I just have one? Yeah, I used up one. Two potions of restoration. That's the one that gives you one body point and one mind point. Yeah, I get that. So it might start to feel like D and D with all this stuff, but it's still at heart. It's still your quest. Okay, and then I also see yeah, there's two potions of strength. You got a second one. You also have antidote, potion of charm, potion, uh, two potions of warmth. And then I just had one potion of defense, one life elixir, and one of dexterity. Yeah, I got one potion of dexterity that says plus five movement or a pit jump. I got one life elixir that's one body point over five turns, and one potion of defense that says plus two defense dice. Okay, I have that the defense was used up, but I did not write down the dexterity. I'm sure that's correct, though. Okay. All right. And then as far as the alchemist goes, what are your spell groups going to be for this adventure? Uh, do, don't we do the wizard choose one, elf choose the other, yep. and then the wizard gets the other two? Yep. Okay. I think I got to choose fire, fire to start. Okay. Do you have my uh, one life elixir written down, though? Yes. Okay, good. I want to make sure I got that in the pocket. Okay. Uh, so Glasgow, uh, what's what's your choice? Uh, okay, so let's go elf then. If if if, ever, if if no one else has any strong feelings, I'll go elf. Excellent. Okay. Well, and I just want to uh, put this out for you. Um, we've got your choice as far as miniatures go. We've got the uh, the classic elf. Right here, we've also got a uh, female elf from the remake, which I've just given a basic paint job. Uh, this was my attempt to create recreate the female elf using the Reaper bones. And then we've got the newer male elf from the remake set. So do you have a preference as far as that goes? Or what you want represented? I on? do. Yeah, my, my preference is the is the new elf figure from the the Mage in the Mirror. Nice. The male with the round shield. Yeah. Cool. Yes, I think that's that a, a, a real cool one. miniature. It is, yeah. yeah. Cool. Alright, very good. And we've got able the... to uh rock that Zargon miniature, the mentor. Oh yeah. I can I Is can... that possible? Is he oh, yeah. is, is he supposed to be a wizard? Yeah. Uh, yes. Usable token. He's okay. I, I read that somewhere, but I was like, "That's mentor." I'll grab That's... it. One moment. <laughs> Gotta bring some wise and years to the wizard class here. He he kind of feels like dad doesn't trust the kids to get the job done, so he has to come fix the shit himself. Right. Right. He's a little less lightning bolt and a little more stay a while. Listen. 
So for the elf, um, you have some choices. So fire is already taken. You can also, of course, choose air, water, or earth. Or what are the what are the elf spells? I've never really gandered at the. Well, I'm glad you asked. These are the elf spells. Oh. <laughs> like I I didn't understand because I never played uh, this. As, oh, pack. Can I give you? A, I've uh, my daughter's actually been using the elf spells a lot lately, and um, generally speaking, so you get eight spells instead of three if you took a wizard spell, and you could say individually they're all slightly less powerful than wizard spells like you you certainly don't have anything as strong as genie in there but they're very very good team support cards so if i was doing solo as the elf i don't know that i would want to take the elf powers because a lot of them don't make sense for solo play but if you if you're playing on a team by all means because they're actually pretty powerful and the fact that you get eight of them means that you know you can be using a lot of them frequently so that's just been my experience so far me you have to pick three before the level starts and then at the end of the level you can repick them before the next mission yeah out of that pool of eight you don't get all eight you're actually mission. yeah you're you're correct so the way they intend oh. to replay it, <laughs> so i've added the ninth one this is from the uh, draft notes this was not one of the ones included in the pack it's a moon time where you can turn into a werewolf or a wolf i should say not a werewolf for three turns um Originally, they were saying you were supposed to just pick any three, and that's all you got. Now, a lot of people have chosen to play and just say, yeah, you get uh, you get eight of them, and you can use them. Um, but you're supposed to pick three or pick one of the remaining elements. But what I've chosen to do is I'm doing something completely different than that. I'm saying that you get your element, and you can pick one of these. One. To go with it. And on the next I'm glad one, you guys. Can... I'm glad you guys corrected me because I, I didn't know the pick three rule, which is funny because I would even the even without that rule, the elf powers never felt like overpowered or anything. But yeah, anyways, good good to know. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what do you think of that? The rule is homebrew. It was one one elf spell per mind point. So the elf only got like four or five instead of the three, but not all eight. Hey, Jacer. Thanks. Yeah, so uh, if you're, Glasgow, if you're okay with that, do you want to just pick one of the other elements and then we can just give you one of these as a bonus? Is that cool? Yes, that that's that sounds good. Um, at the, I was going to say at the risk of sounding boring, I'll just take one of the elemental groups, um, but that sounds good. So I'll go for the, the classic Earth element. Excellent. All right. Now these are just my own custom cards, but it's the it's the same deal. Heal body, rock skin, pass through rock. So love it, love it. Okay, so that means the uh, the alchemist gets air and water and fire. Now, did you say I get one of the elf spells too? Yeah. Now that's the, this is going to be the hard part to decide which one you want. So I'll just is start hypnotic as hypnotic blaze in there. Yes, it is. I think I'll take Hypnotic Blaze. Okay, so you already know. An illusion what is that? Do read that. Huge animated flame appears. Every figure in the room or corridor, except for the spellcaster, must roll one red die. A figure that rolls equal to or less than its mind points is unaffected by the illusion. Rolling a number greater than its mind points means that the figure is paralyzed for three turns, unable to move, attack, or defend. Wow. So it might be it might be useful for me sometimes to jump into a room before anyone else has, and affect our our monsters, and then the rest of the guys can come in and take care of business. Okay. Now, since it requires mind points, I take it this would not be effective on undead monsters, right? Who have zero. I think it automatically affects undead monsters. Are you thinking they just have no? protection against it they have no defense see and that's that's more of like the european way of looking at it like oh no mind points no defense <laughs> rather than no mind points no effect yes in fact, I, I think that's how the app deals with it as well oh really okay well cool that's good to know okay we'll we'll do it that way so you'll have hypnotic blaze plus earth 
Great. Okay. And yeah, I was going to tell you, uh, Glasgow, um, well, maybe I'll tell you at the end here, after we get our other heroes chosen. So we've got Earth. Now, aren't there some other spells that aren't affecting undead, though, that explicitly say that? That explicitly say it? Yeah, if, if they say it on the card, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, then it, then, it, then it seems like it matters. If it's not said on there, it would seem like, just to take the fine point rule, applies to them. Yeah, well, Deep Sleep, for example, it's it says it only works on one or three mind points. So if they have zero, that's right. probably not, not one of them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, Glasgow, as, as the elf, uh, you do have a number of things, so I'm going to give you those right now if you're ready. Yes. Okay. So you are armed with a long sword and a crossbow. You might think to yourself, gee, there's nothing more for me to go from here, right? But actually, I've added new weapons and things too, so there should be plenty, plenty of opportunities for loot. Okay, and you're familiar with how those work, right? Yes, I'm, I'm just getting over my excitement. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, you have for your armor, you've got a shield and a helmet. And you've also got the plate mail. I've got plate mail? Yep. Wow. Does that mean I only roll one dice to move? That's right. Yep. Can I melt the plate mail down? <laughs> you can sell it. Yeah, we're going to have a shopping phase before we actually begin. So if you decide to change your mind. When I was a kid, I, I argued as a hero, well, I should be able to take my armor or my helmets. I had a pile of helmets and I was going to take them to the blacksmith and have them hammered into a suit of armor for me. Not really thinking logically, well, but I'd still have to pay the blacksmith for his labor. So would it really make any difference? But I didn't want to buy the expensive uh, stuff. Okay, so yeah. here, here's the other yeah, here's the other things that you have. So you actually have uh, an alchemist item, which is a it's kind of like an emergency ration. It's a fire lance scroll. So it's uh, basically like your fire wrath. So that'll be a single use that you can use. Okay, and for potions, you have. A potion of fire resistance, that's against magic, of course. A potion of vision, that lets you see traps and secret doors within your line of sight when it's active. And if you take a point of damage, it goes away. Okay. You get the potion of air walk, which lets you float over traps for one turn. Uh, you've got the... Wolf Am I right in seeing the... The, the potions don't require actions, is that right? Correct. They can be used at any time, including at the moment you're dying. And they can be passed yeah. like objects to uh, adjacent heroes, assuming it's your turn. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. You've got a Wolfsbane potion. That's like Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just call me Santa, evil Santa. Okay, uh, Wolfsbane, uh, or I guess Father Christmas in your case, right? Uh, Wolfsbane Potion. <laughs> Father Zargon. Okay. Uh, you've got a healing plus four. Actually, you have two healing plus fours. All right. You've got a potion of magical aptitude. And we haven't seen much use of that one. I think this is the one where you get to... If you cash it in first, you could use two spells on your turn instead of just one. Not the Oh, yes. Spell. That rings a bell. Yeah. Wish from Wizards of Morkar. Uh, then you've got a potion of magic resistance. That's just the damage caused by spells. The antidote. And that would be two body points caused by poison. I think of any kind. Any questions about that stuff? Is that all I get? That's it, I'm afraid. Yeah, he's, uh, he's poor. <laughs> but there's many opportunities. Thanks very much. That's great. <laughs> Do you give him his gold? How much gold he has? Oh, oh yes. I almost forgot. the. You see your fight purse is uh, stuffed with gold. You have 1,000, 
or sorry, yeah, one thousand and fifty gold. I think I'll just retire, actually. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, he uh, he had a he had a long and storied career. I, the nice thing about having all this gold too is, if you don't like this equipment, you can basically just swap it out for something else, easily enough. Storyline, in, in in world. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So who is our next hero? So we've got two. To like the long introductions. It's like you go to the wrestling match and you gotta w wait for the long like entrance <laughs> of each guy and a long introduction from the. It's like come on, just get to the. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, let's see, Jacer. Oh, we lost Papa Bear. Oh, we have to bounce in a few minutes. Sorry about that. Sign me up for whatever. Okay. Well, yeah. If if you wanna if you wanna play for a while, you can. Um, and we can always give the hero that you've got to somebody else. Still have my barbarian card. Nice. Okay. Well, all right. We'll have the barbarian. He can always chill for a while. And the barbarian has 1,050 gold. Also, he's got four attack. Five defense, ten body, three mind, because he has the Amulet of the North, and his famous great sword, Molly the Murderous, also known as Stabby McStab, and also the Cold Iron Plate, the Snowshoes of Speed. Well, actually, those won't be any of any use in this uh, pack, so we won't have the Snowshoes anymore. To go back into the closet, he has a helmet and Jacer. I think you and I discussed the possibility of doing some other type of character that you hadn't used before, but what is your what is your thought at the time? Well, I was actually thinking of going to the um, dwarf and bringing him back in for a little bit. Because he don't have a lot of gear, but he has a little bit of gear. Alright. Nice. So we got the classic dwarf, or would you prefer maybe a remake style dwarf for tonight? I mean, I usually just change these up anyway. Um... It don't matter. Both the dwarfs came out pretty cool. Do the classic dwarf. And the barbarian. I gotta repaint this guy. As as much as I've enjoyed that design, I feel like I need to like learn how to do it. Jacer has the dwarf. All I got for him is the battle axe, bracers, helmet, fire resistance, uh... Got yeah, something that says magic. I don't know if it's a magic potion or something. A heal plus four, a warthog bladder. Yes. Two antidotes, a potion of warmth, a potion of speed, and a potion of battle. That sounds really close to what is correct. So uh, maybe it was magic resistance. So let me uh, let me consult it. Yeah, because he was out for a few quests. So yeah, I have him armed with a battle axe. He has bracers and helmet. Uh, t yeah, two potions of magic resistant. That's the all, rather than just damage. Potion of warmth. Now, those potions of warmth will still be usable. It's just that they'll give you back one body point instead of two, because we're not likely to encounter frost damage. Yeah, fire resistance. Speed. Yeah, healing plus four. Potion of battle. That's the one that lets you re-roll your combat roll if you choose to. Yeah, the Warhog Bladder, which is basically just like your uh, Swift Wind, will use. And I have two antidotes. If you get poisoned, uh, he's your man. Just need uh, two skill cards. Yes. Is there any place that the you have the wizard spell cards posted? I cannot find them on Google anywhere. Oh, yieldin.com? Let me go there. I'm looking all over Google Images, and it's just not... A, oh, yeah. Not a, uh... Okay, so... Alertness and a rallying cry. So this is for the dwarf. So alertness, this allows you to automatically ignore one trap, ambush, wandering monster card, or event. Rallying cry, these are single use, of course. Inspires your comrades to victory. From now until the end of the turn, each hero may roll one extra attack and defense dice. Barbarian is a knight. <laughs> so I, I came up with these before they added the knight. So it was like a champion after you complete three to five quests, knight after you complete ten quests. So the barbarian gets three. Okay, so he has a roundhouse. So that's what is his two-handed weapon. 
You can strike all adjacent enemies with a single attack. Apply the results to all enemies in adjacent squares. Berserker Fury. Uh, you can trade any number of defense dice to roll any equal number of attack dice. These are distributed amongst any creatures adjacent to you as you see fit. So a little open-ended there. And then Mighty Blow. Uh, roll your combat dice, multiply by two the final die results, apply the result against your opponent. So that's the Barbarian. Of course, you can always ask me if you uh, need a reminder of any of this. Hey, Retro DH. Oh, and Comrade Polsky is already banning bots. I appreciate that, Polsky. Yeah, Darkhawk is back. Darkhawk, I'm sorry, somebody already got the wizard. But we are starting Mage of the Mirror, so I'm glad to have you. I'm glad to have all of you. Of course, you can all use your channel points, your gold coins, to affect the quest. But right now we have a dwarf, a wizard, an elf, and actually a papa bear is ducking out soon. Uh, the barbarian may become available, so we can always do that. Oh yes, and there were some other bonuses for the Barbarian. He got a lot of bonuses from doing the Frozen Horror. So I'm just going to draw a random combat potion for him. Okay, so the Barbarian gets this potion, Frost Skin. So he gets two extra combat dice when defending against attacks. As soon as there are no monsters in the line of sight, then it goes away. So Darkhawk, uh, are you going to be here a while? Uh, be welcome to join in at a certain point. That's Sasquatch Man 1984, Spielbert, and Jartza. Welcome everyone to HeroQuest fans. Okay, if you guys are still with me, <laughs> I know there's a lot of prepping here, but it's going to be an epic quest, so we're hoping to be able to do this pretty regularly moving forward on a Friday. Okay, I'm just going to run through what the Barbarian has. So sooner or later he will be entering the fray so besides the great sword he also has a flail which is two attack dice including diagonal he's got a shield but he's not using it it's stowed got the cold iron plate which prevents theft while he's wearing it and it's just like plate mail otherwise slows his movement to 1d6 he's got a helmet and as far as potions he has two 1d6 healing potions potion of speed potion of strength magic resistance against all spell effects he also has a toolkit of course the dwarf doesn't need a toolkit but the barbarian has a toolkit He actually has a second potion of frost skin. A potion of resilience, which is just like defense. So two extra dice for one defense. He has a potion of icy strength. Potion of Fire Resistance, Antidote, Battle Rage, Potion of Battle, maybe I should just turn off uh, Potion Buys for this quest, no, I'm just kidding, because you guys have so much, um, let's see, and then Magic Resistance for Damage. The potion of battle rage was used up in the last battle. Oh, for sure. Okay, good. Right. Cross that off. There's a spot open. Thank you, Jacer. Oh. Uh, he doesn't really need the armband of ice in this quest, but he did have it. But the Amulet of the North will continue to help him. Darkhawk says, I can't play today, unfortunately, just listening while I finish up work. Hey, that's cool, man. Glad to, I'm glad to have you back, and one of these times, uh, I'm sure you'll join us, and it'll be awesome. It'll be just like old times. It'll never stop us. All right, so this is mostly for Glasgow Gargoyle, but anybody else who's coming in from, like, 
maybe more familiar with the European rules or just maybe how you've done your own uh, adventures. So some of the things that I do that maybe not everybody else does when I play. So what I like to do is let's say your hero is like coming out of a doorway. Let's say he comes out of a doorway into the hallway like this. So I'll say he can only see these three squares. He doesn't see the entire hallway. When he steps into the hallway, now he sees the whole corridor. Okay. Now let's say he wants to search uh, the corridor for something. Okay, he searches this entire corridor, but he's not also searching this double corridor, even though he's really close to it. He'd have to be here. Now he can choose to search the entire double corridor or this like just this horizontal corridor. I know that the app kind of, when you're at a crossroads, it kind of searches both at the same time. I don't play it that way. So that's what I do. Now, other things, um, when you detect a trap, I put that squared there. I know that's not in the original rules, but just to kind of show you where it is because it's easier to see it on screen. If you're gonna disarm the trap, as long as you're in the same corridor or room, you can just automatically jump to it. You don't have to use up movement to get there. That's how I do it. Another thing is if you're using the crossbow. So let's say you're wanting to shoot some enemies with the crossbow. What I say is you may have, you obviously can't hit adjacent monsters with the crossbow, right? That's, that's the normal rules. You can't hit them. Some people say that if you have monsters in the diagonal, the close diagonal squares, you can hit them. Whereas I say you can't do that. So what I'm saying is basically these eight squares that surround you can't be hit with a crossbow. They have to be further out. That way, if you've got a long sword, it's still kind of unique because you can use the long sword or the staff to hit those diagonal squares. So that's how I do it. Again, not, not how everyone does it and not necessarily right or wrong. That's just how I, I play. Any questions about any of that or maybe any other kind of basic rule clarifications before we start? Makes sense to me. All right, cool. But yeah, if, if at any time anything comes up like that, you know, just give me a minute and I'll, I'll try, to, <laughs> try to explain it. Okay, before we start the adventure proper, I'm going to read off the story. So the elf quest pack, Mage of the Mirror. A message from Mentor. Ah, you're here at last, my elven friend. Our time together must be brief, for your skills are needed urgently. The elven kingdom is in turmoil, as you may have heard. Queen Torelia's five-year-old daughter, Melandriel, has been kidnapped. The queen has secretly informed me that she has received a ransom note from her evil sister, the archmage Sinestra. Sinestra has always been vain and proud, paying more attention to her mirrors than to the advice of the wise. Her vanity has led her to a diabolical plan. The note demands that the queen abdicate the throne and turn all power over to Sinestra. Only then will Landriel be returned unharmed. The queen has asked me to find an elven hero who has the strength and courage to lead a small band of heroes into Sinestra's stronghold to rescue Landriel. Because the girl's life would be forfeit if such a rescue mission failed, Queen Torelia insists that the chosen hero first prove his worth. The queen has decided upon three quests for this elf to undertake on his own before she will agree to the rescue attempt. After much uh, diplomatic uh, <laughs> scrutiny, I, I, w I was able to convince her that those companions could come on, on the adventures. So. Uh, the elf will be leading a small band of heroes on these adventures. I've chosen you to lead the rescue party. If you survive the first three quests the queen proposes, your heroic companions will continue to rejoin you, and you will all embark on the mission to rescue uh, Princess Melandriel. You must succeed in this mission, for your entire race is in danger should Sinestra gain the throne. The safety of the Empire is also at stake if what I fear is true. I suspect that Zargon is lurking behind Sinestra's schemes. As a willing servant of Zargon, she may call upon the forces of chaos to thwart your mission. Do not underestimate the importance of the tasks before you, brave elf. 
If you fail, the Emperor will lose the power and the strength of the Elven people to Zargon, and that will surely mean the end of the Empire. Okay. Now, before you embark on your first adventure, I do want to let you know that there are a couple of places you can shop to start with. Oh, and I should tell you, there's actually a couple of house rules that we've implemented based on the draft notes. So if you detect a trap, you can jump over it, right? You could always do that. You could jump over the square, you know, avoid rolling a skull. Um, but you can actually jump over any square. So we call it the blind trap jump. So if you think maybe a square, maybe on the other side of a doorway might be, it might have a trap on it, but you don't have proof of it, you can still try to jump the square. Now, if you fail, you're going to land on the square and find out was there really a trap or not. The other thing you can do is you can try to jump two squares at the same time. And to succeed, you just have to roll uh, a white shield on one combat die. If you fail, you'll land on the first square, find out if it was safe or not. A blind jump and blind jump. fail, does your, does your movement continue? Yes, it does. As long as you got movement left, you can keep on going. Okay. Quick question. Yeah. Um. So, th did I get signed up for the barbarian? Yes. Okay. Um. Because I have the plate, but I also have the eye shoots of speed. Am I still just rolling two d six? Uh, no, because we're not in that icy. Uh, climate anymore so the social okay. speed are really non-functional and you're just okay. rolling 1d6 for movement unless you decide to ditch the plate okay so yeah i mean doesn't seem like it's going to be that useful unless there's theft i don't think there's theft in mage in the mirror is there well i mean you never know i guess <laughs> by default <laughs> there isn't but i mean i might uh decide to yes <laughs> i see uh, does it give me, am I still rolling, uh, typically, like, four attack dice and five defense, then? Uh, four attack, five defense. Yeah, and you have yeah, potion okay. speed. Hey, guys, uh, someone just rang my doorbell. <laughs> Hold on, I'm so sorry. Uh, give me, like, two minutes. I'll be right back. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, suggested topic, uh, Path of the Wandering Monk, what do you think? Be right back. Well, that, 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 is the, that is the spicy <laughs> conversation nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, the wandering monk at his door. Well, can we also thank Mentor for his diplomatic skills? I know. I'm glad we all get to be here to support the elf on his journey. I'm still convinced Mentor is Morkar. Morkar? That was the UK version, right? Okay. Yes, yes, that's right, yeah. I just felt like, I don't know if you guys saw uh, Kurgan's interview with Carmen, but at mm -hmm. the end of the interview, Carmen was like, hey, what's up with this morkar Zargon relationship? And I was like, wait a second, I thought these were the same guy. You know, difference for copyright. Yes, I, I, it sounds like I, they're going to do something with that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, my head I, I guess I don't... was that Morkar was the elven name for Zargon. Yeah, that's mm. what I always assumed. I just assumed, you know, then the Japanese had the Grim Dead version. Um, oh, is is that where the Grim Dead thing comes from? Because I've heard that several times, and it's like I've never heard that before. Yeah, that's the uh, Japanese version. Oh, I see. Uh, so I'm. I think they're going to somehow bring this together in the modern, like do a little tie up. Uh, or else I just feel like he wouldn't have said anything in the interview. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that. Well, I guess here's my two cents from the interview was one thing that he did say was, you know, we want to be the beginning of a conversation, not the end of it. And so, um, well, that doesn't mean that he doesn't want to, like, write stuff or, or be completely noncommittal about, like, storylines and, 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 you know, the fate of characters <laughs> and stuff. Got it, got it, do, it does sound... I mean, this is kind of like the issue with Twin Peaks. Sorry, that's kind of a side reference. It's like, 
the big question of the game is, you know, what is Zargon going to do next? You know, are we ever going to defeat Zargon? And if you take that away, kind of like how Twin Peaks, once they finally answered the question, who killed Laura Palmer, people lost their interest in the show and ratings dropped off completely. So here, it's like, Hero Quest survives because we have a bad guy to go fight, and if you kill the big bad, what do you do? Do you replace him with the bigger bad? Well, clearly he gets away. I mean... yeah. You know, there's got to be some kind of uh, Voldemort scenario where, you know, you have a I'll get you next time gadget sort of thing. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, do, sure. I mean, we all want to, you know, kick Zargon in the solar plexus, right? I mean, there's got to be some, some uh, culmination battle at some point where obviously he's got to get away or something because, like you said, you don't want to defeat Zargon. Mm-hmm. Unless you defeat him, and then we find out the whole time you've been helping mentors, actually, Morkar, he gets his, like, whatever, book back or gemstone or whatever. Then he's, you go kick his butt in an expansion pack, but then Zargon comes back. I mean, there's a lot of room here. What about Grim Dead? That, that's... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if... Work in, it would be nice if they did work in Grim Dead. I think he's kind of a tertiary <laughs> character at this point, but, I mean... Same it... guy, but or Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if, if they did something, it. if they did something with like Mentor secretly being, you know, the, it, like Jar Jar Binks, it was like it was Jar Jar the whole time. It was Mentor the whole time. That's probably the most interesting thing they could possibly do. Because, yeah. Anyways, well, I'm, I'm just convinced now that Mentor is Morkar, but that's just my crappy hypothesis. That's not well, he, I mean, he does look evil on the screen, right? Right. Like. Like, I mean, it's no wonder everyone assumed for years that they look at the screen, they're like, yeah, that's that must be Zargon because he looks so damn evil, you know? So. All right, we kept the conversation going, Bergen, while you were talking to the pizza guy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, well, thanks, guys. Um, good stuff. Okay, uh, so we did the storyline. So you have some potion merchants. And, again, this is, I'm just experimenting with these little uh, bits that were in the original draft notes that were not implemented in the official quest. So we've got some potion merchants, so uh, you guys can actually start out. You don't have to roll or anything. But if you open the door to this market, this is going to be an open-air market. I know it looks like the, the tavern there. So, Elf, you want to step inside? Absolutely. All right. You walk in and you see the uh, the bustling market. And you do see that there is a... Oh, let me just do this right. There's a potion merchant selling his wares. And you can purchase uh, with your gold, if you choose, uh, various potions. So we've got the Potion of Recall. That would allow the elf to uh, get back one of the spells that you previously used. Got the Elven Potion of Speed. When you use this, you can move 12 squares per turn instead of rolling the red dice. And you get two attacks per turn, but as soon as you lose a body point of damage, it goes away. And I'm choosing to say that this is 12 points, 12 squares, even if you've got plate mail on. Even though some would choose to say it's only six. And there's the Potion of Vision. This is for the elf. He can uh, see all secret doors and regular traps within his line of sight until he takes a body point of damage. Potion of Restoration. This is 800 gold, gives you all your body and mind, body and mind points back, and it cures you from were, werewolf uh, disease. So, Potion of Recall, 400. Potion of Speed, Elven Speed, 500. Potion of Vision, 500. Potion of Restoration, 800. Now, um, I'm I'm tempted to buy I'm tempted to buy two of the potions of Elven Speed. Okay. 
Now he does say, uh, you seem a little reluctant to spend your gold here. You know, if you want, there actually is a, uh, a traveling, uh, traveling peddler in the next, uh, in the next room. But I have heard it said that while he only charges half price for his potions, uh, there's a 50% failure rate according to customers. Well, my elf wants no part of that. <laughs> that's shady business. Yeah, that's shady, shady stuff going on in that room. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so yeah, you... I'll, I'll go for the I'll go for the I'll go for the brand name. Excellent. All right, so he goes for the the union label. He goes to get uh, two potions of speed. <laughs> so you're down to fifty gold. So I'm now skint, but that's okay. Now in Rise of the Dread Moon, this one is called Celerity. But you can call it Potion of Speed if you want. We know what you mean. Alright, and next up, who are we going to have go next? Do you guys care about the turn order? We want to roll for it? Or how you want to have a roll off? <laughs> roll for initiative. Sure Roll one red die, is that the premise? Sure, okay. So we'll have the wizard, the barbarian, and the dwarf uh, roll your in the Discord chat there. I mean, each new quest, we can always change it up if you guys decide, just like you can change your spells between quests. Roll two red die. Big money. Okay, so Count Cogbox got three. Papa Bear, you want to do your... <laughs> what in the world is going on? Oh, Ribby's been messing with the dice again. Just kidding. Yeah, Ribby needs to reset the uh, mentor, her. but... That's ridiculous. None of us are going to the casino. Jacer. Okay, so Jacer, Jacer is going to be number two. Now, the real question is, who does number two work for? Just kidding. Um, okay, so uh, Cogpox and Bear, you guys need to roll. Let's see who... Is the tiebreaker. Papa Bear got a six. Cogpox, four. Okay, so. That's funny because they only rolled, because I, I screwed up and I only rolled one dice. So, but, uh, anyways, yep, I'll take it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, roll one more, Papa Bear. I mean, yeah, you're going to get it. Okay, eight. Eight. Okay, so Papa Bear, the barbarian is three. Wizard is four. That actually makes it more challenging, I think. Dwarf next. Then Barbarian. Then Wizard. Okay, Jacer. You want to do some shopping? You've got... I got no gold. Oh, you don't have any gold. Unless uh, one of you other guys want to loan him some gold. Or you want to sell some stuff. So you don't have much to sell either. You don't really have much to sell either. He's a he's a thrifty guy. He's a dwarf. Okay. All right. I'm well, good like, to go. All right. He uh. He just he's going in as a coal slayer. Just does <laughs> window shopping. All right, barbarian. Okay, I I need to sell a few things here at Bloodbath and Beyond. Um, <laughs> Love it. All right, so. The cold iron plate does not give me extra defense. It just prevents theft, right? Ah, uh, no. Actually, gives you two uh, two extra defend dice. Oh dang. Okay. All right. I hate that it slows me down, but I'm gonna hold on to it. So I will. I will sell my armband device. Uh, well, the armband device is actually an artifact. So. Oh, you can't sell the artifacts. Yeah. The uh, the shop owner just kind of shakes his head. He looks a little scared when he sees it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll sell the flail then. I think the flail is worthless compared to my great sword. Ah, the flail of fail. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, what was my starting gold last time? I had fifty. I don't know if I still have that or not. Uh, you have one thousand and fifty. Hell yeah! Yeah, we beat the frozen horror. Gave us each a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just see here. Okay, so he'll give you 75 for the flail. 
Okay. So, yep, yeah, sounds good. I'll do it. Okay. All right, so that brings me up to 11.25 then. Um. Well, no, it would be... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, you're right. Okay. Um, and the only thing we're buying here is potions, right? Well, I mean, if you, you want to buy equipment, too? I don't think there's really anything I could just buy unless you just added some um, custom stuff that's oh, out of the ordinary. I did add Ooh. some custom stuff out of the ordinary. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll have a look at it. Okay, so we've got a, a tower shield. That is uh, 500. It slows you down, but it allows you two extra dice. Uh, and if against projectiles, you roll a green dice. So that's 500. Great sword is two-handed, right? Yes. Okay, all right. You got the Warhammer. That's basically just uh, a five hundred dollar or five hundred dollar, five hundred gold coin version of the battle axe. I mm -hmm. basically did that because I had a character that couldn't use bladed weapons, so I kind of came up with that. It's more just a stylistic thing. We got the bastard sword for two hundred. Okay. If you're the barbarian, you get to add another black die. Of course, as a champion, he's already using three black dice. So this is a three combat dice weapon, so it'd be two white and one black. In his, his case, it'd be three black. For everybody else, it's just a, it's just a three. It's just like a broadsword, really. Wait, does being champion give us some stat change that I'm unaware of? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So for okay, the well... elf, I'm giving him the bonus uh, spell. For the barbarian, he's getting uh, the black dice with his attack, and I gave him a combat potion and I give him an extra skill card the dwarf is not I don't think he's yet a champion double check here um yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. Um, it's okay that's probably it for me then so I'll just I'll just hang on to my gold. Um, tell you what though, I will I, I will uh, out of the kindness and goodness of my heart, uh, I will throw six hundred gold the dwarf's way. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Okay. So the Go buy yourself something beautiful. Nice. And it's all, right, all on so ale. <laughs> he'll probably blow it on. Bugman's best. All right, so I, I'm at 525 then. So got it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I think I'm done. So. No, I'm sorry. The uh, the the merchant made a slight mistake. You actually get uh, a little bit more gold for that flail. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get another 65. Okay. All right, so then I'll just like I said, I, I, I handed uh, gold over six hundred gold over to the uh, dwarf, uh, and then I'll just so that sixty five you said. Yeah. So. All right, uh, so that brings me up to five ninety. Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, there's the the halberd. That's three dice diagonally. So some of these are kind of just like compromises. I was thinking more like you find it in a quest and maybe it's slightly different than a weapon that you're used to. A mace, it's just two. A hammer, just two. So whip lets you whip over traps. Rapier. I know I'm just going through these quick. There's the great sword. And of course, this is all art that I've borrowed from other people. There's the spear. I can't quite find the armory board. I had my own like armory board that I printed out. I probably need to redo it. There's a short bow. 
It's a cloak. Very expensive cloak. Rallying what is the What does the cloak do? So it's just one extra attack die. It's kind of like the cloak of protection. I can't um, wear that on top of uh, plate mail. Or just plate armor. Right. Okay. So, okay. All right, I'll just put those away. Okay, so is, I, is the dwarf going to buy anything? With the 600? Or is he good? Okay, so Barbarian's done with his buying phase. And then, last but not least, in steps the wizard. I'm here, inside the room of legitimate products. Yes. All right. Um, can I see the uh, potion? Yep. Pox, Pox, do you know who your voice sounds like? You sound like uh, the... Uh, you sound like one of the guys off of Digital Foundry. I don't know what his name is, but... Do you ever watch? Do you do you ever watch Digital Foundry? You no, know what I'm I, talking I about? haven't seen it. I'm gonna have okay. to watch it now. I'm gonna have to go see if that's my yeah. Doppelganger. It's like, are you sure it's not him? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Elverg says, "Gonna they need look a Google like Doc for elves." Well, yeah. Now that you mention it, there is a Google Doc in the works, and I need to dig that back out up and update it because I started filling it out for frozen horror and now i need to update it for this quest pack so these can only be used by elves these potions well except for potion of, potion of restoration anybody can use that okay and then what's the um equipment um that you said you added some well the wizard doesn't get to use very much equipment basically yeah. he can use a staff which he already has a better version of a staff i mean you can buy a dagger 25 what um is there a place to buy normal heal potions um well let's see if you're gonna buy a healing potion I remember if that was available in the original. yeah that sounds familiar i'm gonna say it's uh 200 for like a 1d6 that's it okay yeah i might buy maybe three of those yeah i'll buy three of those Okay. That would take me down 600, right? That would put me at yeah. 125 gold. Yeah, you'd have uh, 625 left. And we get three potions of 1d6 healing. Yep. And then um, I also wanted to ask what does the wizard get as a champion? Do I get an extra extra spell? Is that a thing? Well, as a champion, he... So his uh, his alchemist staff normally would just use white dice. So he gets black dice for that. Oh, okay. And the alchemist cloak, instead of just giving one extra die, it's one extra green die. Oh, okay. Well, I do like that. I do have that written down. Yep. Oh, wait. I only had one green die written for alchemist cloak. Is it two? Uh, okay, it's, just, it's just one. So, okay. Yeah. And so, two black for the staff. Exactly. So when he rolls his defense, instead of rolling four white, he would be three white and one green. I like starting wanted off. to ask about these uh, <laughs> Wizard of, of Morkar spells the wizard gets. You know, the three extra spell categories. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't action, introduced those yet into darkness. our campaign. Yeah. Well, that would, that would be a cool thing to do. So since the elf gets one, maybe he gets two. Of those? I would say one would be. I mean, I almost feel like two would almost be too overpowered myself. Overkill. Uh, well, yeah, I, had, I had even more plans for the wizard when he levels up, and he's going to be massively powerful. So, so, do you have a level up mechanic you're working on a yeah. testing? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I've seen other people in their proposed things on YouTube, and it's kind of it's, it's hard because up. it's hard because how often are you going to get a group where it's like, oh yeah, they completed 36 quests, so now they're at this level. Right. We just keep shuffling right. people in. Somebody plays for one, two, three. I mean, Jacer's played a lot. Uh, Strange Bus, um, Dark Hawk, but very few people get through more than like three quests because people right. just don't have time. And I get it. So I I try to just kind of like keep the characters going. So that's kind of my my uh, ulterior motive. Okay, so uh, we're done with our shopping. Everybody satisfied? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take that. 
extra staff I had and used one of my alchemy cards to convert it to 100. Ah, so you get the full full amount. So I'll get... Um, yeah, there, there's the staff, so remove that from my inventory and one of my... So 25. I have three alchemy potions, so now I'm down to two. Yep. Um, and then add 100 gold, so I should be at 725. Now. Yep. Everybody seems very impressed by what you just did there. What's a wizard with two staffs? I mean, he can barely use one. Dual wielding rules or not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a system for those. Okay. Everybody is done with the buying phase. We can begin the quest proper. Unless the barbarian can buy a shirt, he's freaking out all these sissy elves with his massive build, you know? Yep, yep. he's having to sign autographs, yep. and <laughs> he's like the Charles Atlas of his day. There's no gap around here I could buy a sweater or something. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. He's got uh, he's got a little t-shirt stand, you know, you, you're such a great customer, he'll just give you one for free. There you go. You put it on, but it, it, it immediately is, like, ripped from your massive <laughs> well yeah he just puts it rips like hulk hogan ripping his stretch shirt yeah <laughs> all right okay so with that with that uh, accomplished the heroes file in to their first adventure in this region of Elethorn, also known as Athalorn in the old tongue. They begin behind the iron door. The iron entrance door. Or I just crawled between his legs, didn't even notice. I'm not cutting the line, this is where I belong. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna push the elf into the door. Hey, go look. Alright, I do have to read a I little... I can't disarm it if you don't find it. <laughs> I have to read a little snippet of story begin here. Quest 1. The Avenger Returns. As a test of your abilities, Queen Torelia wants you to retrieve a family heirloom that was recently stolen. No ordinary heirloom. This is the legendary so sword known as the Avenger. The sword was stolen by agents of Zargon and taken to a small fortress along the southern border of the Empire. The Iron Door is the only way in or out of the fortress. Once you have found the Avenger, leave through the Iron Door and bring the sword to Queen Torelia. Alright, it begins. Alright, Elf. Now, if you guys don't want to roll for movement, when there's no monsters on the board, you don't have to. You can just move your full movement that you normally have. So, Glasgow, it's totally up to you as far as that goes, but for now, you you could move six squares with your plate armor. Okay, so can I just step in one square? Yep. You don't have to move your full movement, so the door opens. Alright, and I'm just going to have to reveal what you see here. Okay, so you see some stuff. So to the south, you see a closed door. And down the way, you see a stone block at the end of the corridor. Switch cameras so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So there is, it is, the way is blocked stone and down the way to the east you see a stone block in front of this red room right there and at present that's all you see okay can I search the east corridor for traps search the corridor and no traps are detected. Very good. Okay, and now Jacer the Dwarf. I 
guess I'm going to go down the east corridor then. Okay. Uh, go down... Can I guess the full eight spaces and search for secret doors. Well, I allow 12, but... I find one, two, three... You, I don't want to hit the crossroad yet. <laughs> the more movement you give the heroes, the more they tend to run into danger. That's what I've discovered. I'm just going to turn the music down just a little. Shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube. Okay. All right. So you went there, and uh, were you going to do an action? Search for secret doors. Secret doors. Okay. Uh, no secret doors detected. For me. All right. Barbarian. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go open that door. I ain't I ain't scared of nothing. One, two. Okay, you're opening the door. Revealing the room. You don't actually have to step into the room to reveal it. Just as soon as you open the door. Mm -hmm. So immediately you see in the parquet room at the other end another door. And you see some monsters. A pair of orcs. And there is uh, another place where I implement a house rule. I did give myself the option of seeing if these are elites. Okay, they are not. They're ordinary orcs. Okay. Um, I will move two spaces in straight. Now, I, I was multitasking at the time. Did I hear you say that one of my skills, Roundhouse, lets me attack two things in front of me? But in this case, since if the Greatsword attacks diagonally, can I attack both of them at the same time with Roundhouse? Uh, yes, I would allow that, if you'd like. Yes, I will. Okay. I will do these. Okay. All right, so two black, two white. Oh, two. Okay, I thought you said three black right. earlier, but okay, oh, two no, wait, black, wait, two wait. white. No, no, you're right. You're right, because he's a yeah, he's a new league uh, christened uh, knight. So yeah, okay, it'd be three black and one white. Do I just do I do I roll once or do I roll one against each of them? Uh, just just one total roll. Okay. Distribute it. Two skulls. Wow, two skulls. Okay. All right, so now the orcs are each going to defend individually. So the top, the northern orc is, is rolling defense. Nothing. Got him. Got to do the sound effects. Second one. All right, you cut them down. Like winter That's how it's winter. done, boys. That's how it's done. Um, and I lose the skill, well done. right? That's why you're here. Go ahead. What were you saying, Glasgow? Oh, sorry. I was just saying, well done. That's why you're here. <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm talking about. First blood. And I lose roundhouse, right? Yep. It's been used up. Okay. okay. Very good. An impressive first showing, though. Showing of strength. First blood. Okay. All right, and then our esteemed colleague, the alchemist, controlled by Count Cogpox. Okay. Or I'm killing the rolls. I'm going with Jacer. I'm sticking with him. We stuck together through the last few missions there. I'm sticking with Jacer. All right. The splitting up the party has never gone wrong. Yeah, I think PSK showed us at the start the what can happen when that lure <laughs> of lure of treasure gets the better of your good nature and. Uh, you know, to his credit, he survived a long time just on sheer luck. But uh, 
how it goes. You know, you live by the sword, sometimes you die by the sword. So you, you eventually ended up morphing into the dwarf. <laughs> by going the route with the axe, the, the axe, and giving up the shield, and getting skill cards. Yeah. <laughs> See? So there's, there's room in Hero Quest to uh, make the character your own. Okay. Alright, so uh, any actions? Box. Uh, it's already been searched. The quarter was searched for traps. Is that correct? Traps and secret doors. Yep. I got to search for treasure. Okay. I'll allow it. A first edition Pocket rule makes it, makes, it, makes it come back. And yes, there are extra cards in here, not just the standard. Gold. You find a loose stone and tear it from the wall. Behind it, you discover a small leather pouch wrapped in an old rag. Appearing inside, you find 25 gold coins. Was the what's the current edition's rules on searching corridors? Uh, no treasure searches. So only the very first edition from '89 allowed you to search a corridors for treasure. All the other versions, you just can't do it. Although one. Uh, Maybe that was just something that we talked about, but uh, one suggestion was, well, when you see the boot tile, then you can search the boot for, for treasure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could always search the inside of pits. Like, if you fall in a pit, you can still search it. Like a yeah, I always thought that was an interesting. Yeah. Now, that was one of my rules was that you get one, each hero can search the corridor, but the corridor for the entire map just counts once. So once it's searched, you can never search any part of the corridor again. That's but that's only because I think there's one quest uh, that has the treasure chest in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which they uh, so, had a lot of problems with it. Yeah. I'm sure they fixed it. Because it's too hard to keep track of every vector. Like, yeah. you just kind of right. make it. Yeah. So, yeah. so just allowing the one search in the hallway, kind of cut, or in the corridor per quest, kind of solves that whole thing. And I always use the boot tile as, like, the example tile. Like, you know. You see this boot tile, you end up searching the whole thing, but there's usually not treasure in the corridors. Okay, I see so it's always a card and a, a nice random chance. There's an ad coming up, but you guys should still be able to see what we're doing here. So all of you that aren't subscribers or uh, whatever, you know, we appreciate your support. Okay, so I am going to avail myself of the Zargon deck in this quest. So I don't think it'll break anything too badly, but... Whenever there's no monsters on the board, I will draw one of these cards, known only to me. I can have up to three in my hand, or I can use or discard. And I did shuffle them. Okay. All right. Back to you, That's heroes. That's my portrait on there. That's those, those must be for me. Yeah. See that? You know, he looks like a nice... Well, of course, maybe when you reach uh, wizard status of a certain pedigree, you just, you just kind of start to look like this guy. Maybe that's just <laughs> that's what happened. That's true. Kind of like a Star Wars. Hire your barber. Yeah. I always thought, hey, if, if you're a 900-year-old Jedi, you're, you start to look like Yoda. You know, it's kind of like uh, the one ring turns into a golem or a ring wraith. Those are your choices. Okay. So, Elf. I find doing? myself hoping that... Well, I find myself hoping that the artifact we're looking for is not hiding down the bottom of a pit. Well, it wouldn't be, because if you disarmed it, then you'd never find it, right? Right. Unless, you know, I somehow forced okay. you to go fall into it. Okay, so I seem to have rolled a four. So I'm going to go down the south corridor and follow the barbarian into the room. All right. Do you care where in the room you use your last space? You can go up or down. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's go north. All right, making sure to put all your weight on that square. Okay. <laughs> and can we search the room for secret doors? Okay, no secret doors are detected. Thank you. All right. Dwarf. What do you think, Chaser? 
to, uh, about five spaces to the right so I can see what's around the corner. Okay, you entered the double corridor, revealing the whole thing, except for anything that requires searching. You, uh, you can hear, like, drafts, wind blowing, but other than that, uh, you don't see anything. Uh, search for the double corridor for traps. All right. No traps are detected along this double corridor. Sounds good. Okay. That's good for me. All right, barbarian. Um. Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't want to get too ahead of the elf. Technically, it's his quest, and he, he's he's the point man. He's our natty bumpo on this uh, trip, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, I, what? You're Hawkeye. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um. So, uh, I'll just search the room for traps. Okay. No traps detected. and just go. Okay. I'm I'm gonna stay put. Oh, Ribby. You know what? Ribby is right. It's, sorry, I, f I forgot to put up the body points for the other heroes. Yeah, go ahead. What were you saying? Silly me. I was going to say, I, I said I take it back. I'll, I'll go ahead and open up that. Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm going to stay put. The always, gonna try to, always move at least two spaces, if okay. you can. I'll, I'll move right up to the door then. I don't want to open it, though. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. So, if there's a if there's a, a closed like in this like in this situation where there's a closed door with a, another hero in front of it, mm -hmm. uh, can another hero move through that hero and open the door and continue moving? Yes. What you're referring to is a glitch or a limitation of the app, not a limitation of the game. So, yeah, you can occupy the same square temporarily as you're okay. passing by. No problem. Great. Oh, and he's also talking about the European-type rules where you have to ask permission to oh, yeah. pass yeah. through the hero square. See, and if you can't pass yeah. through, you can't open the door. The Americans, we just, we just, just, just elbow <laughs> just your push way back. You out of the way. Shove them to the ground. <laughs> okay, stomp on him. <laughs> just kidding. Or am I? But is that from the more competitive version where it wasn't as, like, co-op based? Because why wouldn't you let him back? Well, I think uh, Stephen oh. Baker said it in an interview. He said, well, young boys don't always want to work together. It's kind of the target demographic of the original game. But once they've... <laughs> and we like to encourage that. Yeah, once we set that aside, then, you know, <laughs> the adventures weren't that tough. But, but he also teached manners and fair play. After you. No, after you. I insist. And then you trip the guy. I laugh at him. Yep. Me with the broadsword. Fire of wrath. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. So those body points should be correct now on the screen. Thank you, Ruby. Okay. So the barbarian moved up to the door, didn't open it, and now what would the wizard do? Mage of the Mirror, we're looking for the Avenger Sword. I think some people call it the Sovereign Sword, but we know its original name is the Avenger. Count Cogpox, did we lose you? I think it's already a book. Oh, sorry, I'm called here. I was ambushed by the Wondering Wife. <laughs> the Wondering Wife. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Trying to get a cheese stick out of the refrigerator to accompany my satchel of jerky. See, and I was just going to say, where there's a cheese stick, very often there is a piece of jerky. Yeah, you got to bring that satchel of jerky for the best thing. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and roll here. 
Yeah, there's no monsters on the board. You know, dried, salted meats. Like uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, snap into a Slim Jim, but usually it's, you know, you get ones that are different. I would say much better quality turkey. Yeah, the the Slim Jim are kind of like the low budget gas station version. Uh, They don't have uh, beef jerky in uh, Scotland? No, I I think my elves are vegetarian, actually. Oh, so no no haggis for him. You would hate this. This is like, you know. (laughs) Toad. Circle of salts I could put around. They have tofurkey yeah. jerky that's made from like soy protein. Actually, not bad. Yeah, I've had that. <laughs> With the right seasoning, mm-hmm. maybe. Do. Yeah, that's why he's so healthy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, all right. Yeah. So the the wizard gets nine. Yeah, I think that puts me at the corner, maybe. Trailing the dwarf. Okay. Yeah, just behind the, the dwarf there. Let's get the other camera. Some uh, some quests are are easier to track with the camera than others. There we go. Okay, so there you are. All right, Zargon's turn. Okay, I'll hang on to that for later use. All right. The Venerable Elf. Okay, so I can move my full six, is that correct? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, so I'd like to plunge into this room uh, ahead of me. Uh, So if I can just follow the barbarian's path through that door. Okay, you got two more squares of movement, but let me first reveal the room. As I'm passing by, I'll thank the barbarian for letting me through. Polite grunting. (laughs) Hip of the buckler. There we go. Okay, so you, uh, you see an orc. Yeah, two more squares. Okay, so I think I'll just stand in front of the door and uh, use my uh, my good old crossbow. All right, crossbow to the face trick. All right, three white dice. Right. So I am going for. I'm going to be a little bit slow at first, but I'll get faster with this. So, uh, hero quest roll, and it's just a normal white dice, isn't it? Roll three. Two skulls. Excellent. Got this. Got the drop on him. Got him. The orc has been slain. All right. Chase the dwarf. I'm going to slowly walk down six spaces or until I see something. Six. Okay, so you're at the crossroads. You look left, you look right, and all you see is just empty tunnels. Do another search for traps down the horizontal. Okay, no traps detected. All right, the way is, way is clear, wizard. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that barbarian. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting my own turn order here. Well, seeing as there's no beasties for me to slay, I will move in and up north of the elf. And I will search the room for secret doors. All right. I was going to say, like Alexander, he wept because there were no more worlds yet to conquer, but... <laughs> they were mainly tears. Uh, 
my. Single man tier. Yep. Okay. So now, actually, there are two secret doors detected. What? So one of them, you pry open in this corner. Another, you push open in this corner. Now, the way secret doors work is you approach the door and open it, and only then do you reveal the room. Uh, an opening does not take an action, or, or right? It's yep. okay. Opening um, doors, picking things up, using potions, falling into traps—none of those expend an action. Okay. Well, um, I'm positive that either one of these rooms will have monsters in it, so I'll uh, leave that one to you on your next turn, Elf. I'll consider it. Why? Thank you. <laughs> I, I just don't want to get crumped on our when it comes to be Zargon's turn here, so. Man, you already moved into that room and used your action, so there's really not much else to do. Yep. Well, crumping is what I do, so... Yeah. <laughs> Get to it. Excellent. Okay, now... The Mysterious and Mighty Alchemist. I am going to continue my quest of staying behind the dwarf in a crouched like fashion. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can keep searching um, for uh, secret doors. Yeah, I might as well do that. You'll do traps, I'll do secret doors. Here. Okay, so you're searching the double corridor for secret doors? Yeah. Alright, no secret doors detected. That's because the elf ate them all up. I've never seen the two secret doors in a single room before. Well, now you have. In everything now. Yep. Yep. All right. Out of the blue. An evil log trap. Oh. oh. Suddenly a spiked log rolls from the ceiling. And it hits three squares in a row. So I'm going to designate these three squares to the elf and the barbarian. This was a, a trap that could not have been detected. And so now each, doors. each of you have to roll one combat die and you lose one body point for each skull. No defense. So Barbarian and Elf each roll one combat die. Okay, so no damage for Papa Bear. No damage for Glasgow. Whoosh! So it... It was uh, it was very old and rickety. It you know it kind of crashed and made a lot of noise, but uh, you guys managed to dodge it. So, Phew. Kevin McAllister did not design this dungeon. Or that would have been real bad. Yep. Merry Christmas, you built the animal. Okay. All right. That's the end of Zargon's turn. So back to the elf. Okay, so can let, let's head for the southernly secret door. All right. So we'll we'll go yeah. And let's go ahead and open. The door opens. And you see a wizard's table. And you also see an orc and a mummy okay let's step inside the room can I still do that even though there's no monsters here even though I've not rolled um, well you know it was suggested to me that a good way to do this uh, thanks this bizarre is to roll your dice and see what you get. And so whatever you've moved already, we can just subtract that from the total. Okay, yeah, so... You did two already. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay, so I've moved two already. So I go X, Glam, Roll. 1d6. 1d6. I should set up some shortcuts or something for this. Okay, so 1d6. Two. Okay, so you don't actually get any extra extra movement all right and that 
In that case, um, let's go ahead and use the crossbow and I'll take a shot at the orc. defense versus the mummy. Ching, and a hit. Nice shot. Excellent. Good shot, Red 2. <laughs> nice. Alright, so you've slain the orc. Okay, right. maybe, maybe my good friend can take care of her undead. Right. See what I can do. I'm feeling a little slow nowadays. <laughs> All right, so the dwarf is up next. Chaser gets a four. I'm gonna go, I guess, uh... Three to the left, and see what's down there. Okay. Get down the corridor. So you guys have split up, but you split into two groups. Smart. Okay, another uh, another apparently empty corridor greets your eyes. All right, I'll search again for traps. All right, no traps detected. All right, that's it for him. Sorry to make you dizzy there. I got to kind of manhandle the thing to get it in the right position. All right, Papa Bear. Okay, um, question. Since I'm only rolling 1d6 here for movement, um, can I roll to see if I make it to the mummy and if I don't like the if I don't like the results can I go ahead and drink my potion of speed to get me the rest of the way or do we only just roll once and well, it's with or without our buffs I don't mind I mean the potion of speed is just gonna have you roll a, a second die so yeah you can you can do it that way okay I, I'll, I'll do that first I'll roll my movement first and uh, see how far that gets me. Yep, exactly. So, uh, I, all right, let's let's so, see, have you roll and get another one. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I know. I drink my potion of speed. Potion of speed. Great. Uh, I think that does get me there. So five total. Okay. So I'll cross off the speed. All right. So you're heading in. Yep. Two, three, four, five. Do you care? Do you want to be on the uh, west or the north of the mummy? That works. That works. Um, or I will. I mean, your great sword can attack diagonally as well. So I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I don't think it matters in this case. So I'll just go ahead and I'll chop them. Okay, so three black, one white. Yep. Three skulls. Wow. Okay. How many defense with four? Nothing. Uh -huh. Ball Oof. ride. <laughs> Mummy was destroyed. Well done. Yeah, I feel like the, the quest designer uh, Mrs. Connors basically is like building you up at first, like, oh yeah, these these early monsters, no big deal. <laughs> What's to come later? Yeah. <laughs> but that's for you to find out. Okay. All right. Well, the board has been cleared of monsters. So after the barbarian, we have the wise wizard. So, oh, what's the uh, max movement? It's 12? 12, 12. Yes, I'll allow you to move up to 12. Okay, I'm going to take... Uh, am I able to move uh, five squares to that uh, corner to the east of the dwarf, the other corner? 
and then take a peek. And if I don't like what I see, move another seven squares back. Yes, certainly. Okay, so you look down the corridor and immediately see a door, closed door. It almost snuck up on you. Other than that, the no. corridor appears to be empty. Can I search the corridor for traps? Yes. There are no traps detected. Am I still allowed to move, or once you do an action, you can't move? That's That ends your turn. Okay. Then I will stand over here, and I will... I'm now, going to give Jace my little hand signals. If you, were a, wandering, door. If you were a wandering monk, you could uh, do that split with one of your... Oh, that's styles, right. but I haven't seen any monks in this quest yet. So, all right, wandering alchemist. Ah, <laughs> Jack of all yeah. trades, you might say. The hermetic alchemist. I stay on my feet. Gosh. Right. I'm as spry as the mug, but I mean, I can equally meander. Yeah, he took he took a couple karate classes one summer, so it's got to count for something. Okay. Seen all the episodes of Kung Fu. All right, uh, Zargon. Nice. Death seems to have come too early for some. Raise the dead. So I get to bring back one of the dead monsters from last round. The uh, tattered. Uh, grungy pieces of mummy that were all over the ground somehow he, crawl back but that's dead. undead not dead <laughs> yeah un undead dead <laughs> so the mummy is back okay it doesn't say yes, it raise the dead not raise the undead <laughs> well that's cool though dead enough dark magic afoot uh, okay all right, um, back to uh, the elf. Okay, can I step one square into the room, join the barbarian? Absolutely. And I will attempt to commit mummy side with my longsword. Ah. Yes, all right. Let's see your three dice. Ching and a hit. Damaged. I mean, he's barely uh, held together to begin with, but now you can tell he's really, uh, he's really starting to fall apart. Well, I feel very safe next to my big barbarian friend, anyway. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> you know, that's just going to be his thing. Anytime he kills a mon, anytime the barbarian kills a monster, he's gonna he's gonna say something from from an Arnold movie. So, <laughs> from, uh, Schwarzenegger cannon. Okay. All right, Jacer got a seven. So I'm going six to the right. And I'll search for secret doors. Okay, searching for secret doors in the horizontal corridor and nothing is found. Alright. Five short legs. <laughs> Devastating over short distances. Natural sprinters. Alright, Barbarian. I will swing my sword at the mummy. Molly the Murderous. Three skulls. Wow. Yeah. Okay, he goes down, and this time it looks like it's, it's for real. Who is your mummy, and what does he do? 
She do. <laughs> Are you my mummy? Alright, got him. Tatuma! <laughs> Having re re disposed of the monster, <laughs> exit our hero stage left. Okay, very good. Then, um, I guess all I can do is move, but uh, I'll use the Jacer move and move twice. I'll step up twice to the. Uh, so just you don't have any house rule to allow us to interact with furniture, right? I'll tell you, but generally oh. speaking, yeah, it's. It's just furniture. Okay, uh, in that case, I will take three, uh, four steps back into the other room, and I'll stand right in front of the other secret door. Yep. I mean, I'll play along with you guys as much as I can, but yeah, rule-wise, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, having furniture in the room is usually a signal that there's... There might be some treasure in there, especially if it's like a treasure chest or something, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, does the elf get to interact with the uh, sorcery table? Ah, actually, Jason... I, I know the other heroes I mean, we don't have lunar tokens yet, but yeah, we, what we, about yeah, the elf? We're not yet in the Rise of the Dread Moon. However, however, yes, if, if you search for... Tre let's say you're the wizard and you search for treasure in a room with a sorcery table, uh, and there's no note here... What, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to re either restore one of your used spells or draw a random spell scroll or alchemist item. Now, in the case of the alchemist it. bench, by the same token, if it's a uh, if there's no, no note there, you could draw a random potion. In other words, I'm going to let you either draw a treasure card, which is what you normally would do, or you can take your chances and draw one of these in hopes of getting something good. Everybody else just gets the regular treasure draw. Does that make sense? Sorry, th that applies to the wizard, did you say? Yes. Wizard and elf. Like in your Oh, case, and elf, what, okay. What would, you, what would you get if you searched that? Well, I'll let you know when you try it. So far, I no. feel like you could make a similar rule for the weapon rack for the barbarian and dwarf. I actually have, like, yeah. If, uh, you know, I think no, that's kind of no note, draw a piece of equipment. Yeah, I think that's kind of a neat. Yeah, I have implemented balance, those in you know. previous um, quest packs, so I'm glad you guys asked that. Yeah, I'm happy to do that moving forward. I am going to move down to. Let me do a roll here. That uh, T section that's three squares below me, if I can. Or there's no monsters on the board, right? Okay. Yep. Okay. So you look down the corridor and. I know some people disagree with this, but I'm going to say that your sharp eyes spot a stone wall on the edge there. Stones jutting out there, maybe some poor shoddy dungeon craftsmanship. Yep. Okay. An and point. then I think I'm also going to, if I have 12 movement squares, I'm going to continue down uh, to the southern corner, three more squares below that. Okay. If I see anything. It appears to be a more empty tunnel. Okay, and then I don't see any shoddy stones poking out in that direction either. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm going to weasel my way back like a big wuss so that I'm uh, at the uh, T-joint there. Or, sorry, I'm going to make it... Uh, yeah, right there, if that's possible, because I'm going to wait for Jace to... Yep, that's nine. Yep. You get too far ahead of Jace now. That's how the wizard goes down. You want to search that hallway while you're there? Oh, yes. Sorry, can I search that for uh, traps? I already searched the vertical one. I want to search the right. horizontal You get an one. uneasy feeling. There's some danger in somewhere. You just can't quite pinpoint where it is. Biscuits. I don't get one of those tiles. How do I get? How do I find out where it is? To disarm it. Got it. You got to see the invisible ladder. Maybe you can't. <laughs> oh, okay. Some can't be disarmed. You're saying some kind of traps. Yeah. Some traps are so well hidden. 
Those are the worst kind. Like, <laughs> well, and you'll find uh, Frozen Horror had quite a few of those, and this pack is no different. Does the dwarf have like any extra benefit on his toolkit? Like, does he get a better chance of disarm, yep. or does he have like? Yep, he has okay. only a one in six chance of failure, where everybody else with a toolkit has fifty percent chance. So it's like that's right. Eight, his innate skills. He knows that you're supposed to cut the uh, the blue wire or the red wire. I forget now, but one of those. He knows which one. Okay, I just feel like he should get an extra smell of the trap. Like he could smell the square it's on. You know? hmm. We'll see. We do have something. <laughs> we do have a, a house rule called the uncommon feat. If you can propose something to me that's maybe not allowed by the rules normally, but plausible in the world that you're in, I like usually I'll give you a fifty percent chance of success. I think that's something plausible for him. He kind of just feels the stone work or something. He senses a little more than that. So he's see. suggesting that Jacer do an uncommon feat on his turn to try to detect whatever that danger is. If anyone could do it, I, I mean, I wouldn't see the other classes being able to do it, perhaps. But yep. for him, it seemed mildly plausible. Okay, looks like we're dropping a couple frames. I hope the uh, stream is good for everybody, but... Um, I know you guys can hear me just fine. Okay, all right. So after the wizard, Sargon's turn again. All right, back to the elf. Okay, I'm going to go old school and search for treasure. All right. And are you searching like in a magical way? Or are you searching just this? old-fashioned way in other words do you want one of these yes i'll just search for tri I, I was hoping you'd say ah you find the the avenger uh, this is treasure. <laughs> unfortunately the avenger is not to be found however you do find a hazard while you're searching a hidden okay. arrow shoots you from the wall and strikes you you lose one body point and your turn is over that's Zargon. He's so evil. Okay, so the elf has lost his first body point. He's down to five. What? And I just got to remember to actually update it on the screen. So I both got the character sheets and paper, pencil, and I've got these on screen reminders. Okay, so after Glasgow, we've got Jace. So, Jace, what did you think of uh, the wizard's idea? It's good, but the door is tempting if I'm going to walk by it. Yeah, either one. I'm... So, I think I'm going to go with the door first, and then I'll see if the beard tingles down that hallway. Ah. The old beard detection shit. Okay. Go to the door, and I'll roll. Oh, that's all my movement, too. So. Okay. So, are you going to open the door? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, because I got a, I got a, I got a potion of speed that I could drink if I need one more die of movement, I guess. Okay. It's your, it's your funeral. It'll be like the Sutton Who with all the <laughs> treasure we're burying with. Okay, so you open the door, and inside. Oh, hold on. Got to grab something here. One moment. Not good when he says it, just one minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what's going on? I open the door and he he says it. He just needs one minute. Okay. So, so it either means a, a monster wasn't prepared yet, or tiles and furniture and monsters, or it's a lot of stuff. All right. Yeah, I did. Usually, usually bad news. Wasn't prepared. Okay. So 
there is a cupboard that you see right there. And yes, it is the fancy new Elven version. And you also see a trap door in the corner here. A frozen horror uh, tunnel, or this is different than the ice tunnels and the frozen horror. So those automatically teleported you from one place to another, and then ended your turn. With these, it has a different mechanic. I can just tell you, uh, any hero or monster landing on one of these squares immediately moves to the other trapdoor square, wherever that is. The connecting tunnel is dangerous, so you'd have to roll one combat die. If a skull is rolled, you lose one body point. After moving through from one trapdoor to the other, your turn is over. So it's the same, but a 50% chance to hurt you? Yes. Okay. Why they put that door on there? Well, you know, they may have, uh, they may have built it, but uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, Things are falling apart. Safety uh, inspectors haven't been there in a long time. So, who knows? Okay, so that was... So Jacer doesn't have any more movement. I do, because there's no monsters. I rolled because I thought there'd be, there might be monsters, because you... Oh, okay. So I was like, all right, so, so this way I can see if I had to do anything else to go in there, but... You want you want to take your other 10 that's that's up to you well no i just want to take one and search it for traps okay so you step into the room yes and you're searching for traps yes i am big room all right the ceiling looks weak the ceiling looks weak ah all right That's it for me. Okay. Barbarian. <laughs> well, since Natty Bumpo kind of got sidetracked back there, I'll go, go ahead and kick open this door. All right. So you open the secret door. And inside, the room is revealed. There's a fireplace. And in addition to the fireplace, there is also a throne. And a treasure chest. And a Femir. Okay. Um... Now, uh, sorry, remind me how you, since since I started my turn without monsters on the board, do I get to continue that same movement, the full 12, or do I need to go ahead and roll to move? Uh, you're going to need to roll to move, and we're going to subtract it from your total. Okay. And it's actually 1d6 for you, because you've got the right. iron plate. Six, all right. March right up to that Femir. All right, you get up in his ugly face. And I will swing my sword at his ugly face. Jeez. Alright. Hold on, I gotta determine if he's an elite or not. He is not. Three defense. No defense. He takes a hit. He's wounded. Oh. You bloodied him. But he's still alive. Alright. Wizard.
Four. I'm going to move in directly south of the dwarf. Okay, into the room. One, two, yeah. three, four. And I will do a uh, search for treasure. Search for treasure, okay. Wandering monster. Oh, As no. you're searching, a monster stalks you and attacks. Okay, I'm going to say that he bursts out of the cupboard. And what he was quest, doing in there? We'll never know. He seems to be staggering a lot and kind of like shuffling. Maybe there was some drink in there. <laughs> but uh, it's it seems to be all gone. Just a lot of empty bottles. So... Hit the mummy. And he attacks. Three skulls. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty serious attack. Okay, so you're going to roll three white, one green for your defense. Ching, and you tip two damage. Down to two body points. And I don't feel that sorry for you because you do have plenty of. An assortment of heal potions. Yeah. If he can find the right one before he passes out. Okay. All right. Well, uh, oh, is it my turn? Well. This, this often happens, you know, the wandering monster is an automatic thing, but it's my turn, so he gets to go again. <laughs> so he's going to attack the wizard. Curses! Again. Yep. It's cheap, but it's part of the rules. So three, uh, three skulls again. Curse you, Rebby! Reverse the curse. <laughs> Aha! Oh, this time you blocked two. Barely. It's getting better, but you you did take one more da body point of damage. You guys are going to lose your wizard. Okay, so he's down to one. Okay. And let's see. Um, just trying to remember here. So the mummy is pretty dull-witted, but he's looking around for any crossbows. He doesn't see any crossbows in anybody's hands, so he's going to move back. One, two, three. Okay, and now the Femir is going to attack the Barbarian. Three skulls. Ooh, do I just roll four whites? Uh... Let's see. Well, you've got five white. All right, yeah, five white, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, five. Too bad that wasn't an attack. Jeez Louise. All right. Okay, so three damage. Down to seven. Down to seven, okay. All right. Uh, if I block the door, you're still going to be able to get me in the other side. The other side. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no sense moving him sense around. Moving. Okay. Back to you, Elf. Back to you, Elf. Okay, I'm rolling for movement. The champion of Glasgow. What will he do? Five. Okay, so let's now. Can you just uh, can you confirm for me if I was if I was standing to the southwest of the barbarian, would I have line of sight to the familiar? Yes, I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so can I can I just move 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 around uh, behind the barbarian and then one south? Yep. 
and I'll take a pot shot at the Femir with my crossbow. The eagle-eyed elf. Let's forth a bolt. One skull. Okay. Ching! You deflected it. Okay, the monster still lives. Jacer. Okay, so the dwarf rolls three. He's there, by the way. Okay. In the center room. I need more movement, so now I'm going to finish the potion of speed. So if you approach the speed, you can roll one more uh, movement die. There it is, the one. Alright, All right, so move four, move four spaces to attack. Okay. Alright, you confront the uh, drunken mummy. One skull, one. oh, and my and chance, yeah, my chance to introduce another house rule. So, we've been doing this since the Frozen Horror. If you happen to roll four white shields, whether you're attacking or defending, we give you a wrestling move, which is basically like a free hit. I thought it was three. Just three. Three or more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, for the bad guys, it'll be black shield. So... I did pick up this uh, wrestling card game. This is not a promo item. This is just because uh, I saw Jacer uh, using these cards. So, uh, if you, do you want to name your favorite wrestling move, or do you want me to draw one of these cards from the deck? Uh, draw, draw one for the dwarf. All right. Let's see what, see what he gets. Batista bomb. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Uh, roll your defense first to see if you reverse it. Yeah. See if I if I get a wrestling. If I get a wrestling. That's true because we have had that happen. No such luck. I did. Oh, uh, yep. I did block you the did right block there. the one though. Yep. And then you grabbed me and uh, bam. So he took one damage. He drunkenly gets to his feet. Dazed. One of his arms like kind of falls off, but he's still got another one. Still got a spare. Okay. Well, that was my, my movement and my action. Make sure I cross off the speed potion. Barbarian. Alright, uh, I'll swing my sword at him one more time. Oops. Wrong command. Oof, okay. Ching, alright. He chuckles. Chuckles. himself. He's so gross. I mean, there's like drool and like slime going everywhere when he does it. Okay. Wizard. I'm going to. Uh, can I attack diagonally? Yes, you can. It's one of the benefits of having a staff. So I'm going to go north of uh, a Jacer there, and I'm going for the diagonal attack. Okay. Is two black? Is that correct? Yep. Yep. Two skulls. You must have put uh, the little chalk square on the end of it before you took the shot.
ching, but the other one hits. And rings true. And, uh, rings true. Uh, right through his eye socket. Say those Gambit comic books helped. <laughs> yep. It's not just good with uh, the credit cards and the trick cards. He's also got the uh, fancy staff. Tore through him like toilet paper soaked in beer. Yep. That's what he was. Yep. He'll always be remembered as that, too. Okay. So the monster's been eliminated. But now it's Sargon's turn. And they've still got a Femir. All right. Uh, he's just going to continue the combat with the Barbarian there. One skull, Barbarian. So you're rolling five white. Too easy. Ching. No damage. All right. That's it for my turn. Oh, you can see the action over here. Yeah, no damage. Okay. Elf. Okay, I do have infinite bows. Is that right? Yeah. Sorry, inf I do have in my crossbow has infinite arrows or whatever yep yep you'd never run out of projectiles so okay so, right let's do another pot shot with the crossbow all right oh you missed but you do have an opportunity for a wrestling move can he still do the wrestling move even though he's not adjacent to the monster? Yep. Okay, cool. Sweet. Drop kick. All right. Ah! <laughs> and he hits the he hits the uh, Femir so hard he goes flying into the fireplace. Clunk. And he's he's out. He's out folks. there was a referee, the referee would be doing the, you know, he's out! <laughs> Ring the bell. Alright. So no more monsters. Okay, I don't think I'm going to move um, because I think maybe we ought to do some searching in here, so I'll just stay put. Alright. Sounds good. Alright, Jaser. Walk around the known traps, pointing them out to the wizard as I go, and I'm going to drop down into that hatch. One, two, three, four. Down the hatch. Should they say in Gauntlet Legends? Okay. Oh. Skull. Oh. <laughs> Bumped my head. Bumped his head on the <laughs> edge of the thing there. Oh. Okay. So that's down to six. By far, they didn't think I had a duck because I was already short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some some uh, evil person didn't repair it. Let's see here. Oh. I feel like the dwarf should get that same bonus for going through tunnels. Yeah. We're like, oh, only if he's wearing a helmet. He rolls the black shield and it hurts him. <laughs> kind of like the disarm bonus. Well, he does have a helmet. Is he's it... a tunnel tumbler. Is this the uncommon? I said the, the, the dwarf should only get the <laughs> bonus if he has a helmet. <laughs> well, he is wearing a helmet. Are you saying you want to do yeah. the uncommon feat? Sure. Okay. Roll uh, roll a combat die. If it's a skull, this time you avoid the damage. All right. Isn't that the same odds <laughs> as the actual tunnels? Okay. Trap well, I was I was wrong. I thought maybe he bumped his head, but he's, he's I'm okay. <laughs> Why the helmet? The helmet. It was the helmet. Helmet, the helmet saves that... lives. Yeah, he knocked the helmet off, but he put it back on, and uh, he's he's all good. Yeah, you may think I'm being a little soft on these guys, but trust me, just just watch. Okay, all right. So you go through the tunnel safely this time to the other side, and where will it take you? Okay, as it as it happens, the other 
spot is here. All right, now even though your turn ends, you emerge on the other side and you're able to see your surroundings immediately. And there is a double block square down below. So a stone wall there and a stone wall behind you. And you also see two doors flanking the sides of this very small corridor. All right, so we're back from the ad break. So the dwarf has gone through the perilous tunnel, saved in the nick of time by his wonderful helmet. And he sees a couple of doors and some stone walls. But that's the end of his turn. All right, the barbarian. Um, I'll search that treasure chest for tr treasure. He searches the treasure chest for treasure. Okay. You find an item inside the treasure chest, the elven bracers. These can only be worn by an elf, and they grant him two extra body points and one extra mind point. Okay. Um... All right, I'll start walking. At, so I, I get full six movement then, right? Since there's no monsters on the board. That's right. Okay, I guess. Um, did we search? So I, I know there's not like any secret doors in here because someone already did that out in the hallway. But I wonder if there's a way, you, you know, I'm probably just going to have to walk straight out. So um, I'm going to take one step to the left. And then with a disappointed shake of my head, I'm going to toss the Elvish Bracers at the Elf. These are for you. Uh, and then with a just... big cheesy smile, I'll take them. <laughs> and um, you gone and if you want to live. <laughs> then I'll just um, take my remaining five movement headed for the west door there. Definitely you. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, sorry, how many squares was it towards the door? Five. Five more. Yep. yep. Alright. That'll do me. And a few words. Okay. Alright, and uh, it doesn't cost an action, of course. So, Elf, are you putting on the bracers? Absolutely. Alright. Okay. So Can I just confirm my, my defense is now seven? Your defense doesn't. Oh, it raises your uh, body points. Yeah, these are magical. And mind bracers. points. They're. Don't think of them as armor. Think of them as just a magical artifact. So your body point maximum increases to seven. And your mind point. Oh, yes. Right. Increase to five. So okay. I'm going to say, as a compromise, you get. Uh, yeah. It'll it'll just it'll heal you as well. So now you're at full body points this time. I know different Zargons have different thoughts on that, but that's how I'm gonna rule on it. So to confirm my body my body points are seven now. Or wait a minute. His max will be eight. No, it'll correct? be eight. You're, it'll be eight, yeah. Yeah, the maximum goes up. Oh you were at five yes, yes. Okay, so yes, your maximum's eight. You were at five, you'll be restored to seven. So technically you have one less than your maximum. But since your maximum is increased, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm so I'm seven and my mind has got a five. Yeah, I must have been getting confused with um, the, the, the wizard's bracers from the... Yeah, they're different. Um, from the original game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because theoretically he could also be wearing the bracers. So he'd have two sets of bracers, I guess. One, you know, giving. Wouldn't you have to take one off armor. though? Look yeah. like they can only wear the cloak or breastplate or something. We can't wear two helmets. Well, maybe you can. No. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> maybe he gets half the effect for both. Yeah, well, maybe just maybe, uses one of each bracer. Maybe yeah. maybe one of them are maybe one are really bracers. Maybe they're van braces and the others are bracers. So maybe that's how ah. it works. See, there's a way. 
Argon the Dark Wordsmith. Yes. Others Argons would rule, di rule differently. It's like, what happens if you have the ancient staff and the staff? Well, do you have the ancient duct tape? <laughs> to bind them together in the darkness? Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. So the elf is powered up. The barbarian did his turn. And now it's time for the magician. Yay! Wait, there's no monsters in the world. Thank you. No monsters. I'm going through this tunnel. Okay. All right. Roll your one comment. You hear, a, you hear the dwarf's uh, voice. Don't forget the duck. <laughs> it's a double duck for me. Or a standard dwarven duck. Just one uh, uh, D6, is that right? Uh, one combat die. Or, sorry. One combat die. One hero quest white die. Okay, you're safe. Okay. Didn't want to die in that tunnel. All right, so you go through and you gently push the dwarf to the side. Pushing him into a spiked pit. No, I'm kidding. Totally kidding. <laughs> All right. So uh, you've now emerged into the little little uh, corridor area, and your turn is over. Okay. Zargon's turn. All right. Back to the elf. Okay. Can I... Can I move my full six? I want to go back into the room with the sorcerer's table. Yes. And then once we get through the door, we'll, we'll go east one square. Okay. And can we just... Yeah, let's just search for secret doors. Okay. Uh, no secret doors detected. Which was a good thought because how do you know until you try? All right, Jaser. I'll open the door that I'm next to. All right. Okay, so you're opening this door here, revealing the room. Inside the room, you see a couple of ornate bookcases. Oh, books for the wizard. You can read. I found a, I found a whole library. <laughs> you also see a couple of orcs. Clearly, they weren't in there reading. And a little goblin and a little in the corner. Of oh, biscuits. Okay. Okay. What will you do? Hold on a sec. 
I got to run. I got to these monsters, too. Uh, okay. They're ordinary monsters. I'm going to move in. You know what? Maybe just move in two to the left. Now that I think about it. Okay. Cause that way, that way the wizard can kind of block the door and only get hit once, or you could backtrack. Lots of options. So you're in the room, you've got an orc in your face. Yep. Battle axe in my hand. And a one. One skull. Okay. Your orc attempts to defend. Comes up empty. That's all you need. Yep. Yep. Down goes one of the orcs. Yep. Book that that's forgot, it. One book that he forgot to read was uh, How to Dodge a Battle Axe. Yep. That's the one titled Duck, Dip, and Dodge. <laughs> you dodge a Battle Axe, dodge a ball. I, w I was just thinking <laughs> that quote. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think if there was another one or two, and I was like, ah, uh, I got enough of them, I think. Dodge this. Okay. Alright. After the dwarf. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just going to continue dejectedly stomping out the door heading towards the other fellers. Okay. I'm, I'm sad because the elf stole my uh, my kill and I didn't get any cool loot, so yeah, he's disappointed. So. Yeah. But he's such a gruff guy, he doesn't actually let anybody know, he just kind of like keeps it in. That's, he's very stoic. Yeah. But... Yeah, so he, he's just gonna go move his six, heading Yep. There are still two paths. It looks like we didn't go down to the east and west of the center room. Okay. As long as you guys aren't too concerned by those green skins you're dealing with. Uh, uh you got to roll for movement then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, crud. All right. Fine, Jace. Keeping us honest. <laughs> Six. Boom. <laughs> I totally forgot because they're not on the screen, you know, like, yeah. you, you kind of lose that little bit, but... Sargon makes a mistake, don't, don't mistake. interrupt him. Don't... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think y'all already s s ran a fine-tooth comb over this hallway, so I don't think there's anything else for me to do, so... We did. Uh, actually, that, I don't know if that vertical one was searched for secret doors. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'll search for secret doors. You're in the horizontal one. Oh, you know, it's taken me this long to realize, Count Cogbox, when you speak, it does a little rain animation on your avatar. I didn't realize that. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. The pods oh, that are being brought down. That is cool. How do you... All right, you'll have to share the secrets afterwards. Is that a nitro boost, or you're just... Um, I, I could be. It was also... I was a really early supporter, and they started enabling people to use GIFs. Oh as a uh, icon and uh, so I, I switched to that one that's cool i think eventually they're making it so everyone can do it um i know that was with like the username selection that's me uh, process but i think it could be nitro boost um either one i don't know what i would do for mine i'll have to think about it hey by the way thanks polsky and another another bot see he's not even in the adventure and he's getting kills Take care of those Twitch bots before they do anything nasty to us. 
Are there any secret doors in this hallway? More car von von Grimm Zargon? <laughs> I like it. Uh, let's see. I don't believe so. Nope. No secret doors. Okay. Barbarian is our friend, Mr. Wizard. How great that show was, Mr. Wizard. He would get grumpy with the kids when he was trying to show them experiments. Yeah, Mr. Wizard's world. Date myself here with that. It's Mazargon, um. the mage of the mirror. <laughs> the adventure continues. Welcome, sir. Yes, and we have a full complement of heroes. Yeah, this is great with the full group. I really enjoy that. Yep. Yeah, here I thought it was just going to be a nice, quiet solo quest, but I uh, appreciate it. I try. I was late coming home. I was trying to be. Yeah. Well, and I was just going to say, I mean, we've, we've technically gone over time, but I mean, I've got the whole day free, so I can keep playing. If any of you guys I... need to go, I mean, no no harm, no foul. We can catch you next time, but if you want to keep playing, I'm, I'm all for it. You have D and D in two and a half hours or so. Oh yeah, just, just plenty tell of time. Them, tell them you're playing uh, the superior <laughs> game. See how the superior react. game. <laughs> My group would flay me for that. Yeah, show them the show them the bar. <laughs> show them the bar. Your level zero character in this game is better than the level two or three in that one. My dude is pretty weak in that game. He's four. No, I I'm just kidding. I some of my best friends are are D and D players. Well, I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm really enjoying how you've adapted a lot of these rules. And I've looked through a lot of the stuff you've proposed, Jace. I see you've proposed a lot of rules. Jace, are some um, good ideas. And I, I'm looking through that, and I'm also very familiar with D&D, &D, and I'm trying to come up with some rules for my own uh, family game. And uh, one of the and easy I'm ones. To work it all together. Well, one is just using the combat dice for all the pluses after your weapons. So, like, it might be a plus three weapon, but it's a plus combat dice, so it might do the extra three that are always just tacked on or whatever. It actually, I guess, makes, it actually makes it, I guess, weaker than the automatic uh, damage, but it's fun to try to see how much it is. I gotta look into that. I just ordered all those dice that you guys are using in this game from the Etsy store, all the colored dice and oh, yeah. from the beat mound to the beast men and all those expansions. Um, I'm going to move one to the South. Um, do I see both, uh, green skins up there? If I move one to the South, or, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong hero. Okay. Okay. Um, from this vantage point, you can target the goblin. Okay, I'm going to move in the room there. You know what? I guess I would say, yeah, you could see both the goblin and the orc. Some Zargons would disagree. I'm going to say we can see both of them. Okay. Um, Ribby just purchased a card. Nice. Okay. Oh, bonus threat card. Boo. Okay. I'm going to cast Fire of Wrath on the orc. Fire of Wrath. Okay. So that means I've got to roll a five or a six on one die, or I'm toasty. Correct. One. Toasty. Got him. Okay, so I just got a threat card, and it is alarm. Well, I guess I'm supposed to play it at the start of my turn, but I'll just say um, when it comes to my turn... Your turn you... starts next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, an alarm goes off alerting nearby monsters, so I can open any closed door on the board and reveal its contents. Okay. Well, in that case then, this, this door opens. in the red room. This Bazargan says, I cannot attend the session, unfortunately. Anyway, I wish you a great time through Elthorn Land. Well, thank you, Miss Bazargan. Good luck for all the heroes. Well, they're going to need it. I saw that His Bazargan post in in the HeroQuest fans Discord was good with the 
uh, difficulty point tally throughout the expansions. Yes. I really like that. Thank yeah. you, Hispan Argo. He has done many great things in the community. His difficulty calculator is one. Uh, I really appreciate his translation project update for the Japanese Hero Quest. And also his uh, quest to gather together all the advertisements and flyers and uh, old catalog ads for Hero Quest. You know, the historian. He's becoming a Hero Quest historian. So we certainly appreciate that. So shout out to Spain. Another of our European uh, Hero Quest fan. Hero Quest fans, yeah. Because we are a global community. Okay, so there's a couple of orcs and there's a table. Okay, well, it is my turn. Let's see. Uh, reveal its content. It doesn't say... Well, it says they're alerted. So I'm going to interpret that as they can move. For this particular card. Alright, so the orcs are going to come over. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, these orcs can't attack diagonally. I should have rolled to see if they're elites or not. No, they're normal. Okay, so that, that first orc is going to attack the wizard. Two skulls, wizard. Oof. <laughs> so you got three white, one green. Next time, stay home, dad. <laughs> right. And a hit. Oh. I gotta drink <laughs> one of my potions here. Wizard has died. But he's got a huge satchel. Huge assortment. <laughs> yeah. Can you find the right one? I'm going for the potion of warmth. I have two of those written down. Okay. So I'll take the, one of those. His fingers are starting to get cold. He needs. He's reaching for the warm, the warmest thing that he can find, and it's the potion of warmth. Uh, okay. That brings me up to one. Yep. So we'll cross off one of those. He's alive. He's not happy, but he's alive. All right. See you later, Hispazargon. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, and those of you who are joining us for the first time here on twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans, notice what Ribby did there. He used his channel points as gold coins, which you can use in the live Twitch chat when we're streaming, to cash those in and help the good guys or help the bad guys. You just got to click on the little orange and purple uh, treasure icon where it's at, below where it says send a message. If you're watching on the replay, this is the fun that you can have every week on the Quest fans. Just about every week. Okay, so this other orc, I guess, is just going to move a little closer. One, two. Okay. Back to the elf. Okay, uh, can I drink one of my Potion of Elven Speeds. Yes. So I get 12 movement, yeah? Yep. And before I move, can I cast Pass Through Rock? Yes. Alright, you feel very light and chipper. <laughs> okay, so let's go... Yeah, let's go two east. Passing through the wall. Yep. And then let's go another six south. Another wall. Okay. Uh, let's go another two south and take a wee glance as I pass by. Okay. 
Yeah, looking back to the side, you saw just, just the stone wall, that's it. Okay, and can we now, so, so far I've moved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. No, eight, maybe. Uh, I counted six. Okay, so let's go one more east. Into the room, okay. And uh, one south, let's go through the tunnel. All right, roll your one combat die. Safety roll. Okay, a skull. So unfortunately, it took a body point of damage, but you did make it, make it through. So you're down to six body points. Okay, now what I'm not sure of, does my turn end because I took damage there? Uh, yes, and actually your turn ends either way, I think. Let me double check that. That's a, that's a legit question. I think it was. Yeah, because I mean, or... but you're thinking maybe it's like a spear trap where if it doesn't hit you, you just keep on going. Yeah. I think it stops you either way. Oh, they don't explain it except in the actual. Okay. Dangerous. Okay. After moving from one trap square to the other, the uh, their turn is over. Okay. I mean, I would have dearly liked to spend some time bonding with my barbarian friend who gifts me with presents, but I feel as if I really should help the wizard out here. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. He's a friend, but he's also a hero. Hero's hero. Alright. Friendly as a barbarian can be. Yeah. He, he shows affection in his own way. His own gruff, stoic way. Alright. Well, the orc is surprised to see a second hero come out of the tunnel. Okay. Alright. Dwarf. Goblin's peeking around the bookcase. He looks nervous. Yeah, did they? Uh, I guess it's okay now, but did the goblin forget to move? I think he was. I think he was too scared to move. Okay, sounds good to me. I mean, he might have forgotten, but you'll never know, right? Nope, never know. I got four. So I'm going to attack him. Alright, just moving straight ahead. Yep. Yes, he is. Alright. Goblin readies his little hatchet. Right, swing, swing, swing. Two skulls. Up. Oh. <laughs> he just silently falls to the ground. Oh, got a bug catcher. Got him. Oh, that's it for me. Move and attack. All right. Ha! Ha! Got him! Got All right. Okay. Next. So I can take off my plate. I can take off my plate armor, right? I mean, if you want to. Yes, I do, because I got to get back in the action. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna doff my duds here, 
uh, which takes my defense back down to three. Yes. All right. All right, and then I will move my. I will take my full movement. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Six. I, I just move me along the top part there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I supposedly I already searched the hallway for treasure. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm good then. I picture that scene from uh, 300. So even though it's cold iron plate, when he takes it off, you know he's sweaty, he's heavy. <laughs> takes it off. <laughs> yes. You you get like a bunch of glamour shots uh, of like all his muscles, <laughs> like all like oiled and everything. He's he's doing like the bodybuilder thing, and then it it's like oh, oh the cameraman like wakes up I'm like okay. <laughs> off he he strides down the hallway purposefully. All right. He's always always preening for the camera that that one all right okay so uh next the wizard i just want to say plus 10 xp points for papa bear we're working dolphin to it we see a lot of donning you don't see a lot of doffing True. It, yes, absolutely. You know, he worked it in. He put a little alliteration in it, <laughs> right? I I'm giving him plus ten on the wizards. Mm. Look at my muscles, my beautiful yeah. muscles. <laughs> uh, I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Um, well, I think I got to hit this guy right. You know. I like the idea of looking in that room for secret doors or treasure, but I can't let this work. If the elf's coming through, I see him peeking his head up with his fancy schmancy new bracers on, coming up through the trap door. Yeah. So. Young whippersnapper. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to slap this guy. Um. Right. Actually, let me think. Yeah, I mean, the problem, problem is I hit this guy, the next guy's just going to walk up in the exact same spot. Mm. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Okay, I'm going to attack him. I'm going to swing it up. With my staff here. What's the uh, amount of skulls on the black dice? Is it four? Uh, yes. It's one white shield, one black shield, or what? what's on the black yep, dice? you got it. Okay. okay. And if you want, there's a guy from Germany who sells them on a certain website that may, some of you may have heard of. Yes. I, I recommend putting a clear coat on them, though, because the paint can get uh, dinged after a while of heavy use. Oh, like a varnish spray or something? Yeah, some type of varnish. Your nail polish yeah. or whatever. You know what? I'm going to do that. Yeah, I, I bought a set of each color. Oh, yeah. And I recommend getting the matte finish ones instead of the glossy ones. Okay. Yeah, I've I've quite a quite an extensive collection of custom dice now, and some of them I've noticed. Yeah. And e even even if you're rolling them wearing white gloves onto a pillow individually, <laughs> they may start to show their wear. Okay, one skull. Well, I just kind of would like. You know, I, I, I liked that the Dreadmoon dice came out. They weren't too visible. It was just nice to see they were making a variety of dice. But what I would like them to do is adopt a variety pack of dice that had the different odds on them. The double skull, the double shield. the just Essentially adopt what the fans have made for years and produce a series. Well, use the far voice spell, as they say. Let them know on the Avalon you know. Discord. I mean, on the one hand, I'm with you. I know that the fans will create like no matter if they give us a hundred things, the fans will create 101 things. If they right. give us 101 things, then we'll create 102 things. But yeah, as far as that goes, some people can't stand the colored dice, don't like them. Other people like me have a place for them. But I just feel with the the game, if they continue to have the longevity that we all hope for, eventually they will have to do something. They will run out of options with just white dice to keep the you know, inflating kind of the progression of the game. Yeah, well, you, you know. it, it's either that or it's like 
you just start rolling even greater numbers of dice. Like, oh, you're rolling 10 dice, you're rolling 12 dice, you're rolling Right, dice. right. Yeah. Right, or the black shield will count as like two hits when you're attacking or something like that, well, and then it'll be like the dark yeah, bolt you, dice. You can simulate it all on there. Exactly. Yeah, it just gets more cumbersome, essentially. The Hero more Quest you... can you could play Hero Quest with just standard D sixes, but it's cool to have the the skulls and the shields and everything on there. So yeah, if you play with the probabilities, I, I'm with you on that. Okay, so the uh, the orc defended. Elberg says there's a lot of room for custom rules with them, and I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's sometimes an unblockable hit. Yeah. A reroll. Yep. yep. There's there's uh, rules I thought of. I, I even thought of some new rules today, which I haven't implemented yet. Which I thought, well, let's just start with this and see where it goes. Like, how what's about the uh, yeah, just how what's about, the how, curious. how about you use your uh, gold coins in the chat to change the color of the dice? Like, whoever rolls the dice next, it's going to be a different color. That would be so very I, I have a cube where each of the faces is a different color. So, something weird. Color change. Could work in your favor, though, right? Yeah, it could or it could not. I mean, if you're attacking with a green die, it's, it's going to be weaker. The chaos dice. Ah, the that, chaotic Because you don't, you don't know if it goes up or down. Yep, it modifies your dice every time. Okay. All right, so uh, is the wizard going to do anything else? Uh, I think if I attacked him, I can't can't do anything. That's right. Well, you can move. Oh, that's right. I could attack then. Move. Yeah. Um. Yes, I'm going to do that, and I will go up. Um, I'm just going to go, yeah, two to the uh, west. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Yes. Yes, I'll do that. Okay. I feel like. Uh, the wizard in between turns, you know, he's reading his book. He's like, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I just don't want to like, oh, he puts his finger there. Okay, yes, yes. I'm going to move this way, and then he goes back to reading. Yep. Okay. All right, my turn. All right, so we've got an opening. Uh, this orc is going to move to the north and attack the elf. Three skulls, Elf. Wow. So you got your six defense. Oh, sorry, I was still thinking about the barbarian taking off his armor, right? <laughs> well. This imagery really has captured your guys' imagination. Like, he, he is pretty impressive. I mean, not, not hating the game. Okay. If you're Dolph and you're Arnold, does that make me like Danny DeVito? <laughs> yeah. left I, I, I would love to see Danny DeVito in the dwarf role. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, you easily deflected it and you got yourself a wrestling move. Okay. Let's do, let's do a vertical suplex this time. All right. Well, as, as much as you can uh, imagine that with the figures. <laughs> so. Or wait, is this the one where he holds him up for a while before he actually slams him down? Yes, the orc's got to help me with that one. Yep. I can almost do it. I always liked the little gymnastics you could do with the original figures, like how the dwarf could balance on top of the treasure chest. Well, anyway, yes. so he's holding him up there, and like the, the ref is like, oh, man, all the blood's rushing to his head. How long is it going to hold him? And then finally, you know, the, the crowd is like counting like all the seconds, and then wham. So. Break down the trap door. Yep. Yep. Someone's going to have to go clean that trap door out, because there's an orc in it. <laughs> Got him. Okay, well, the other orc, undeterred. One, two, three, four. He's going to attack the elf again. Where'd the orc go? i to do it all myself. One skull. Oh, another one. <laughs> What's it going nice. to do this time? 
Let's do an atomic drop. Bam! Oh, <laughs> oh that looked painful. Well, so much for those orcs. And the table is completely untouched. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, I guess that's it for Zargon's turn. Back to the elf. Okay, am I back to maximum six again? Uh, well, you're at six, but your maximum's actually eight for body points. Because yeah, he's talking about movement. Oh, sorry, no. Oh, um, no, no, no. Yeah, movement. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, other, other <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, you do have your full movement, correct. Okay, can we go... Uh, we'll go through the east door. So, one, two, three, into the east door room. Okay, you're in the room. And can we do a search for traps? Sensible. Okay. No traps detected. Chaser. You know what? Let's... There could be a secret door between these bookshelves. Um, let me. Well, I walk. I walked on a lot of these spots. A lot of. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you know, let me just do the treasure. Right. If something happens, I still got the the wizard. <laughs> All right. So you're going through the bookcases. You're looking for anything that looks like it could be something, and uh, one of the books is hollow, and inside you see the elixir of life, the actual elixir of life. It will bring a dead hero back. A marvelous artifact. What a find. Um, and I, I guess put me in the doorway right in front of the wizard. Okay. Blocking the door. All right, and now, Mighty Barbarian. Uh, I will continue to stride down the hallway. Eight. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, so just, just move me east and south then, as far as I can go. All right. You can move 12 now. Well, that's that's why I'm rolling. Wait, are there no monsters on the board? Yeah, we got we killed them all. Oh, okay. Sorry, move, move me four more then. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Don't stride. Run. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to run to you guys like Leroy Jenkins. You know. He was he was going in slow motion. You know, and you, you can hear like the teeny boppers. You know, screaming and and everything. Yeah. And then and then suddenly he <laughs> he picks up the pace. Yeah. Comic like, oh, they're all dead. Oh, no grand entrance. <laughs> no, no more autographs. Gotta go. Um, and just for the heck of it, probably y'all already done it, but no, y'all already did search this hallway for secret doors. Never mind. So, uh, I'm done. Secret doors, yes. Okay. All right. The amazing wizard. Okay, and so we searched for uh, treasure in that room, is that correct? Yep, found the elixir of life. Um, and we haven't searched for secret passages, right? Correct. I am going to search for secret passages. Alright, 
you're trying the old trick from the movies where you pull the book out and it opens the thing, but uh, as it turns out, the rest of them are just ordinary books, so no secret doors. Okay, then I am going to run over to be just north of the elf, one square. I'm going to recommend to him to search for secret passages. All right. Good thought. I feel like the double dead end room thing is feeling a little dead endy. All right. Zargon plays one of his evil cards. Randomly pick a hero. That hero triggers an unseen pit trap. Place a pit trap on the board. Despite precautions, you spring an unseen trap. Okay, so there's four of you. And we'll do it in turn order. Go two. What's that? I said, let's go two. <laughs> Five. Oh no, uh, I did it wrong. I should have done a D4. Wait, like, that's not a die. In my mind, that doesn't exist, but yeah, that's what I would do. Okay. Yeah, somewhere the knight is sitting at home on his couch <laughs> eating potato chips and suddenly he falls. Ah! <laughs> okay, two. Alertness. Ah. Wow. Okay, so alertness. Cancels it out. Your perception is second to none. Okay. So, the matrix is out of the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And even though there's a pit there, he, uh, he doesn't fall into it. He's just standing next to it. He's got, like, his legs on either side. Aha! Okay. Oh, up here! I'm stuck. <laughs> well, I mean, you can walk out. Gonna yeah. Okay. All right. Um, elf. Okay. So, on the advice of my learned friend, I will search for secret doors. All right. The elf searches for secret doors. He can find no secret doors. He even looked under the table, and yet there were none. Damn. I just felt, I just was feeling like cartography wise we were upon a door. You never know. Yes. Okay. You gonna do any uh, any movement? Mm, I'm kind of thinking maybe there's something in this room to be found, even so. Um let's just stay where we are. Mighty Dwarf. Is he uh, in the pit or did he dodge the pit? I, I dodged it with the alertness. Nice. Again, um... I guess, can I go in the table room with them and search for treasure? Yep. One, they search for traps and secret doors already? Yep. All right. Okay, you're searching for treasure. I don't think I searched for traps, did I? Or did... Yes, we searched for traps. Okay. Wandering monster. You thought there was something else in the room. You were right. <laughs> table. He was underneath the table. Yeah. It, it, like he was like holding on to like the underside of the table. <laughs> so. Uh, and it's a mummy. Duct tape under. Couldn't, couldn't smell him. It's like, really? Okay. All right. So he bursts forth. Ah, and attacks. The mummy attacks. Two skulls. Uh, 
Ooh, three shields and a wrestling move. Ching. Okay. Okay, so you got a wrestling move, and you're in a room with the table. Yes. I want to choke slam him through the table. I thought you were gonna say I gouge. Okay. <laughs> so you grab him and you pummel him through the table. <laughs> Not the table. Yeah. All right. See, this is why they need breakable tables in Hero Quest. <laughs> I guess I could 3D print one and like cut it in half and then just like just kind of like hold it together <laughs> okay so the mummy gets up dazed but he is looking uh, rather shabby okay All right. that's it for me barbarian Okay, so I just want to make sure the uh, East Hall there, no one has gone in there, right? Or West. What was that? East or West, we haven't gone either way. East. East. So so the, the cartographer from the center, East Hallway, yeah. Okay. Correct. So you want to okay, go I will. Yes, please. Keep on going all the way. Um, is there anything to reveal, though? Uh, nope. All you see is that little stone wall on the edge. Okay, uh, I'll take one we're step we're in and that already. That, yeah, I was gonna say I'll, I'll take one step in and search for secret doors. Okay, no secret yeah. doors detected. Oh. Okay. Um, I am going to use my sling on that mummy. Can I see that mummy? I don't know if the table was including that. Well, it's kind of lying in pieces on the floor, so not really. Because I could shoot over a table. It's not exactly a wall. Sure, I allow it. Uh, One in combat. I... It it just goes sailing over his head without uh, not even grazing him. Classic wizard acuity. Uh, I am then going to progress to go out the trapdoor. One, two, three, four. Now roll your combat die for the trap door. Okay, you're safe. And I'm going to make my way towards the barbarian as far as I can get without stepping on mysterious ceiling tiles. Oh wait, I forget it ends. I forget it ends my turn. Yeah. Just thinking out loud. Okay. Alright. Evil wizard's turn. After the good wizard. Okay. Uh the mummy is gonna go ahead and attack the dwarf very imaginatively. For a mummy. Two skulls. Ching, and a hit. So the dwarf is down to six. Down to six. Can you take the hold of the dwarf back down there for a third time? Okay. Uh, huh. yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Elf. Uh, okay, so let's let's roll for movement. Okay, only two. Okay, so I'll just go two north and take a pot shot at the mummy with my crossbow. Ah, yes. It's away. One 
one skull. Oh, you got him. Down goes the mummy. Never Lovely. Eyes again. Cleared the room of monsters. Well, you've cleared the board of monsters, I should say. Can I just check uh, how exactly the potion of vision works? Yes. So once you use it from then on until you lose one body point of damage, you can see all secret doors and regular traps. In your line of sight so if you're looking down a corridor and it happens to be a trap there you'll see it if you're in the room same thing doesn't mean you disarm okay great i think i think we'll... yeah yeah okay thank you right. okay who's next uh, Worf's gonna go down the hatch. Down the hatch. Four. Okay, roll. Are you doing the uncommon feat again, or are you just uh, doing the normal? Yes, I should have went with the uncommon feat. <laughs> I'll give you time. Okay, so you you did it, and uh, you just avoided damage. Okay. Okay. You push the uh, wizard forward one, and you're now in the cupboard room. Dark bodies are soft. Nice soft landing. <laughs> yep, apparently. Soft and squishy. All right. I end my turn going through the trap door. Barbarian. Yeah, sorry, got distracted. Um, bu 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 bu. Happens to the best of us. See, see, I have thoroughly explored the south here. South part of the board feels like so. Why don't I kind of go up in the upper right hand corner and search for some secret doors there, huh? Yes, but beware right. the mysterious hallway. Okay. Uh, are there any monsters on the board? Nope. Okay. Uh, I will. Yeah, you know what? Screw traps. I'm going. Go. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, so you're just going to keep on going? Hell yeah. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. Ouch. Jeez. A mummy drops down from the ceiling. Rawr. A wandering monster trap was not able to be de detected through normal means. And he I see. Okay. He, he go ahead and attacks me. Okay. Oh crud, and me with and with and me without my plate armor. Yeah, two skulls. Ah. Your bodybuilder charms have no effect on him. <laughs> oh, two damage. Yep. Alright, down to five body points and, and I don't I don't get to counter it. I, I don't get to attack him, right? Right, because it ends your turn. Okay. Oh no wait, no. Hold the phone. No. I haven't used an action late yet. Hold the phone, yeah. Uh, you didn't use an action, so yes, with the Wandering Monster, you don't get to keep moving, but you could you, you could counterattack. Okay, uh, so remind me what Berserker Fury and Mighty Blow do. Okay. So, Berserker Fury allows you to trade any number of defense dice for additional attack dice. <laughs> That's... And Mighty Blow would be, after rolling your combat dice, multiply by two the final result. Yeah, I'm going to do Mighty Blow. The, the, the Barbarian has a lot of pent-up rage from going the last four turns without anything to do, so we're, we're going to do that. Finally, some action. Okay. That's right. Uh, so then I just roll my dice and whatever skulls is doubled. Double. Okay, uh, here we go. He swings us. He swings his sword, and yeah. Jeez, please. Okay, two skulls. Two skulls. Do you 
monster, you would have gotten a wrestling move. But you're not a, you're, you may be a combat monster, but you're not a, mon a proper monster. That's right. Okay. I drink white monster. Oh. Hey. It's two hits. Ooh. As he, uh, as he sheaves his sword, he says, You have just been shink erased. <laughs> nice. If anybody else had said it, no one would have taken it seriously. But because it was him, everybody thought it was badass. <laughs> Absolutely. And if they didn't think so, they were afraid to take so because he's just that kind of guy. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Wizard. We have a wizard in the house. Yes. All right. I am going to roll for movement. Roll for movement, okay. Is there, there's no monsters in the board, or there are? There's no more monsters. Oh, so I don't have to roll. Okay. All right. I am going to follow the barbarian as far as I can. Okay. We search this room for treasure, and yeah, that's all I can do. I'm sorry. What what's going on? You're leaving the room, or are you searching? Oh uh, yes, I, I'm leaving the room. I'm going as far as I can to follow uh, the barbarian. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. I was just thinking if I had any actions, but I don't. I don't think I can do anything. Um, I. Barbarian has five body points, just FYI. Oh, thank you. I forgot to adjust that. Appreciate it. Alright, uh, okay, Zargon draws the card. That one, that one is better. Okay. Elf. Okay, so uh, no prizes for guessing what I'm going to do. Uh, let's go through the through the trap door. All right, roll your one. Skull. All right, so you make it through, but you take a body point of damage. Okay, so I'm down to five body points, I believe. Yep. Okay, that ends your turn, and you push the dwarf a little bit there. Right, here's that momentum to run towards the alchemist. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is it uncommon feet to try to get on the other side of him? Sure. Go ahead. Roll one. He just run through his robes. Nope. Do the running slide. <laughs> <laughs> slammed right into him and fell down. His head hit the book. The wizard kind of looked <laughs> <My> up. <hip. laughs> Gets back up. Slightly embarrassed, but unharmed. Alright. Barbarian. I will... There are no monsters on the board. No monsters. Okay. Um, I will round the corner. One, two, three. Okay, I got and... a 
Ooh. If anything. Okay. Up the hallway. You see a stone block. No, not right in front of you. All the way up to the top there. And you see a closed door here. All right, I still have 10 movement left, so I'll move up to it and open the door. Inside the room, see a door. Okay, is that it? Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. You see a nasty-looking skeleton. And a nasty looking mummy. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and put on my plate armor again. Oh, okay. So you were dragging it with you this whole time? Absolutely. Oh. It was in my, my, my pocket inventory. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So now I'm back up to defense five. Uh, so it, it, I, I don't remember how much I had before, but even if I rolled, I would get the one that I need to walk up. So I'll, I'll walk up to the skelly boy. Hold on here. So you've got the iron plate back on, and you're back up to five. In the future, I'm going to be a little bit more specific about <laughs> what happens to stuff when you take it off. But uh, well, yeah, because then you could game it and just take it off every well, time. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I really. Because if it if it doesn't take an action like a potion, then you're right. Yeah. It's it's too easy to cheese. It's it's not the heaviness of the armor. It's the restrictive nature when he puts it on. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say actually he took the the penalty when he got hit with the wandering monster trap. It's true. It's a totally totally avoidable. In D and D, depending on the size of the armor you wear, it takes different amounts of time to take it off and put it on. It's like he, he carries the armor around and he just uses it like a shield. He just like swings it in front of himself right before he gets hit. It's like, no, 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 not doing that. <laughs> okay. All right. So he's got it back on. So he moves forward to attack. That's right. As he uh, charges at the skeleton with his sword held high, he says, try this on, full scythe. Because ah. yeah, I get it. <laughs> Stick it around. It's almost oh. too witty for the barbarian. Yep. Yeah, that's. I don't think the barbarian's <laughs> that quick. There's, there's no way. There's no way I can. I can deal with that. Uh, well, let me just. Let me just see. It would be comical, but. Oh, he is an elite, but even with his elite powers, he still can't beat four, four uh, skulls. So, he's trashed. Bones that's a roll the dice with the double uh, Zargon skulls. That would have been nice, but yeah. Super elite. I already got my quote in, so uh, I'll, I'll end my turn, so. Okay, but this mummy is an elite. Yeah, all right. Well, what does that mean for his body points and stuff? His body points are the same, but he attacks with black dice and he defends with blue dice, meaning he okay. defends just as well as a hero does. Okay, good to know. Can make a big difference. Okay, all right. Magician. I will. Here. 
magician my way towards him with a. Uh... Gotta roll your dice because there's monsters now. There's a monster. Six. Six. Let me see here. I will. Salt my book. Oh, I was considering using Swift to win, but I didn't realize I'm supposed to do it before I roll and then roll four dice. I thought it just doubled your dice. Well, I mean... Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's... I'll let you... If you want to use Swift win, sure, you can just roll two more dice. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to going to use it here um because i get it because then it's kind of like i get a little insight do i want to use it i could have got a 12 there and just yeah, been like eh, i won't yeah, you know like you kind of should use it beforehand all, all right I'm okay assuming I'll you're gaming the game it's all in the delivery oh 14 So cross off Swift Wind. Okay. Swift Wind and Fire of Wrath, I think. Was, yes, those are the two. Yep. Put me right outside the door. I guess I should just can I search the corridor for secret doors is that a possibility yes probably do something no secret doors uh, detected uh, I would say you can't do it this turn because you used an oh spell. yeah that's shoot I forgot well and I think yeah. somebody else already did actually oh okay I doubled down and reconfirmed the no he secret just, door. He just he read he read one of the entries in his book that said secret doors have been searched for. Yes. He tapped it with his finger and smiled to himself. Okay. <laughs> you're you're both right, of course. Okay. Argon's turn. Mummy. Are you my mummy? Okay. The mummy moves forward. One, two, three. Gets in the barbarian's face. And attacks. One skull. Blocked. No damage. Okay. Elf. <laughs> okay, so I'll step one to the north. Ah. He st strikes a stylish pose of his own. And I, I will not take off my plate armor. I will stubbornly keep it on. Um, I'm toying with drinking my potion of vision just for something to do. I personally no. Let's just keep it. I feel like we're yeah. I'll just keep it on the whole board. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Have to game it. Chaser. All right, go go gadget. Work on bladder. I'm gonna use that and roll two extra dice. Boom. So he's got the huge balloon strapped to his back. The air is escaping in a very comical, cartoony fashion, but somehow it works. Hey, hear the fart noises. Yep. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Up and around the corner. There he 
is, right next to the uh, wizard. All right, that's cool. He was grateful that the wizard didn't giggle at all with all the uh, whoopee cushion sound effects. Hey, it was, it was the alchemist's uh, invention. Yep. <laughs> he wrote down in his book, used warthog bladder. Ouch of swift wind. Brings it to the barbarian's turn. Um. No monster. Oh no no no. We got that mummy still. Um. Well, all right. Other than the monster right in front of you, yes. But there is a monster in front of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will chop at the mummy. Um. Let's see. What does potion of battle do again? That would let you re-roll your attack roll if you didn't like the outcome of it, and then accept the second outcome instead. What does Potion of Strength do? Plus two, two dice? Two attack dice. Extra, yep. For just that All right. Attack. All right, so then if I'm rolling three black, one white, I would if I drink a Potion of Strength, I'd get three black, three white? Uh, yes. I'll drink my Potion of Strength. Whoop. And I will roll three three black, three white. Not 13 white, good grief. All right. All right, mentor bot's yelling at me. All right, one second. You need a space, and you can't edit it. You got to type it again. There you go. Okay. <laughs> a skull, and you've got a wrestling move. Okay. I'm going to drink my potion of battle. <laughs> so oh, you don't want the wrestling move? Okay. Uh... Yeah, no, I, I want the skulls. All right, re-roll the whole thing. Because he, cause he doesn't have any uh, health. He, he still has full health, right? Full health, yep. And how much, and the wrestling move only does one damage, right? That's right. Yeah, okay, yep, I'm going to roll it. All right, I drink my potion of battle. Whoop. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, four skulls. Okay, let's see what I get. get uh, four black shields on toast. Toasty! Toasty. Um, as the mummy fades away, he says, consider that a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Classy mummy, this guy. Alright, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to walk along because I'm, I'm only one square in. So, uh, crud, there's monsters and there's monsters on the board. So I'll have to roll, but, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and roll. See how far I can get. Uh, there's no more monsters. Oh, okay. We, we cleaned them all. Okay. So I'm going to move along, just hug the wall and move along the top part of the wall. Yeah. Just let me hug the wall all the way to the door over there. As far as I can get. Okay. That was four. Uh, it was five, because you don't have to roll for movement. Oh, thank you. Uh, all right, cool. I, mean, uh, I will not have to go there. I mean, you... no, 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 we're good. We're good. Sorry, you're right. Just trying to be honest. Um, I will not open the door. Okay. Not yet. All right, wizard. I shall roll. The movement dice. As you wish. Consulting the indices of turn choices. Big money. Two in the room. Uh, what have we searched for in the room so far? Don't think we've searched for anything. Yeah, the mummy was just killed, so there hasn't been a chance to search for anything yet. Correct. Uh, okay, then I will search for... Uh, I will search for treasure. Right. 
like a particularly rich room. Gold! Midst old rags, tattered fur robes, and soiled blankets. Ew. You find a collection of 15 gold coins. Gold! There'll be gold in them hill. Okay, so it's taking up to 765 gold. Yep. Good find. Okay. Sargon draws a card. All right. Back to you, Alf. Okay. Can we go... Yeah, just towards the door, please, for avoiding the suspicious squares. All right. Thank you. Chaser. Uh, the, the mummy's uh, gone if he wants to take two extra squares. That's true. Of course, yes, thank you. You're welcome. It's not a fit. I mean, that's. I, I've noticed the designers did mention they used that rule, but it's not yet official, right? They haven't wrote it no. in one of the. No, uh, and Carmin clarified this at Gen Con. He said, whenever they do their playtesting, that's what they do. They do eight squares. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But, and then and into the Northlands, they just shared, like, hey, if you want to use this, here's a suggestion. But, so I use a variation of it. But, I mean, <laughs> as you I can see, like, there is, there is something about rolling dice for movement. People just do it. It's part of the game. So if you find it fun and prefer to do it that way, not stopping you. But I do give you the option to do the, the unthreatened move. Well, I think it's like when you're definitely when you're in combat, it makes sense because there's an element of having to judge if you can run or not. Like yeah. you could always move the max. You would outrun a you number of points. Well, and as Zargon, I appreciate the fact that heroes will run fast into traps. So I'm <laughs> not going to stop that from happening. All right. Okay. So um, after the elf is the dwarf. I'll open the door in front of the barbarian. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Opening the door. And I'll reveal the room. Okay. Are those all skeletons? Yep. Okay. Dirty skeleton. Mm-hmm. Jeez. A couple of zombies in there, too. Yes, I'll just chop the first one from the inside the door. Well, you're standing right here on top of the barbarian. So, are you going to go in? Yeah, I'll go in and I'll, I'll chop at the first one. Oh. <laughs> All right, bone dust. Well done. Well done. Actually, uh, you, as you're in mid-swing, you realize that these are not actually uh, monsters. These are statues. 
Alright. Oh, stone dust. Like? You, uh, you do the, like, bully thing where you're like, you flinched, you flinched, but the statue just remains completely immobile. Very realistic looking, though. Does he break the statue? He's not able to uh, do any damage to the statue. Oh, I don't uh, like that. Can I search for traps? I... Since you didn't, you didn't actually attack anything. Yes, you can search your traps if you want to. Yes, please. All right, no traps detected. All right, um, I'm going to step in and move down two. Since there are no longer monsters on the board, I feel more confident. All right. Um, we'll search for secret doors. Secret door is detected. Aha! I knew it. Right here. All right. Wizard. Oh. I have a feeling we're getting closer to this thing. And then I'm just not a fan of the room full of statues premise in HeroQuest. They're really big fans of living statues. I was about to say, is this like the first time ever in HeroQuest the statue didn't come to life? Right. <laughs> Very nice. Um, cool. Thank you. I got a roll here to move. Are you rolling? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. There's no monsters on the board. I mean, you can roll if you want. I'm not going to stop you. Know, yes. Um, so let me see. One, two. If you stand I'm in the corner by the barbarian and the zombie and search for your treasure, the wandering monster can't hit you. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. you in the way. I'll take Jace's advanced <laughs> uh, information here and hide behind Arnold there. All right. And Stand behind my chopper. <laughs> so you're searching? Yeah. Hazard. Yeah, I wouldn't... Also, don't would defend some... against that. Suddenly, <laughs> a stone beneath your feet gives way. You fall into a shallow hole, losing one of your body points. With spikes... Well, good thing Grandpa has a life alert on, so he'll he'll be able to stand back up just fine. Yep. Yeah, I'll have to use my another potion of warmth. Oh, okay. All right. I just am trying to cross these off my list, get thin out my inventory here. Yep. That that'll bring me back up to one, right? Correct. Correct. So everybody was everybody was panicked for a second, but. I'm okay. Fall into the trap that breaks all of your potions. <laughs> yeah, that's our round card sucks. I think that would be a good one though. Randomly breaks a potion in your inventory when well, you fall. I like them. the idea of the banshee that screams and shatters one of your uh, bottles. Yes. Like, Did you oh, roll at random or something? You know. Don't you know I've started sealing my potions in metal <laughs> metal flasks <laughs> yeah oh, my bag full of helmets I have a bunch of potions. heavy heavy stuff well you're gonna need to start hiring porters to carry your stuff it's like yeah. are those mercenaries uh no they're just porters i do have one of those uh miniatures i'll have to show you sometime oswald the overladen so he's got like just just tons of gear just and he's just like <laughs> bent forward this poor like surf carrying all your stuff for you He doesn't charge much. As long as you keep his uh, his hotel bill and his beer tab going, he's he's okay. He might get there slowly, but he'll get there. 
nobody ever attacks the porters. Uh, okay. Alright, so uh, after the wizard is my turn. Ambush! Okay, so a mon as you're walking, a monster stalks you and attacks. So I'm going to say, uh, out of the darkness comes a chaos mutant with its mighty spear, and it thrusts a diagonal attack at the at the wizard. Yeah, jeez. Even when you're standing, you were supposed to be safe behind me. It's attracted to my giant red cloak I'm dragging behind me. Yeah, the <laughs> that's probably it. <laughs> oh, that's so they cool. turned it How into much? a bag. Chaser just shared a photo right. of his uh, his creations there. I like that. Yeah, yeah they were my uh, my scouts. Nice. Nice. Henchmen. Henchmen. They got the backpack. What, what is the, land, what is the, the land stats of this monster? Kurgan? Uh, it's the same as a skeleton. Okay. Yeah, I've used him before. So, okay. What do I roll here for it? Oh, he hit, did he hit? No matter what, am I going to have to? Nope, he just gets one skull. Okay. Go ahead and do your defense. I get two white and one green, correct? Three white, is that right? Uh, three white, one green. Block one. Ka yes. Ka Ching. Ha ha. You would have gotten a wrestling move. Okay. All right. That's uh, that's my turn. Stick into it. All right, elf. Okay. So if I can just head out the door. One, two, three. Guys, we have searched this corridor for secret doors, I think. Um, actually not sure. Okay, well, let's do I don't know if we searched that one. one. Okay, so you're searching this corridor for secret doors. No secret doors to Yes. Okay, thank you. I feel like this is Sir Lancelot, and he's he's every time he's he's charging, and it's playing the, the dramatic music, and then it cuts to the guards, and they're just kind of like, you know, <laughs> 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 and it cuts back. <laughs> he's still like it's replaying the same footage of him running. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, next, Jacer, if you can find yourself in that hall of statues in one living evil creature I want to move behind him all right all right and then I want to try to chop off his tail all right go for it you rolled in an 11 11 Two skulls. Got him. Excellent. Uh, he should. The bar, uh, dwarf should have been behind him. Yeah, he was. Oh, you mean on this side? Yeah, because I he was. Yeah, I think it looked like he was facing the barbarian, so I tried to, you know, sneaking up behind him to stop off his tail. Okay. You missed and chopped his spine in half and killed him. Works for me. Something from the vault. Okay. On to the barbarian. Well, okay. I'm gonna go open that door. Opening the secret door. All 
All right. There's a door to the north. There is a tomb. And in the corner, you see a treasure chest. Ooh. Um, I guess I'll step in to the because I have two movements still. So I'll, I'll walk up to the treasure chest and open the chest. I I know you don't technically have to walk up to the chest to open it, but I will. So. Okay. So, uh, but you got to use an action to actually do it. So, are you searching for? I haven't. Yeah. So you're searching for treasure. This chest has a trap on it. Ah. Uh. But you're surprised that, like, you know, no darts shoot out of it. There's no poison gas. There's no explosion. I'm thinking, hmm, that's interesting. How, how did I know there was a trap? I just, I just heard a mechanism, just yeah, kind of like some kind of activation, Shh. and then in okay. the in the next room, though. Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> Suddenly, what appeared to be statues, there's like the stone skin is peeling away, and you see there's actual undead monsters underneath in the room. They start... Who would have thought? Coming to we, 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 sp we spoke too soon, Cockbox. <laughs> yeah. So all these creatures are uh, becoming active. So let me just roll to see what they are. Six... Okay, so one, two, a nightmare. Okay, so that's an elite skeleton right there. The captain of the guard, perhaps. And then the other skeleton is an elite here. First mate, maybe. Okay, so all these monsters have uh, sp sprung into uh, into service. Okay. All right, so after the barbarian. Wizard, I have some bad news for you. Run, wizard, <laughs> run. <laughs> I smell the bad news. <laughs> You're going to die. It smells smell. like undead been sealed in those uh, stone sarcophagi for so long. <laughs> yeah, they look like just effigies, but now you see that they're the real deal. That's why they were so well sculpted. Yeah. <laughs> if you are going to run, cast Courage on me first. Um, so I get a seven. I'm going to go move. Let me see. I want to do first. Um, That's a good idea that you could cast your spell and then run into the sarcophagus room behind me, and I'll yeah, that's I'll what I'm you with, thinking with, here. I'll shield you with my body. What I would use. Um, who's the elite in the room? Uh, so this middle skeleton in the top row, and then this end skeleton in the bottom row. Okay, so I can see the... I have line of sight on the one in the top, right? I mean, technically, I wouldn't see yes. the ones to my left, or... Yeah, you've got a line of sight on the top elite. I shall summon forth the mighty powers of the genie! The genie! Okay. Yes, the, uh... The genie, and I will use him to open a door on the map. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And then grab, yeah, grab the door and, yeah. like, ram him with it. <laughs> I'm summoning forth the Robin Williams genie, not the Will Smith genie. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best genie. Important I mean, he really was. Yeah. Um, I commend the no, one, no one remembers the Shazam genie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's an alternate timeline. <laughs> Shazam genie. Um, Kazam. Yeah, the other one. Is that what it was? Kazam? I don't... Yeah, Kazam. It was right. Shazam. 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 Shazam is Jack. Kazam is is uh, uh the other comedian. Jack. Oh, Shazam. you're thinking of the yeah. It was the urban legend that then became a real yeah. thing where they made a, a joke skit of it. Sinbad. <laughs> no, Sinbad. Really, there was really a movie with Sinbad where he was 
This is one of those things people argue for the Mandela yeah. effect. Yeah, but they they <laughs> made they made the movie in in response to the fact that people thought they remembered it. So it's kind of it wasn't. A, I remember seeing it as he, a child. I thought he came out. He, I thought he well, came out and yeah. said yes that they went and they bought all of the bad copies because he was so messed up on drugs and didn't want his kids to ever see that movie. He's a time yeah, we, I, another, it was for sure movie. real. I saw. I remember seeing it as a kid. Wasn't he? Um, I just remember the scene where he was in the attic with the kids. Anyway. Look it up on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to argue what timeline we're in. Um, Five white dice, is that correct? Yes. The genie? I like to, in Kazam, when Shaquille O'Neal beats the bad guy by squishing him into a little ball and then dunking him into, like, a garbage suit or something. I've never actually. I know we've probably all seen that movie exactly once, and that was enough. But well, the fact that 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 scene is in there makes me think I should watch that movie or at least find that clip. (laughs) Well, I mean, I ruined the ending for you, so. Uh, But yeah, no point now. Has there ever been a Hero Quest game though, where the genies of animated movies and or basketball players slash comedians have been discussed during the tabletop? Uh, this might be a first, genie spell, but I'm sure other people, yeah. Or I feel genie. it has to be. What about the sprinkle spangled genie? You know, you wish I don't know that one. It. You know, the kids are bored with cereal and you know, oh yeah, sprinkle spangled. <laughs> you know, their their uh, cereal into like this glittery, like sugary mess. <laughs> sprinkle. Sh- the 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 uh, Ducktales one. Oh, the Ducktales. Oh gosh, Ducktales so was great. I remember the Ducktales. I can't remember. Was it? The, but the original Ducktales. I love. I highly recommend. I watched the new one with my kids. I've it's heard it. It was actually bad. pretty. It's good. not. It's not bad. I really liked it actually. Many, so and and it's franchises like, have been ruined it, from remakes. It's it's that's refreshing to hear. <laughs> well, there's good yeah. adult jokes in it for the parents, and it, they. I like the timeline the and the orbit around it. They bring it. I, I like that Donald is like the single dad trying, just trying to make ends meet. You know. He's the uncle of the ducks, right? Oh, well, yeah, ducks. but he's playing the he's yes. playing the dad role. But yes, yeah. Uncle Bob. Anyways, <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, I got us. We could do a whole rant cast on that on the, yeah. on the lineage of ducktails. Ooh. Okay. All right. So uh, that was your role. Three three skulls, huh? Have we scared away Glasgow with our American pop culture references yet? Well, I was going to say, does uh, no, I'm quite enjoying. I'm quite enjoying it. Thanks. <laughs> well, but 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 in Duck in Ducktales, uh, Scrooge McDuck is a Scottish duck, and isn't he voiced by a Scotsman in the new one, Doctor Who? Yeah, Am I right? and his arch nemesis is the world's second richest Scottish duck. Uh, Hart Glomgold. <laughs> yeah. Name? All right. Well, let's see if you, uh, yeah. if you off this guy. Hey, go ahead, go ahead. Don't let me interrupt the conversation. Oh, biscuits. Ching, and then a hit. First you, Ribby. Got him. Nice. Were you going to say something, Glothko? No, I was just uh, reminiscing while you were talking about Scrooge McDuck and and it put me in mind of Count Ducula. Did you guys get ah. Count Ducula over there? Yes, yeah. that was, yeah. yeah. Sure did. That was good. Wow. If, Na- if Nanny could be a hero, I'd take Nanny on the quest. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, we've got a, that's a lot of pop culture references in one stream. I love it. I dig it. I can dig it. Okay, so after the wizard's amazing work, guess whose turn it is. Well, oh, wait, I he, should be. He, I moved, he wants to move. Oh, yeah, okay. past uh, the barbarian. I I uh, rolled a seven, so one square west of the barbarian. All right, perfect. Okay. All right, that leaves four for me. Five if I kill. Here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> They're scared. If they were capable of being scared, they'd be scared. Okay, so the zombie's gonna move in one, two, three, and attack the barbarian. I always forget. 
Ah, oh, he missed. Oh. Yes, he was scared. Okay. Yep. Skeleton. One, two, three, four, five. I'll see that he was scared of the dwarf. What? One, so he just ran and hid in the corner? Four, yeah. Five, six. All right. All These right. are the. <laughs> okay, and then. Zombie I didn't even use an uncommon feat. Zombie moves there and attacks the dwarf. One skull dwarf. Ching ching. Ding ding ding. Alright, go to the card. Perfect plex. Sweet. One, two, three. Ding 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 ding. Alright. Zombies out of there. Okay. And the skeleton. The elite skeleton moves on to the secret door and attacks the dwarf. And he missed. Elf. Oh, yeah. Yes. Life doesn't get any better for the elf. Six out of six. Okay, so we're going to go two south and then four east. Did anyone think I wasn't going to do that? So I'm, I'm, clo I'm, I'm close to using my second elven potion of speed, but I want to make sure it can do more than just move 12, so... Oh, um, yeah. my turn's over. You know, I I never actually thought about that. I don't. Well, would he move? To, apparently, it would stack. I mean, if I'm reading this right, so he would move 24 squares, and he would attack four times. It seems pretty op. Uh, I mean, it's 500 gold, but yep. uh, yeah, but he lost the uh, the first one going through that okay. the yeah, trap door. Oh, good, yeah. Good point. Okay, so I don't have yeah, to worry yeah, about yes, it. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, I, okay. I used the first one, yeah. Okay, I don't have to worry about it then. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm just going to buy 15 of those and uh, just dominate the game. Well, I guess you'd blow away the monster that was in front of you and then you'd have nothing more to do. If there was. Well, you could kill like two. Yeah, I guess you could just run into a throng and just do a whole bunch of damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you're not using it yet, or you're thinking about it? No, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait at least one more turn. All right. Okay, dwarf. Two. Two skulls against the elite. The elite guy. Yeah. Got him. Well done, Thanks, sir. Well done. All right, now I'm gonna jump in his spot, stomp on his bones. All right, See if these other guys run away. Mighty dwarf. What does the potion of resilience do? Uh, the potion of resilience gives you two extra defend dice for one defense. Okay. I think I'm okay. Um, how much defense dice does the zombie have? Ah, three. Three, okay. So, we're getting... I, I feel like we're getting close to the end here, so I'm gonna unleash my Berserker Fury on this here... on this here Zed in front of me. So, I will substitute... five defense dice. Wow. Excellent. So then, um, three black, six white, right? Yep. 
Oh, uh, I missed a couple of uh, responses here in the chat. I was so focused on the game. Uh, Luca Rock says <laughs> he missed a lot as well. By the way, people, damn it, Genie, nope, opening doors. <laughs> said earlier. Gonsgrim says 100% using Mentor as the wizard, 100% support. Luca Rock says Shaq was also Steel. Ah, yes, Man of Steel. I loved that comic series, but I heard that movie wasn't very good. But I never saw it. Never gave Shaq's acting career much, much thought. Elverg says optimizing life and turns is a reverse door strat, using monsters instead. Okay, okay, so you rolled this fantastic roll and I was dreading it. So one, two, three, four, five, six skulls. Ah, yep. ah, ah. ah. Okay. okay, and uh, that was against the zombie. So, I don't think... Uh, but I... I, I, I sacrificed all my defense, though, so I'm going to have to go ahead and down a potion of a frost skin so I can defend myself in Zargon's next turn here. So okay. get two, two defense, so I, I, ha I only have one left. Um, oh, I forgot my quote. Um, I was running out of Arnold movies to reference, and then you guys brought up Sinbad, so I'll go ahead and reference the worst Christmas movie of all time. Um, it's Tobo time! Oh, I love that movie. I mean, it's it's terrible, but I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I've got it's, a thing for bad movies. Yes, you you put down those cookies. <laughs> oh man, I have to watch that again this this Christmas for sure. Okay, well, you annihilated the zombie. There was just nothing left. It's a green mist. That jingle all the way. Is that the? Yep. yep. That's right. Yeah. Whoever uses Barbarian typically is going to come back to their character and they're going to be like, where did all my stuff go? <laughs> well, he can get all kinds of new stuff. See, it was it was his it was his quest pack, so he had to get all this extra loot. Now it's the elf's turn to, to clean up. Gotcha. Okay, so you did the, the Frost skin is next. So that gives you two extra defense as long as you can see monsters. That's right. Okay, where... You actually had two of those, so one of them is active. So it's going to be seven defense. Wow. Okay. All right. After the barbarian is the two, two, yeah. two defense because I sacrificed my shields for uh, for my attack. Oh, right. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. On the same round. Forgetting all. Don't the worry. The wizard stacking, can protect you. Stacking abilities. Uh, who's uh? Here. Well, but you always well. Let's see. You always defend with at least two, so it would be four. You defend oh, with, okay. Yeah, but then all right after that round goes off, then actually your defense would go up to seven. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Four and then seven. Got to remember. Okay. Uh, wizard. Uh, I will use Ball of Flame. Ball of Flame. One of these skeletons here. Okay, so I roll two Perfect. dice and a five. Any five or six will reduce the damage by one point. Otherwise, I take two damage. Or are you using an uncommon feat to split it between the two monsters? Or are you just saying you're going to just total them? I'm loving this idea. This is the most helpful Zarga. Yeah, well, whenever I give a helpful hint, it, that's actually a mentor. You know, you're remembering your training. You have like this fuzzy flashback where you're you're blindfolded and you're like doing the splits between two chairs, and he's like <laughs> teaching you. Yeah. You give the like rock on symbol, but shoot one little firebird. No, just it, trying to pull the pebble from his hand all at the same time. I do a one white die. Is that right? Uh, yeah. If it's a skull, it'll work. Otherwise, you're just unleashing your fury on just the one guy. Okay. First guy in line. It succeeded. Okay. So it's going to be one body point of damage for each guy. So they're each going to roll a d6. So any five or six, they negate the damage. A six. Whoa. Damn. Curse so. you, Ribby. <laughs> Upgrades. I see what's going on there. 
Well, I didn't know if it, if it worked, it would have been awesome. But the fact Rip, that you got ribby in your ear, I see. Got ribbied. You just got ribbied. Oh, Ribby's a cool guy. He made these for me. Ribby's oh. remarkable rings. I thought it was the righteous ribs. Righteous rims works too. But whatever. Remarkable <laughs> rings, righteous uh, rims. Radical. Radical rounds. Yep, that works too. Okay. Uh, anything else the wizard's gonna do, or? Oh, I think I'm gonna have to. Wait, I don't want to open that door. Oh, you know, I forgot to mention something. Uh, when you opened that uh, treasure chest. You may have been wondering what was inside. Turns out it's empty. <laughs> but you did notice that uh, in the tomb, you see the figure is holding a sword, an heirloom sword. My turn. Can the wizard snatch the sword since he's standing next to the tomb and pick it up? He sure could. Are you going to do that? Count Cogpox, uh, what do you think of that idea? Oh, sorry, I'm, I stepped out of the room for a brief second there. Oh. We were just mentioning what? that the, the chest was empty, the one that had the trap, but uh, there was there is an heirloom sword, what appears to be an heirloom sword, grasped in the hands of this effigy on top of the tomb. Well, I feel that's the quest has been bestowed to the elf. The elf has to be the... That's a good point. The there. gripper of blades. I can't use it Where anyway. He dares, he dares not touch the, the sacred relic. Magical spells to be discerned and enchantments, but I will yeah. leave it to the elf. He, he he knows he knows his stuff. He'll be here. He'll be here in five turns. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, in the meantime, there's skeletons. So this first skeleton moves forward. It'd be really hard for the elf to solo. Let's skeleton. see. Uh, he's gonna attack the barbarian. Wait, this is a soul. Two skulls, Oof. All right. Ching and a hit. All right. Four body points. Okay. Just making sure you rolled the right amount. And yeah, you did. down to four. Oh, Verg just okay yeah Verg uh, cashed in to upgrade a monster sorry if I was a little late on that one uh, okay so monster upgrade we're gonna say ah might as well we're gonna say that this monster in front becomes an elite His captains were killed, so he got a field promotion. Okay. That doesn't apply. Well, I guess it would have. Let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll say it on the next turn. Okay, so the other skeleton. Let's see, what is the dwarf? He doesn't have a diagonal. Okay, so the other skeleton moves forward. That's the end of my turn. Elf. Run. Right, don't worry everyone, I'm coming to save you from this undead legion. Yeah. 
Yes! Six. Okay, sprint down the corridor. You want to do an uncommon feat for extra speed? All right, okay, so I'm not very familiar with these. What? Well, how, do, how does that work? Can anyone do an uncommon feat? Yes. You just propose something, and uh, if I agree, I'll give you a 50% chance of success. You roll one uh, combat die, and if it's a skull, you get it. Okay, let's give it a shot. All right, roll your combat die. Aw. Sorry. <laughs> he tried, but uh, he had just exhausted all of his energy at that point. So it's not to be. Does a bad thing? Does a bad thing happen to him? Like, does he fall on his face, or is no, he just I okay? I sometimes I do that, but I'll I'll say it ahead of time what what it was. Usually, after the elf, the dwarf. Jacer unleashes an attack. Two skulls. I think it's uh, special dice, right? Yep. Elite skeleton blocks one, but was crushed by the other. Bones go flying everywhere. The elite skeleton has been destroyed. Is the dwarf going to move? Uh, no, I don't want to block the barbarian from being able to attack. Okay, uh, if it's my turn, I'll take one step forward. Alright, and just so you know, you're back to seven defense now. Right, and I will hack at him with my mighty, with my mighty blade. Mighty blade, three skulls. Yeah, he can't, he can't. Um block that so he just gets destroyed smashed all right I'm, I'm sure people are tired of my arnold voice so instead stop it the barbarian the barbarian has no words instead he picks up the decapitated skeleton skeleton skull and uh like like it's tulsa doom like it's conan lifting tulsa doom's head and uh, tosses it contemptuously across the room so there we go and uh you know what i will Let's no, I already moved. Never mind. Okay, I'm done. Alright. Tulsa Doom. Alright, wizard. Alright, I'm gonna let Elf get here. I might leave a memo for him. <laughs> the sword is in the tomb. And I will go to the <laughs> north and open the door. It's a yellow sticky. <laughs> yeah. Be back. Be back home later. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you open the door. Okay. And I will step out into the hallway. Take a gander. Okay, you just see an empty hallway. Hmm. That's weird. It is, kind of. Can I, I mean, I search for secret doors or something? Is there like an exit door here? There are no secret doors. Okay, that's weird. I think, I think the, I think the way in is the same as the way out. So wasn't that in Mentor's message? You're right. Oh, is it? I just assumed there was like an exit door at the end of this hallway or something. Um, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm looking forward to my journey. I'm looking forward to my journey back to the start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll use my... I used how many scores to get here, too? I'll just start backtracking out. I'll high-five uh, Glasgow as I'm walking my way back. I mean, we can't search for treasure or anything out there, right? Well, I mean, you could if you want to. You want to? Well, I already no, no, I already did for... secret doors. Yeah, I mean, 
on a future action. Elberg says, y'all need to just pick up that sword and take it to him. He'll save a few turns. I don't know why I gave him a country accent, but I did. Well, I reckon that Berg is probably right about that. Yep. Your parts. Offer that up to the Jace or the Barbarian. I'll say, it just came to me mysteriously. Why don't we take the sword to the elf? Why do we fear to use it? Wardicon redeemed a bonus potion for hero. Excellent. Oh, that would have been a good card to get. Um, okay, so we get a bonus potion. Uh, any preference on who it goes to? Ah, potion of charm. So when you hire mercenaries, you can get a discount. Who wants it? Glasgow, I, I do can... already have one, so... Okay, Glasgow, I was going to say, as a group leader, I could give you a preference. You want it, or you want to give it to someone else? Yeah, I think uh, I think I owe the Barbarian one, so how about we uh, give it him? Alright. He's a leader of men. Okay. I'll take it. He's got a lot of charm already, but he could use a little more, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Emotional charm. The Barbarian... Washboard 10 pack only gets you so far in a tavern. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> like it. Okay. Alrighty then. Elf. Okay, let's go six north. Well, five west. Yeah, I guess. Let me let me go two into the red room and pick up the sword and move towards the elf. Right. I was about to say I, I I think someone should have done that because there's a decent chance I, I don't know but I wonder if something is going to jump out of that sarcophagus and if we would have left our elf body behind yet again um, so smart move alright so you uh, you grasp the sword you're not quite sure but it appears to be the avenger sovereign sword of the elven people Okay. Alright, well I'll definitely try to run that over to the elf. I got ten spaces left. Okay. One, I thought you were going to have this stacked up six, to seven, get eight, up. Nine, ten. Or you have to like roll to see if you pulled it out. <laughs> so like, we, you know, like a Chaos Warrior spawns or whatever the Magus Guard or whatever they call it. Oh, that'd be interesting. I guess that's new. I'll just move my six, stand right behind the wizard to the left. Okay. Someone redeemed a bonus treasure shirts, treasure search. Ah, rocks. rocks. Okay, Lots yes. So you guys can, can go I... ahead and search, like, even if the room has already been searched, you can draw another card. And it'll be a safe Turn search. Up. So we'll just ignore any bad cards until you get a good one. That's how I do it. Okay, I, I haven't taken an action yet. Mind if I go ahead and... Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I search this room for treasure. Potion of strength. Hell yeah. Plus two. Rightfully for the barbarian. I mean, 
he's all natural, but you know, supplements. Yeah. Well, like I, you know, I, I don't dig. I don't get into the pseudoscience of natty supremacy or anything. It's whatever works, you know. Yeah, just don't let the uh, HeroQuest uh, regulatory commission hear about that. <laughs> all right. Glory to the brave, says Luca Rocks. Thanks, Luca Rocks. Omega Tech Consolidated. Okay. See you in hell, skeletons. Yeah, I love your quotes. I like seeing the chat do the quotes. <laughs> is he is he quoting the the the, the Hammerfall song or? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. worth it i'll have to check it out the, the walking we'll see you in hell skeletons skeletons <laughs> no coming at me all wrong <laughs> yes i think that's hammerfall he says cool all right christopher walken okay where were we uh dwarf had the blade and making his way over there and the barbarian did his thing so the wizard okay the now wizard. to be fair Christopher Walken would play this Zargon character I feel like if he was no. either, either was the dwarf Arnold was the barbarian <laughs> he, he, he might Maybe a, get him a real vendetta kind of mood I haven't killed a man since 1989. Damn his soul. You're making me get my hands dirty. Uh, I guess I'll just do my maximum movement squares past the team, walking back to the door. And I'll high five them on the way. Great success. Great job. Finger snap and point. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing but clear sailing from here, guys. Well, except someone just <laughs> redeemed. Except someone just redeemed a threat card for Zargon. I know and someone's going to do something. Well, I want to say yeah. I want to acknowledge something. So, the Games Workshop guys gave us this one, where he can do the the pat on the back. You know, way to go, <laughs> way to go, way to go, way to go. Well, the new guy, he's got the hand too. So yeah. What are there? What is the new model for the wizard? The uh, younger one. Oh, the younger wizard? Yeah. Was. Well, let's see. Um, well, this is the female wizard. But they all have their arms mm -hmm. out, so they can all do the, the pat on the back. They're almost like going for the high five. Yeah. Like, hey! Way to go. I like the moon staff. I never noticed that addition. Yeah. Yep. We lost Carl Casey. Let me get him back. There we go. White bat. I really do dig that. Uh, yeah, the Carl Casey thing. I mean, I know a lot of people. Some people don't like the synth music, but the '80s vibe to it, I feel like, really yeah, goes the, well with the Hero Quest. Yeah, even though this is like. <laughs> A 90s expansion, but nevertheless, still got right, that yeah. 80s ringing in its ears. <laughs> still has that tone, you know. Okay, so I got to get a threat card here. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I'm I'm sorry. Do Do you want me to keep you alert to the to the Twitch chat when things pop up, or oh. do you Do you want me to just shut up and leave you to it? That That's nice of you. Um. Okay, so I got to draw that and. Synthwave rules. Well, I know some streamers put the chat on screen. I got to figure out what plugin that is that I need to, to do that. Right. So let's see. We drew potion of superior restoration, and the threat card was no escape. One of the doors slammed shut and cannot be reopened until the next round. So this door slams shut. Okay, who gets the potion of restoration? 
can we buy a bonus ogre? See, I didn't put in a, a, a thing for that. There's two monsters you can buy, but I didn't put one in for the ogre. But that's a good idea. Maybe for the ogre horde, that'll be something we should do. I feel like the ogre's got to be like 2,500 gold. <laughs> something ridiculous. The ogre is, yeah, I mean, I just See, feel like of all of the monsters. People who've been playing as heroes, I'm thinking people like Jacer have a lot of gold saved up. So they could buy just about anything they wanted. All right, so who gets the potion of restoration? I did spend some, so I'm down under 30k or 40k or whatever it is. Thanks, Elverg. Good game, yeah. Heating the call, one and for all. I'll take the frozen horror for 400, please, Alex. <laughs> well, you can see, uh, go ahead and look at your uh, rewards there, and it actually shows you. Uh, what monsters you can buy. You want to scroll down to the bottom. Very bottom. For those of you so inclined. Okay. So somebody gets the potion of rest uh, superior restoration. Not me. I'm all restorationed up. All right. I was about to say, though, the wizard has been downing potions like crazy. No, but I'm okay. I I've been trying to get rid of them. I'm so encumbered with potions. We'll get oh, okay. a good 12-step program. Okay. Yeah, I have an issue I'm working through. He knows it. Okay, all right. Uh, we'll just give it to the elf for now. It, yeah, I was going to say, give it to the elf, because he, he has a max of eight body points now. That's true. And I think um, the dwarf already has the elixir of life, and... You have the, the resurrection, has... not the healing. Yeah. Okay, all right. So after all that... I'm just spending money for the sake of it now. Ah, bonus mercenary. Well, uh, we're not using mercenaries in this quest, but we can certainly use them in the next one. So, Luca Rocks, we will keep that in mind. There is a mercenary for next quest. Someone you could use that potion of charm on. Okay. I mean, there will be other quests. <laughs> That's the plan. Okay, uh, Elf. Well, whatever happened with the surviving mercenaries or mercenary was the yeah, one that survived the last game Slade and Zip right you gotta you'd have to pay to rehire them but I mean so could, the, the, could the knight rehire them for the next quest or whatever because I think he was the one controlling them and he's the one with the well, you can war warborn of command or you something but stop at the stop at the tavern and see if those guys are hanging out maybe you can hire some whoever's around Oh, yeah, way, I think I had the three mercenaries, but it was... Is there an official uh, cap on body points or mind points? No, there is not. So Luke Rocks is asking, if you want a guide to the companion app, you can toggle it up to 20 for every stat. I mean, I don't know. I mean, realistically... Well, the thing is, you could add... In theory, you could just keep adding potions, and so it would just keep adding more. But in the base game, I think it's like 10 or 11 is the most... Or no, I'm thinking of attack and defense. Body point wise, I think it's 10. But in the Japanese version, you can keep gambling for body points. So I think the Barbarian could go up to like 14 or something. Well, I was going to say is it, what, it was 10 with the Frozen Horror, but then after the Ring of Fortitude, it can go even higher. Yeah, 11. And there's two... No, wait. I think there's another quest... One of the... There's another quest where you can get one ring. And then I think the other one, everybody gets a ring. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky. Something like that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> cool. 20 body points. Yeah. So... I mean, I don't know what Amalgamash would say to that. 20 body points is a lot. It's <laughs> a lot. It'd be ring on every finger. Yeah, good. Who are you fighting, Godzilla? He is the body oh, dragon. <laughs> yep. All right. I, I was going to say dark fire, but that's that's dragon strike. Venom. Okay, all right. Sorry, uh, um... 
Amalgamash video this week where he called Jace out, gave him some creds for his rules rule sets. Nice. Nice. Ash Quest. Amalgamash. Yep. Jace has got a lot of good ideas. And he's not just an idea guy, he's also built stuff, he's painted stuff. So come check him out. Word Builder J twenty two. Yes. I got it right. <laughs> I say yes, you did. <laughs> and I think the last the last two videos was just uh, was me cutting up the statues. Yeah. And it bash. Oh, and 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 venting about the uh, wasted design space of the statues. Yep. Okay, so the quest is still in play here. I mean, it's not actually over. Yep, um, you slim door shut. Okay, elf. Okay, well, thank you for the potion of... Was that a potion of superior restoration I got there? Yes. So that gives you all Wonderful. your body and mind points back, and it cures your werewolf curse if you've got it. Ah, War to that is, that is fabulous. Redeemed a bonus monster. So Lucarox says, Kurgan needs to get on Ash Podcast one day. Yes, because I've had him on my show, but I've never been on his show. I'd like to get on his show. I'd like to get on uh, Cristobal's. Uh, show if we can get an interpreter because I don't know Spanish very well. Um, I'd like to be on everyone's show, and you can just tell me how wrong I am, which is what you need. What someone needs to tell me <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> Rick All right. Okay. No, I, I like all those guys, so <laughs> it's, it's great. Okay, so got to draw a random monster. Well, who says it has to be random? Okay. Uh, thank you, Vorticon. So, okay, so, uh, uh, sorry, was, was the elf actually going to do anything besides ask me the question? Well, I was, I was going to, I was going to, I was going to offer, uh, I was going to offer the dwarf if I take that sword from him. Uh, yeah, you want to move next to me, I'll, I can pass it to you on my turn, which is next. <laughs> All right. Give him the the sovereign avenging sword. You grasp the sword in your hands. The Avenger, the killer of killers. I have the power. Na, 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 na. Alright, anything else, Dwarf? Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, uh, I guess move over on the other side of the, uh, the elf. Okay. Oh, and if I didn't say it, that icy strength is worn off because the monsters are gone. Makes it the barbarian's turn. Yeah, um, I'll just move five spaces into the room and then down one. Five spaces right. Yeah. Sorry, I should be more clear. <laughs> I should listen more carefully. Uh, let's see. I'm going to redeem my gold for Dread Moon dice. I should have enough. 570 sounds about right. The dread dice. If you want me to start using the dread dice on the stream, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Okay, thanks, Luca Rocks. Um, you used him yet? No, I actually haven't. Listen, the. Uh... I gotta figure out what I did with him. Well, like we tomorrow. Saturday. I could pull him out tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. Use the dice, the fancy dice. I mean, Ribby can <laughs> sell them. No. <laughs> a chance. Blasphemous, Ribby. Well, a lot of people were trying to get him, uh, but yeah, th they've said over and over that some form of those dice is going to be coming into retail, so you won't have to worry. Just keep begging and pleading for them to release release the dice. It really seemed like they had a uh, demeanor of kind of like we're, we're still curious what people the Hero Quest fans want. Yeah. 
and to me it's like i'm in the group of like just more of everything but you know i don't know who they're wanting to pull about that yeah well there's there's a limit i mean a lot of franchises they just kind of like oversaturate their fan base with just crap right i hope it never gets to that point but for now they're choosing carefully so i think i'm definitely one of those fans that says if you don't like something let it be known you know and they can't hide behind the all whiny you know entitled fans it's like no no there's always a a reason for it yeah but even if they put out crap the scalpels of the scalpers will buy the bit and it'll sit there for a while they'll still make money yeah because you got everybody that's going to buy it anyway you got the people that are collecting it and then you got the scalpers and if the casual fans don't care about it, they won't buy it. But like right. I said, they shouldn't lose money on it. If anything, they'll even break even on on okay. just the scalpers buying it. I know that we didn't have a rant cast this week, so I know there's some pent up rage. But I'm gonna <laughs> put a put a pin in that until our next conversation. Did you get a monster? I di- I didn't yeah. see where it came out of. Well, I was just trying to distract you. So uh, who whose turn is it now? Uh, the, the barbarian already yeah, moved. Okay. Yep, so it's wizard. All right, wizard, what will you do? Um. Okay, so the door is closed. Yep. Right, I'm gonna open that door. All right, you try, but it doesn't open. It'll open next round. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna casually stroll. If you had Back the genie, you the... could have forced it open, but he's already been used. Oh, that's true. You wished it, yeah, you I'm... wished it. Yeah. yeah, I guess I'm just going to go south. All right. Um, you know, to that corner and then stop. There, right there. Okay. All right. My turn. Okay, the door opens. Like, this is that... that prank where you know like they slow down for the guy and then he comes over to the door and they drive away and he's like okay yeah. no kidding and then they slow down and then he gets closer and they drive again it's like he jerks stop it okay all right draw a card here maybe we'll get hero quest news september 22nd PulseCon. well and there's also essen coming up in germany essen spiel So be watching, see if Dungeon Master uh, comes up with anything. German guy on YouTube. Okay, uh, all right. So, Monster. Um, wouldn't the Monster... Uh, uh, it wouldn't the tomb, have came before the card. The tomb, you know, you, you found the sword on top of the tomb, but nobody said anything about what was inside it. So it starts to, it starts to shake, and then the lid falls off. And out of it, Springs a bunch of monsters. A zombie. A skeleton. A skeleton. An ice gremlin. What? And a femir. Okay. Found car of tombs. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, elf. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to have to bounce, but thanks so much for letting me play. Uh, oh yeah. Jace, Count Cogpox, good playing with you guys. Glasgow, super nice to meet you, man. Hopefully you come back. So, y'all have a great day. Thanks, Kurgan. Thank you, man. Thanks, Papa Bear. Right. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Right. Bye. Oh man, and when he started, I thought he was only going to be here a short time, and he stayed a long yeah, time. Yeah, he really made it. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Unless he just meant he had to do something before we started misunderstood but that was cool all right okay so the barbarian i guess will just be controlled by the community unless somebody jumps in uh, i vote jace he's the best multitasker <laughs> yeah, I have to control the squads play <laughs> yeah. okay good game pop bear all right uh so elf Okay, so are we just getting the hell out of here and uh, leaving these undead guys to it? I think we should. So, yeah, so uh, I'll just uh, 
I guess a better roll. In fact, I'm really, I'm really inclined to just drop this plate mail. <laughs> yeah, but it's a shame I can't sell it. You can do like Papa Bear, where you just take it off and and start moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I can I do can I can I do that? It's just it doesn't feel like is that is that fair? Yeah, can I do that? Sure, I'll allow it. I mean, I would think like you just can't put it back on in the same turn. So you're like, yeah, you know, like the next turn you'd have to put it back. Because you'd be risking then, like, now like you have round. it off for a whole so, turn. Yeah. yeah, it's off for a round, not just that one turn. That makes sense. If you think that's fair. Uh... Well, okay, so I'm I'm, uh, I'm taking off the plate armor and I am rolling to get out of here. Okay. So, so roll 2d6. But you get full movement. At least you've got the Avenger. I've got the Avenger, so that looks like eight. So yeah, so we'll just go back the way we came. So uh, three through the door to the east and five south. Okay. You met up with the wizard. It actually, can I, if I got time, maybe, um, just in case of any accidents, um, I'll cast rock skin on the wizard as well. Doesn't it just last until I'm out of line of sight or something? Nope. What's the rules? Until you that? take damage, so it could last the rest oh. of the quest if you're okay. doing okay. So rock skin is now active. Thank you. So that gives you five defense. It's not as strong as in the European version. What's the rule difference? Uh, one versus two. Then oh, okay. again. Let's see, is the Alpha Champion? Yes, he is. I'm going to say it is strong enough to give him two. There we go. Upgraded spell. Okay, so he's got two extra defense. Okay. All right, Dwarf. All right, I rolled an eight. By the way, Jacer, do those monsters look familiar to you? I can't really see them that well. well They're a little blurry. You've got an ice gremlin, a couple skeletons, a zombie, and a femur. That's what you were posting in the chat at before the quest began. <laughs> Thought it would be poetic. <laughs> I think I bought all six of the of your uh, channel monsters. Oh, maybe I didn't uh, fulfill it exactly. Let me see. Uh, let's see, what, um, what is it, an orc? Maybe? Hold on. Oh, there was a goblin. Yeah, okay. There was a goblin in the bottom. They all crushed him. <laughs> uh, I got an eight, so let me move... Oh, that would be a good uh, thing. I two, three, say four, one thing. So, I would like to see a miniature of like a chaos warrior with a goblin on his shoulders. So, like master. Oh, Blaster. that would. <laughs> I like that for like a boss version. Yeah, or it could be an ogre with a goblin on his shoulders. You know? Yeah, that would be a great mini. Yeah. Two men enter, one man leaves. Okay. I'm going to use the, uh, whatever it is, eight, to get up with the group next to the uh, elf. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay. All right, barbarian. Oh yes, since Papa Bear isn't here, we wish him well. Oh, oh yeah, let me, uh, yeah. sorry. Go Chase. Yeah. Our glass. 
I was going to say either, yeah, you could take control of him, or if you guys want to decide together what you think he should do. I mean, that whatever work out amongst yourselves. All right, he got a two, so he's right outside the door. I guess that, that's it for him. Okay. Alright, wizard. I'm gonna keep booking it. Okay. Roll now. Jace and his artistic aspirations have summoned the death squad. Now we must be on our way. Classic cog box roll. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Zargon's mighty turn. Wait, can I use a uh, since I didn't do an action? Ooh, an uncommon feat has been suggested by Wardicon. Oh. What were you? What were you saying? Oh. Okay, is he who's he summoning the uncommon feat for? Uh, so I haven't modified this rule. I think there were a couple suggestions. When somebody does that, I mean, you can already do an uncommon feat, but they're just suggesting it. What I wanted people to say is, here's what you should do. Uh, okay, who was I standing next to there? The elf. Yes. Before, can I say? Go card for here. You know, I sense the danger coming. Perhaps I will try to. Uh, do a uh, water of healing, but I'm going to try to do a splash version and split the points with the elf. Oh, like heal yourself a little bit and then him a little bit? Yeah, if it, if it's po if I fail, I mean, I assume I would do it on myself, but... Yeah, you would do it um, on yourself if it fails. Okay, you want to try but, it? Uh, I'm going to community... Yeah. Okay, so faint... That's an okay suggestion. Anybody who wants this can have it. It says you may reroll one set of dice, either attack, defense, or movement. Thanks, Wardicon. Yeah, I need to clarify that rule. I'll refine it, hopefully. Curses. You failed. Okay, but you healed yourself with it. Or four, yeah. Okay, so... I kind of like it's like you could do a 75% chance if someone buys the feed. I, mean, I don't know if that's too powerful. Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I get it. I get it. So let's say you roll a black die for the success. So it's a little bit more likely you'll get a skull, a little bit more likely you'll succeed. Or what, what is it? Yeah. Normally it's a skull you succeed, but maybe a skull plus the white dice. Wouldn't that be? Oh, the black die has four skulls. Yeah. So oh, of yes. So it's 50% chance. It's like, yeah. Uh, 75. 75. Good. Okay. I like that. <laughs> yeah. And, and I would maybe even make it cost a little bit more because of maybe it's a hundred gold instead of yeah because it's actually um, affecting us rather than just a suggestion yeah I think originally I thought because I think it may have been you Jacer actually like you weren't like talking with your microphone because it wasn't working or something so you were just typing the stuff out and I was thinking oh I should put like shortcut actions in there that you could redeem for some really low price to just say go north go south search for treasure search for traps but then we really haven't had a yeah they were, and they were all like one gold so they're real cheap yeah, so you yeah, can do it yeah. so but but since we've gotten more people to play and we have worked out the microphone issues it's kind of like just a leftover so yeah i i, I like that idea okay so um how about we how about we do that how about we do that we'll just we'll re-roll it go ahead you can re-roll it and okay. it's funny. I'm just spitballing too. I'm not this, upset with anything. This I actually like is a reroll. So <laughs> how about this? I'll okay. not only let you reroll it. I'll let you reroll it with black. One black. Yeah. So instead, you do an uncommon feat with black die. 
yeah. instead of Bullock. Just, okay. just for that one. So, Wardicon, we're, we're figuring out a way to get both of your... Curses, oh. my odds. <laughs> Darn. You got the, like, the, the curse lead. of the Cogpock strikes again. Yeah, okay. So, But anyway, so you <laughs> healed yourself. We, we gave it a good try, as Yoda would say. So the wizard's back to four. Now, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting kind of tired. But uh, we got to see this through, and I appreciate that you've uh, stuck with it this long. And our first outing of the extra long Mage of the Mirror. Yeah, I will have to take off at six, but I'm I'm okay. I'm trying to make cool. it as much cool. as I can. Okay, double time, everybody. All right, uh, who's next? Me? Monsters. Monsters, okay. Ice Gremlin, known for stealing things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and the uh, the elf has it, right? Yes. Okay, skeletons. I always forget. Skeletons are six for movement, aren't they? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That Ice Gremlin could come try to take that. Four, five, six. Thor, he can steal from you. Zombies five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. You're welcome. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that I need to I need to play Return of the Witch Lord a couple more times so I can remember the memorize the undead stats. It, it's the the undead. It's four, five, six. Mummy, zombie, skeleton. Four, five, the stronger five, they are, the slower they are. Ah, uh, yes. Just like how their defense or their yeah their defense goes up. Two, three, four. Attack is the only off point. Two and two, and then three. Okay. All right. So all the monsters have moved. They're approaching. All right. Uh, elf thing. Right. Uh, Glasgow, you're sounding far away. Is that better? Oh yes. Loud and clear. Okay, okay. So thank you for the good vibes, if not the extra body points, uh, wizard. I tempted. <laughs> okay, and uh, I'll fo I'll follow my good friend uh, in this corridor. Chaos combat card. Ooh, okay. Thank you, my minion. Okay, so uh, sorry, I was distracted by the huzzah. What What are you doing now? Oh, yeah, so I'm just going after the wizard. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, what did you roll for movement? Oh, it's just three. three. Feel free to pass yeah. me and lead the way, please. <laughs> you guys need to wrap it up. Just save the chaos card and such for next quest. Oh, okay. That works for me. Uh, we'll just say it wasn't redeemed yet. I'll just set that aside. When you said wrap, at first I thought you said warp. I was thinking like, okay, warp. Warp speed, warp magic. Like, okay. All right, the uh, the dwarf's gonna move right in front of the the wizard. Okay, six. Well, he has one more. Uh, no, just leave him there, just in case one of them gets a low roll. Um, with. The barbarian is gonna gonna carry his armor, okay. his 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 cold plate. It's really cold. He's gonna have to like wrap his arms around like some fur or something. He takes his shirt off so that he can uh, wrap his arms and like hold it. And... Uh, it uh, he's fine. He's got the armband of ice. Oh yeah. Doesn't affect him. Ah, yeah. <laughs> the old armband. We'd forgotten about that. Okay. So it's all right. Good. Eight. Puts his bare flesh right against it. Doesn't even care. Two, three, All right, he's not out running the goblin and the ice gremlin yet, but he's trying. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's it for the barbarian. Eleven. We'll use that maximum movement. To the stairwell. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
I guess I kind of just assumed you were going to take that route. You could have gone the other way, but I guess it's the shortest to the iron door. Okay, monsters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost. The ice gremlins get close. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the monsters are giving chase. Chasing after Jace and everybody else. Right, right up by the barbarian now and bash him right before he moves. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Glasgow. Okay, rolling for movement. Nine. So we'll just follow the wizard as far as we can. Jacer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've entered the vertical corridor. All right, Barbarian? Oh, Jace, or again, as the Barbarian, sorry. Yeah, I'm, uh, looking. Can I fire the, uh, Fire Lance at the Ice Gremlin? Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Whoosh. Alright, so you take it out of the package, you light it, point it towards the enemy. So I gotta roll a five or six to negate damage. Five. Phew. Dodged. The ice gremlin just dodges it. Just a little bit of steam on his little foot there. Alright, um, just move the Barbarian six to the left. And, um, brings the Alchemist turn. Roll my die here. I feel like this is Metroid, uh, Super Metroid, or um, Dark Forces Two Jedi Knight, where the as you're getting, you're trying to get out of there, and it's like the the camera keeps distorting, and the, the screen is like tilting to the side, and up. Come on, get out of here. Classic roll. Yeah, just as far as I could go next to the dwarf, I suppose. Last of them. Front. Yeah. Above him there? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, All right, my turn. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the ice gremlin is. Uh, Checking his pockets, looking for the looking for the Avenger sword. He's not finding it, so he could try to steal something else. Let's see. There's so much to steal. I'm gonna drink my uh, 
Frost Skin and Icy Strength. Uh, I think the Icy or wait a minute. Was the Icy Strength already used up? I thought I put that down. It was used. And there were two Frost Skins. One of them was used. So are you using the last remaining one? Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes. Frost skin. Um, it's a regular strength. Okay, so frost skin means two extra combat dice when defending. So yes. No more monsters seen. Okay. Uh, yeah, because the Ice Gremlin moves seven, so he can only move three back, so he can't get out of sight. Okay, still deciding what to steal. Uh, I was hoping for something. I'm going to steal the Potion of Strength. Right. Oh. Well, I drank one, so you stole the other one. Well, you've got a Potion of Strength and a Potion of Icy Strength. So wait, which one do you Oh, I did have both? Yeah. Alright. Was I confused? So, you could... Alright, alright. Yeah, then I'll drink the, yeah, the Icy Strength and the Frost Skin. And, alright, and you stole the Strength. Yeah, I was figuring, strength. like, he's got it in his hand, and, like, the Ice Gremlin's got his hands around it, and they're, like, both struggling with it. And he's, like, bringing it to his lips to, like, try to, like, sip it while they're both struggling. It's like, stop. He's like, oh, he grabbed the other one. Okay, so he's running the other direction. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If he already moved seven, doesn't he only have three left? Oh, because he moved towards you. Ah, let me let me check. Let me double check. I haven't. Uh, I've been out of the game too long. Okay, let's see. Because I want to say they get a, their full movement. Let me just double check. Catch Steal one item. It runs away at full speed. I took that to mean it gets its full movement again. So it could move 10 towards you, steal something, and move 10 back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of sight, and it disappears from the board. That sucks. Alright. Now, if I knew. Alright, that. I wouldn't have drank potions, I thought, he, like, once he moved towards me, that he wouldn't have been able to move out of sight. Oh, because... Alright. Because uh... uh, I just wasted my icy strength and my frost skin, because I waited till he moved towards me to use it. <sighs> it's good to be the bad guy sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a... It's a... It's an underhanded move, I admit, but... Anyway. Only get so many of those. Okay. Well, I I take full speed to mean that he uses the rest of his movement, the full ten. Not that this guy's somehow bigger and somehow more athletic than a goblin. Eight, nine, ten. So you you would want him to be right. Oops. Oh well, yeah, because I that's the way I thought about full speed is that, that the full movement. Yeah, I mean that is interesting because. The other monsters, though, they can att move, attack, and then move, can't they? Or no? No, only advanced goblins, and that's about it. That's it. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, that does. Okay, Jace, are you ashamed me into? Uh, that isn't. Yeah, there. I mean, it's hard to. That would be something I'd want the devs to clarify because it, it is I, hard to understand what do they mean. It's Zargon's call, but fine. Yeah, because I, I not only steal your thing, but I also douse the potion that you drank trying to counteract it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you didn't know. All right, fine. Uh, so he's still, he's still, there's still a chance you could get it back, and the thing's still in effect. Okay, now my other okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But the gloves are off next time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Smashes the door. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. All 
right, we're in the home stretch, gentlemen. I I, I do got to take off right now, guys, but uh, I'm sure you can get me out of here alive. I I had a good time. I appreciate every everyone's time. It was a lot of fun, and I hope to be here next week. I assume you're moving nice, forward. Nice there. play. Yeah, good game, man. Yeah, a lot of fun. Thanks for fun coming, back, guys. Count God, class, All right. ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys. I'll try to see you next time. All right. See you tomorrow, maybe. Later. Or next week. Whichever. All right, Chaser. Uh, All right, the... All right, the dwarf. I just guessed you were going forward. Yes, that's correct. All right, nine. Uh... Dwarf nine, two, three, four. I guess put him in the first space after the hallway gets narrow. Okay, right behind the fireplace. Yes. All right, you, you're right. in the home stretch. You can see the iron door. All right, good. Um, the barbarian's going to move two towards the ice gremlin. All right, and it's so now it's six white and two black. Uh, three black and. Uh, three black and three, three white. Yeah. And three white. Yeah. Whatever your name is, get ready for the big surprise. Rolling. Yep. Oh, hold on. I almost misspelled it. Yeah, I've been doing the double check before I hit the hit the uh, okay Five. thing. Five. Wow. Okay. You cannot take my strength. Got him. <laughs> All right. Got the ice gremlin, and you got your potion back. All right, and then um, all right. Wizard, is this you uh, too? Have a run, yeah. Just to note, the Ice Goblin doesn't disappear until the start of Zargon's next turn. Oh. Thanks, Ferg. Vorticon says, was this the first quest? I know you said you were going to mod it for a full party. Yeah. Yeah, this was the first quest. If no heroes are in line of sight of Zargon's next turn. Yeah, Ferg, you're probably right. I'll, I mean, we're basically, we're done with the frozen horror, so the chances of you encountering another ice gremlin are pretty small, but I'll keep it in mind. It's probably what they meant. Okay. Chaser just rolled a seven. Okay. So wizard moves seven towards the door. I take it. Yes. Yep. Get him in the four, five, six, seven, right ahead of the dwarf there. All right, monster's turn. Goblin. I know I'm a little weak, but I still don't have my uh, the plate mail on. Four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. All right, skeleton attacks. Two skulls, barbarian. Sorry, what's 
showing it there. So I'd play it that you can book it at full speed as that's rules was written. The heroes just need to catch up on the next turn or else it gets away. Yeah, they just said full speed. They didn't say, yeah, full total movement roll or total. Wrestling move. Oh, dang. All right. Card? Yes, please. Spear! Nice. So you just kind of go, ah, and then, ah. And down he goes. Spear! Spear! Speared the skeleton. Scaring the heck out of the goblin as well. But then he sees the Fumir behind him and he, he gets brave again. Okay, I think that's... Let's see. I haven't moved the goblin yet, have I? No. Okay, so he runs forward. Rare thing for a goblin. Sometimes you get a goblin that's just uh, got really lucky rolls. One skull. Jean. Two shield. Okay. He lives, he can run. Elf. Um, I tried to roll 2d6, but I don't think it worked. I'll try again. Yeah, go for it. Roll 2d6. Yeah, I don't see I don't see you even typing in the Discord chat. Yeah, I don't know what's happened. Um try it. Worked for me. Okay, 10. Is that is that cool? <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. 10. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's very cool. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in front of the wizard. Is that good? Excellent. Excellent. Can see the door. Okay, dwarf. Um, the dwarf's gonna stay right there for for right now. Ah, solid dwarf. Okay. All right, the barbarian. Gonna get a few more kills in before before the end. The line. Yeah, this this adventure went a lot longer than I thought it would, but I've I've enjoyed Three it. Three skulls. I hope you've enjoyed Goblin it. Page. watching. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Got him. And then he and then he takes uh, two steps back. Wizard. <laughs> Eleven. I got him. Towards the door. I got him. Got him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and he's got enough to go out the door. Hey. Oh. Escape. Safe and sound. Alright. Alright, so the wizard opens the door. He's out. Catches his breath. Or maybe he's holding the door for them. Yeah, it's probably holding the door. He's got a couple spells. He Gone. It's always fun. Okay, monsters. Bimmer. One, two, three, 
four, attacking with a fury. Missed. In his haste, he missed. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, with the skeleton and the zombie bringing up the rear. Okay, elf. Yeah, I seem to be having the same problems. Um, I tried coming out and in, uh, so if someone would mind, wouldn't mind rolling for me again, that would be great. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, two. All right, the uh, the wizard is beckoning to you in like slow motion. He's like, pull on, and you're like, pull on, and you're like running. Get the chopper to the queen. <laughs> like dust flying everywhere. Okay. Dwarf. Uh, the dwarf's gonna take uh, two steps towards the elf. Oh, we lost him. Maybe his app was having some issues. Never did ask if he was on a computer or on a phone. Well, Glasgow, if you... Good game, and I uh, hope you come back. <laughs> Okay. Oh, now he's rolling again. Wait, is he in? He's back. Oh. Uh, he oh. rolled to the six. Hey. Oh, so that's. We got a nine. Had to restart. Okay, cool. Oh, this might be his old rolls coming through. Oh, his rolls are coming through. Dang. Six nine. All right. You know what? <laughs> he got a lot more than you too. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I'll let him get. The five. That's the first one after. Okay. Two, three, four, five. I'll just give it to him. Okay. And uh, what did it? I'll take it. it. <laughs> I don't even remember what the other one was. Uh, oh, what did I roll? It was a two. He rolled a two and he rolled a five. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the six and the nine came, but yeah, yeah. The, okay. I would just go with the first one. Okay, cool. All right, uh, dwarf, you were just gonna. Uh, just the one. He just moved the one space. Okay. Um, and then the barbarian. This is the first time I played this quest with four heroes, just so you know. I've done it with two, I've done it with two with mercenaries. Three skulls. Oh wow, okay. Ching, two hits. Got him. Slaughtered that guy. And then uh, he's gonna take two steps back. And the wizard's already safe. Yep. Still holding the Monsters. Door. Okay. One, two, three, four. Skeleton attacks. Missed. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Elf. Five. You can make it. You're gonna head out the door. Fantastic. Fantastic. Two, three, four, five. Victory! The sovereign sword of Satan. Great stuff, look. All right. Yeah. Good. Thanks very much, guys. I'll I need to check out now, but thanks very much. Congratulations. Good game. Great playing with you. If you can make it uh, tomorrow, care. great. Otherwise, maybe next week or whenever whenever you can make it. You're always welcome. But, yeah, thanks, man. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Good game. Thank you. Cool. All right. Dwarf. Uh, two more steps towards the door. Barbarian. 
Uh, two. Two skulls. They want a lot of black shields. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Smash the skeleton. Uh, uh, he'll just, uh, he'll just taunt the zombie. Okay. He wants the 100% completion. I he does. He does. Come in, get me. You're, you're that kid that, like, got all the coins in Super Mario Bros. It's like, come on. All the rings in Sonic. Okay. All right. Fine. Um, my turn. Zombie comes in. One skull. One skull. Oh, I gotta turn that back on. <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing. I got five skulls. Uh, but I didn't kill him. It's a hit. Yes, it is. Down to. Oh, what am I at? Uh, three. Well, I mean, you get all your body points back on the next one anyway. But, uh, unless I just get some fantastic rolls and you get some terrible ones. Anything's possible, right? Yep. I've been getting black shields and skulls. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's try some skulls on... Oh, the uh, dwarf's going to move two spaces towards the door. Oh, wrestling move! And a skull. Defend yourself, zombie. My only hope is to try to get... No, he can't even get a wrestling move. He only... Oh, yeah, he defends a three. Okay, there's possible. Defends a three. He can counter it. He'll still die, but he would do a damage. Oh, almost! Uh... Alright, let's get the wrestling move. Ah, here we go. Some... Running power slam. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, blam. Then uh, he's gonna he's gonna book towards the door for twelve. All right. Dwarf. Yep. Uh, well, you you get a card. Myself. That's hilarious. Alright, Mimic. The furniture is moving. Okay, suddenly this uh this cupboard that uh had the drunken mummy in it, like <laughs> it just like comes to life and Starts moving. Let's see, it gets 10 movement, 3 attack, 4 defense, 1 body, 3 mind. Let's see. It doesn't say it moves immediately, but okay. Your turn, dwarf. Oh, the card happened at the beginning of your turn. Yeah, I don't know. That is a weird. Yeah. I mean, we could fine tune the right. homebrew. Yeah, alright, so the, uh, well, the new mix of monsters, so let me roll for movement. Elver, you're like, now's the time to redeem 20 monsters. Yeah, just make this, this quest actually lasts like six weeks long. Like, oh, sorry. Um, uh, supposed to let me do the, I gotta do movement. Alright, dwarf got five. Uh, uh, to the left, five spaces. Oh, right to the door. They're like, come on, get through. You're like reaching your hand uh, out. Like, uh, <laughs> so close. Barbarian got four towards the dwarf. One, two, three, four. Alright. Queen isn't so happy uh, with the barbarian. <laughs> Mimic. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's shambling monstrosity made of, or well, it's a creature, but it looks like it's made of wood and like broken bottles and things. That's all right. I was expecting the throne or the or the um, treasure chest to try to cut us off and come around the corner. <laughs> but I mean, it it just seems like a little a little much for that one. <laughs> it's the, the tomb of wonders. There was a lot of magic in there. Okay. Well, maybe he can use the potion of charm to uh, appease the queen and her fickle ways. All right, the uh, the dwarf's gonna uh, take a step out. Out the door. Yes. And hey, high fives all around. And then five spaces for the barbarian towards the door. One, two, his uh, his frost skin and icy strength wore off, so. Seven, eight. The monstrous cupboard is attacking. Where's that card? Good stats. Okay, so the mimic attacks you with three. One skull. One shield. Okay, your turn, barbarian. The other heroes are cheering you on from the from the outside. Alright, um Let's let's attack. Molly the Murderous. Three black shields and one white. You can make it! To the word of Four. Well, when he I said I heard him say, You can do it! You can do it! Albert's Four skulls! Hug if it hits, and then it throws a tag with black dice. Four skulls! Wow! Okay. Well, it defends with four, so there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. How many body points does it have? And then three hits. Uh, it only had one. So it oh, okay. just shatters. Just, just chunks of wood go flying everywhere. Empty bottles. All right, no monsters on the board. He moves 12. Right to the door. Gets out the door and he puts, it, and he puts his cold plate back on. Three, four, five, six, seven. Da, 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 da. All right, congratulations. You are the winner. All of you are winners. And the Avenger will be returned to the Queen. All right, good game, everybody. We're way past our time. <laughs> the Barbarian, the Witch, Lord, and the Wardrobe. Coming soon to theaters near you. Thank you, Alberg. That was a good one to end on. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we will be back tomorrow after a much-needed rest. All of you, I, originally I was going to do this from 2 to 4, believe it or not, and it's almost 8.30. So thank you for staying the extra time. This is pretty cool. Now, Saturdays, I do have to make a hard stop at 10, so I will do that. But I mean, Yeah, I can't, and I, I can't do two long days, and yeah, like I yeah. said, I already, I already uh, ended up taking off for today, so... Okay, well, I appreciate you spending the time with us. It's a blast. It's awesome. And uh, we'll see you all next time on HeroQuest Fans. So anybody who wants to play Rise of the Dread Moon, we'll start it tomorrow. It'll probably be just a little bit of a slow start just because there's a lot of new rules we got to kind of think about. But we'll get it rolling, and pretty soon we'll be off like a, like a shot. Vorticon says, congrats, fellas. And I'm going to check and see if there's anybody we can raid. On a Friday night, it's like Wicked Minis is up. We could uh, invade him. He's a cool painter guy. So we'll uh, stop the stream. Good game, everybody. Mage of the Mirror. We've broken the, the seal on that one, and uh, wish you all a good night. So hold tight for the raid. <laughs>